Hello there, guys, gals, non-binary pals. How y'all doing on this nice, chill, relaxing Wednesday morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime? No matter what time of day it is, I hope y'all are having a nice, chill one at that. Me, myself, having a pretty chill day, all things considered, to be honest. Apologies for no stream yesterday. Uh, effectively, what happened is I was about to go live... Then I had to get something done really quick in game, which kind of led towards Storm. And then I thought, okay, I'll go live after Storm. But then Storm got delayed by like an hour. And I just thought that it's probably best that I just get some stuff done. Because there's a lot of stuff that I may have forgotten to get done in the week. You know, just like little chores around the house I may have uh, forgotten. So I decided to take yesterday off to just kind of get those all sorted, which I did. They're all sorted now and they should be all sorted for a good little bit. But today... We're doing more good old Max, and today is the first person POV. So the 250 goal was initially one hour of first person, but I thought it'd be more fun to make it like an entire stream in first person instead. So basically from the start of stream today to the end of stream today, Max will be in first person mode basically the entire day. I, I want to see how much I can actually do in first person. I, there's only certain things that I don't know if it is going to work, like, you know, changing clothes and stuff like that but the rest of it should be able to get done i'm pretty sure i actually haven't really done anything like this before i, I i've got a bit of experience driving in first person just because like it's kind of fun driving in first person sometimes it, it, it feels like really immersive actually being behind the wheel and driving though the only difficulty is driving at high speeds and also the difficulty would be driving grime trucks too because you can't see behind you in those trucks Oh, hold on, is someone awake? I think I just heard a door unlock. Yeah, it's fine, we'll deal with that later. But yeah, so TLDR of what you guys have missed off stream. So what I got sorted, I think, late Monday, is I finally got some more furniture for the house. I, I just thought like, you know what, may as well, screw it. I've got a bit of cash on Max at the moment. So I've added a lot more decorations to the house. As you can see, like in the background, the chairs are there now. That's something that I kind of left for Kitty to do, but I don't know what happened with that, so I decided to get it sorted myself. I also got a bunch of wall art added to the walls as well, and I got some rugs too. Just little things that kind of make the whole house feel just a little bit more alive. And we're basically in the home stretch now for the decorations of the house. Like, all that's really left is, like, little bits of decoration for, say, like, you know, the shelves, the, um... I think there is one other shelf I need to get to. It's all just like, <laughs> there's Timothy. It's all just like uh, very little things to get done. He didn't even notice me, that's fine. But yeah, so it's very much in the home stretch, the decorating of the house. I, I, I honestly, I want to try and get it done by probably by the end of the month. Like I went down to 30K in the bank after all of that. But I did get some money yesterday, so I'm back up to like 70k now. So we are back up to being pretty up good. And I am very tempted to just kind of get the last little bits done. It might be a little bit expensive, but I think it'll be fine. I, I think it'll be nice to have like a fully finished house. We've almost been living here for what, three months now? I can't remember what date we, we exactly got the house, but we've definitely been here for at least two months. At the very least, we've been here for two months. So it'd be nice to finally get it fully decorated. And then we can start focusing on investing our money into GPUs as well. Did you check the bills yesterday? No, I haven't yet, no. I do need to go check that. Another thing that I did get sorted off stream is I've now officially you know, officially quit the casino. Max and Marty were never able to actually meet in person. Like, we kept missing each other. So I ended up just sending him a text message. Then he came over and collected the key. I think we ended on good terms. It seemed like we ended on good terms. Like, you know, in the text message, I mentioned the fact that, you know, I could have done a lot better as CEO. Just, you know, things have kind of changed over time. And apologize for kind of wasting his time in a way. That's how I kind of phrased it in the text message. And when he picked up, all he really said was like, sorry that things didn't work out. And that was kind of it. So I think we're on, well, obviously we're probably not on like the best of terms. But I imagine we've just kind of gone back to how we were before the casino stuff even happened which is not really much relationship there whatsoever like before the casino max and marty didn't really know each other whatsoever i can't think of any time that they actually really interacted with one another 
It's probably partially why the casino stuff didn't really work out in the long term too, is because there was no real prior relationship or real like prior trust between the characters. So going into business with each other just didn't really work out for the most part. The whole casino stuff with Max quitting, there's like a multitude of different reasons why I went into it, why that happened. It isn't just one thing. It's kind of like a multitude of different things. But that is all done now, and that's kind of like the last thing that we needed to get done to now go into Crime Max, like full Crime Max. That's like the last little bit. Also, Baldur 75, thanks for the tier one. Mari Cleric, thanks for the tier one. And Mari Cleric, thanks to the five gifted. Much appreciated. Hope y'all enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max modes. As always, I gotta recommend the Gorpus Spin because that is still my favorite emote personally. I do love the good old Spin. Can't go wrong with it. Yeah, I think both uh, Marty and Max kind of have their reasons behind it. I do think that maybe Marty was already planning to fire Max anyway. Because like I said, I've been banned from the casino website for a few days now. Well, at least Max's account was banned from the casino website. So I don't know if it was a thing that was already coming or if it was just an unlucky coincidence there. But it's that Max fully understands if Marty isn't like the best, you know, doesn't like Max all too much. Because we had been hired with him for two weeks and there's definitely a lot more work we could have done. Not to say that we didn't do any work. Like I do think that we did do some work for the casino. Like we got the managers hired on. We got a few dealers hired on. That's probably the part where I kind of messed up the most is I could have hired a lot more dealers on. But I will admit, I kind of struggled with that because everyone that I thought that, that would be good for it just didn't work out in the end. They either didn't want to work or they, Marty didn't really like them as the dealer role. So that kind of didn't work too well. Yeah, we made the video too. Like, I, I think that should be considered. We did do work. Especially considering the fact that we didn't get paid a dime throughout all of this. Uh, nor did I really care about getting paid because initially my goal was to just build up a business. That was going to be the payment, is a business that we could really sink our teeth into. Though, obviously, you know, things like that kind of changed over time with the casino in town opening and everything. What's going to happen to it when the new casino comes on? No clue. That's up to my to decide. He still seems pretty confident about running the casino anyway, so I do wish him the best of luck with that. He's definitely got a bit of an uphill battle with it, so I hope he can really get a good team behind him. Hopefully he's able to find a good CEO that'll kind of dedicate more time to it than Max was able to. I think that's ultimately why Max failed as CEO is because when it comes to business, you need your sole focus to be the business. Like you need your priority to be the business. And back in 3.0, when Max did business primarily, he was able to do that because that was his main focus. It was business. That was what he did. So he's able to like make that his main thing. But now in 4.0, he's got people like, you know, the Gorals, Timothy, you know, a lot of friends that he's going to prioritize more so than the business. Hence why he didn't really think he'd be a good CEO anymore. I think that meeting that Marty, Max, and the rest of the casino, like, managers had, like, right after the other casino opened, kind of solidified that fact to Max, that he just hasn't got the right priorities to be a CEO. That's just realistically how it is. I wish that it was a revelation... It would have been better if that revelation came sooner, because, you know, that way Marty could have got a different CEO at that time. But, you know, th that's just how RP goes. That's how those things sort of go. But now, Max is a completely free agent. He's not tied to any business or anything. He's free to do whatever he wants. He's got no responsibilities, no commitments, no nothing. He's a free man to do what he wishes. And I spent a lot of day of yesterday down in the sewers for that very reason. I can do whatever I want. Y you should be able to turn off the closed captions in the bottom right. For those that uh, don't want the closed captions. I just wanted that as like an option in case people did want it. For those hard of hearing and stuff like that. I wanted to make it like an accessibility option for the stream. It doesn't, always, I will say it doesn't really work perfectly, but you know, it's better than nothing. But there should be like a little CC thing in the bottom right you can turn off to disable it. But yeah, so now we just got to decide where we're going to take Max from here. I definitely feel like I've maybe been doing a little bit too many grime runs recently. I probably want to save the Grey runs for like maybe later in the day. Because I, I I think the reason why the last few streams, like I've kind of lost a lot of energy in the last couple streams and I was kind of wondering why. And I think that may be the reason why. <laughs> Morning, kitty. 
Uh, it's because I typically do those grime runs late at night, so I'm already in like a sleepy mindset. So things just become every time I do grime now, I just get instantly in a sleepy mindset. So I'm probably going to try and do less grime runs throughout the day. Unless, you know, there isn't really much else to do and, you know, we want to hang out and maybe make some money. But money-wise, we're pretty up good right now, so we don't really need to worry about that all too much. And Timothy's fine to do those runs later in the day anyway. Especially since, like, Crime Academy and stuff's going on at the moment, which kind of preoccupies his time. Plus, he's been doing weed runs. That's actually something I helped Timothy out with yesterday. I did a few weed runs with him. And it went pretty good. Apparently, he had the best weed run he had had in ages with us. So, you know, maybe we're his good luck charm. Feeling about going into crime? Is he feeling nervy? Well, in certain aspects, yes. Like, he's definitely nervous about the idea of getting caught by the cops and getting a felony. Like, he's, you know, getting caught, getting a police say, chase, stuff like that. So he's primarily going to start off with more low-key crime. Like, you know, going in the sewers, collecting supplies, stuff like that. Maybe doing a bit of moonshining. But that those nerves will kind of go away over time. Like, if he does, like, roof running with the girls or something like that, you know, maybe they bring him along for a few jobs. He probably won't do anything big like the laundromat for a while. Because that feels like too big of a leap. Like, I, I want to ideally try and take it slow. Hey, Ace! Thanks for the five gifted. Much appreciated as always, Ace. Hope y'all enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max emotes. Max Chad may become more useful in the near future. You never know. Invest now in Max Chad. Being a criminal means that I might need to shoot someone. Yippee. Wait, no, sorry. Yippee. That's better. But yeah, so that's um, kind of how I'm going to take things. I want to ideally take it slow. I'm not going to jump into the large things from the get-go. Roof running is probably like the extent of what I'm going to get into with Max right now. Is it like the extreme that Max is going to get into. La laundromats, heist, stuff like that. I kind of like the idea of Max being more behind the scenes rather than actually like being there. Should the house be in Kitty's name if Max is going to go do crime? No, we shouldn't run into any issue. What's going to happen if we get raided? What are we going to lose? We don't have like a weed grow up or anything here. Uh, we're not even really storing anything illegal. So if we get raided, it's really not that much of an issue. We, we've angled this house to be more like a house than like a criminal operation. Those laundry machines aren't illegal to have, nor is the computer. So we're not going to really run into any issues. And also Kitty's, Kitty is also debating about going down the criminal path too. So, you know, it doesn't really matter in the long term. And Kitty is very much in a similar sort of place that Max is. We're like, when it comes to business, we've kind of done everything. <laughs> Again, that's another reason why I'm moving away from business on Max. is because, like, we were in Cerberus in 3.0. We were, like, on the board of directors at Cerberus. Like, if 3.0 maybe went on for a few more months, Max could have very easily become ahead of Cerberus. I, I genuinely believe that. He I think he was on the path to going there. So, you know, he was basically at the top of the civilian business ladder. And, you know, I want to try something different. Max wants to try something different. He's already reached the top of the ladder. Now it's time for him to climb something else. I, I initially had this thought at the start of three, uh, 4.0 with Max. Like, initially, that is the path that I was going to take with him, is go down more of a criminal path. Hence why we did those, like, little robberies with April to begin with. But, you know, opportunities came up. The Liquid Library, I would say, was a big point of that, too, because, like... I was going to be the owner of the Liquid Library. Like, Sis was going to put the Liquid Library in Max's name. But then, you know, everything that happened with that happened with that. Again, another reason why Max is going down this route. As I said, it's just a lot of things that have kind of built up to this. It isn't one thing or another thing that led to Max quitting the casino. It's just a multitude of different things. And I really do wish Marty the best of luck with it. I think he can definitely make it into something special, even with the other casino open. Like, shifting down more of, like, using it as a way to clean cash could be fun. The only risk with that is that as soon as it gets found out, that's it. As soon as someone tells someone about it. Like, unfortunately, there's a very big thing with criminals in the city where some criminals just like talking to the police. <laughs> like, I, I know there's been instances where some criminals have detailed, like, the whole money cleaning operation that, uh, that criminals have to go through to the police. So it's not far-fetched to think that someone may mention to a police officer that this casino is cleaning money, becoming like an, a money laundering thing. And as soon as you get caught, you can't exactly keep running it, unfortunately. 
So I do wish him the best of luck with that. It's, go it's definitely going to be an uphill battle. But I think he's going to be able to get something good going there. Because as he said, the, as Marty said in that meeting, the other casino probably isn't going to be open for a good long while. Like the other casino probably isn't going to be open for like another at least three, four months, I'd say. Otherwise, it wouldn't say opening soon there. It would just be open. And also, they probably don't want to open up until later because like the casino can really screw over the economy. Like the casino in 3.0 definitely did kind of screw over the economy in some ways. People were able to like find really solid ways to make roulette work. And then, like, made complete bank from it. Like, people made millions off doing roulette. So it is definitely a big risk for the economy. So probably coming a little bit later for the most part. Especially since it would be different to say, like, our casino, like Marty's casino. Because that's player money. Whereas the casino, like the state casino, that's, like, infinite money, essentially. At least that's how it worked in 3.0. Who knows if it's going to work the same way in 4.0. If it comes from like state funds or something. But state funds within themselves are basically a bottomless pit of funds anyway. Like it was up to, what was it? Almost $900 million in 3.0 when I was mayor is how much was in the state account. And it wouldn't matter how much I would take from there. It would never make any sort of dent. Hence why so many mayors were able to get away with taking money from the account because no one would ever notice. Like when there's $900 million in an account, no one's going to notice like a missing two to $3 million because it's going to be basically fixed anyway within a week and no one will be the wiser. Not to mention the fact that with the state account, every single purchase in the city, whether it be a rental or clothing stuff, showed up as a transaction. So to see all of the transactions, like to catch someone's transaction of like taking money from the account, You'd have to basically get lucky because there'd be no other way to do it. But yeah, I don't know where I was going with that point. I kind of forgot halfway through. But yeah, so today we're going to see where things go with Max. I think today might be the day that we spend some more time in the sewers. I did spend a little bit of time in there last night trying to get myself accustomed, but I feel like that's going to take a lot of time. Like getting accustomed to the sewers, at least from my understanding, does take like hours potentially so we might have to spend some time down there and unfortunately you can't really do much down there until you are more acclimated like i can't go searching for moonshine supplies because you can't you don't get any moonshine supplies until you're more acclimated to the sewers so i just got to spend some more time down there and what i was thinking of utilizing our time down there today and you know for this week is i really want to map out the sewers i, I want to make like a really really solid way to to traverse the sewers it's going to be really difficult though like that place is an absolute maze if you don't know where you're going it's good that we have like a consistent way like a consistent route to get to an exit otherwise i would be completely lost down there like as soon as i'm able to get to the center i'm able to make my way out but if i am not able to make my way to the center i'm kind of screwed <laughs> But yeah, so that's the idea. Also, let me show you guys all the furniture that's been moved into the house real quick. So as I said, I've moved in some rugs. So we've got a rug now underneath the chairs and everything. Again, makes it look just a little bit more homely. I've also got the rugs and the chairs over here. So we've now got the full chairs around here. I think this is what made it so expensive is these sofas. I, I don't know how much these sofas were per, but buying all the furniture came to $30,000. So, you know... Yeah, it, it was quite expensive, but I think it looks pretty good. The only issue that I see us running into is the fact that if you use placed emotes, usually you end up in the void. And I'm pretty sure the only way you can sit down here is by using placed emotes. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. I was thinking what we could do alternatively is maybe we put a coffee table there instead. Instead of having the large table, we instead just have like a small table and then you can walk around it and then just place yourself down that way, which might be a better way to kind of solve that issue or even just not have a table there whatsoever just have like a nice little couch area yeah the bay windows don't look as scuffed anymore either they only look scuffed if you get really into the window because there isn't anything at the top but it's very difficult to get there how much stuff is still missing so what's missing at the moment is like a few little bits of decoration there a few bits of decoration around here uh, there's like this whole sideboard over here that we still need to get like a little shelving unit with some stuff on top of it Oh, I also got wall art as well So you've got the wall art up there now wall art there 
wall art over here too just you know making the place look a lot more fancier then also we have finally got the addition of the cuck chair this was a long-awaited addition of the house and also we have the carpet in here now which you know is, is a little addition but i think it looks pretty nice i think it kind of adds to the whole uh, vibe of the room hey vindic thanks for the five gifted much appreciated hope you all enjoy those beautiful goblin and max motes courtesy of vindict appreciate the support though i will say one other thing that i need to get in here is there's well one i need to get the railings so you know that these aren't just floating but apparently that's going to cost me a lot of money so i guess we'll have to kind of sort that out but there's also meant to be like a little thing in the center here like if we go into the editor view there's a little chair in the center i'm not sure if we really need that to be honest I think it might be better if it's more open because I see this just kind of getting in the way for the most part. As much as it does look good, I just see that kind of becoming a thing people have to like climb over, just scoot around. And, you know, with the clothing stuff being there, that might get in the way too. So I think that might be better to move. You yeah, maybe put the spawn there instead might be better. We also need to get like those little bits of decoration there. Uh, let's see i think most of the decoration like this way is kind of done now i do want to get like another storage there as you can see that there's only one storage there at the moment but I, I hope that works the way that i've got that basically i just took a storage and put it upside down makes more room for us we also need to get that big washing machine too but that that's some time in the future also the workbench is now gone apparently kitty is lending it to glorion for something that i wasn't told about so the workbench is currently gone at the moment. I've moved all the stuff from it to other places though. Then up here. Do, 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 do. See, as you see, we've got like the little signboard there with the decorations on it. And there's also the little bits of decoration over here, as you can see. So we're pretty much almost done. Like we're only a few items away from being done at this point. I'd say maybe like another 30,000 or so and we'll be good. Honestly, we might be able to get this done today if we want to. Like, I've got the money to buy this furniture. And that way, at least we will be solidly done. Then we can start investing our money elsewhere. I will say another thing about getting this, this thing in the center too, is that this is a high quality chair. Like th this is a high quality chair. So it's going to be a little bit more expensive. So I'm not sure if it's worth the expense, to be honest. I mean, it definitely does look good, but... I'm not really sure if it's really needed for the most part. How much have you invested in the house? $130,000. That's not including the amount of money that we put in to buy the house to begin with. If we include that, our total money spent on the house is $175,000. I think once we get these other bits of decoration, it's going to be $200,000. Max is the only one that's really been buying furniture for the most part. At least the more expensive furniture. But yeah, no, I, th I think I might try and get that done. And also, I'll probably upgrade the bed. The, the bed is the last thing that I want to upgrade. Like, once we have everything else, that's when we're going to upgrade the bed. Is Max okay with paying for everything roughly? Yeah, no, Max is fine with it. But when we got the house, it was under the understanding that you don't have to put any money towards the furniture if you don't want to. And Max wants a nice place for all of his friends to live. Like, himself and all of his friends to live. So that's why he's been dedicating so much money towards it. He just wants a really nice place for the girls to have. Yeah, so I'm gonna... Hmm. The thing is, if we... When it comes to the beds... When it comes to, like, the high-quality beds, like, the more fancier beds... We've got a few options. Let's have a quick look. What options could we choose from? Where is it? Where is it? beds 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 well it's probably in the b section isn't it beds high quality so i'm thinking maybe this bed hold on rotate S nope okay rotate i was thinking maybe this bed would work hold on cue the world the only issue of this one is the size we might have to get rid of that side bit if we're doing this like, as you see, it's kind of... Unless we get it, like, 
really close to the wall. No, actually, no, we might be able to move it over. It's a very big bed is the thing. Like, it is very, very big. Like, almost double the size of the other bed. Let me just get this all lined up as best I can. Remove the sofa? Yeah, maybe remove the sofa. Maybe remove the sofa and then move the sideboard over there instead. Maybe that'd be better. Then again, the cuck chair. Hmm. Much to think about, much to think about. But yeah, so I was thinking of choosing this one, because this looks like it could eat, well, not easily, but you know, it's better for a house that's full of multiple people. Let's say that. A lot more space to work with. So other than this one, we've also got... Let's have a look-see. We've got this one, which is another yacht bed, which I think is the same size. Yeah, same size, different color. I don't know which one we'd go for, but, you know, we have the options. Delete that. Then we've got this, another yacht bed, which is extremely much larger. Which, I'm again, this one might be just a little bit too big. Not really what we're looking for. There's... Hold on. Translate. Move this down. This one, which is about the same size as that bed. Honestly, I don't, I don't see how this is a high quality bed. It doesn't look as good, in my opinion. This looks more medium quality to me. They've also got, let's see. Hold on. Eh. Eh. This one here. I think, is this the red one? Okay, this is the exact same one, just a little bit different. Yeah, it's giving Ikea, exactly. It's too bland for us. This one, I think April would love. This one is 100% an April bed. Let me lower that. Again, though, pretty small in size. But it is very, very, very classy. Very classy. Yes, April coated both in, like, the style and the color. This is about the same size as the bed that we already have, too. So it'd easier fit in what we have right now. Though I feel like getting a larger bed just feels more like an upgrade to me. This one definitely is an upgrade, but the large one just feels more... I don't know, just, it, it just feels better to me. This so what else we got? We got... This one? Why does it keep going above me? Again, this one is classy, but, you know, giving a little bit... Not really the vibe that we're going for. What about basic quality? What's available in basic quality? Okay, that's a porno bed. Gotcha. Which one's this one? I don't see how that's high, that's medium quality. This one... Yeah, not really our style. Bed double. Oh, this is a bit more like it. Bed double. Hmm. Bed wide. Let's show me the wide bed. Oh, God. Damn, that is a wide bed. Again, you know, this could easily fit all of us in here. Hmm. This would be cheaper as well, by the way. Now, this is going to be cheaper than the higher quality bed. Let me rotate. But, you know, go big or go home, as they say. Hmm. Yeah, that one does work, but I don't know. Executive bed. What makes an executive bed? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's change it to this bed. This feels like... How does this feel like a downgrade to what we already have? This feels more like a downgrade. We could change to this one just to see what they would say. And let's see. Bunker bed. Yeah, again, just not really the sort of style we're going for. That can be Eli and Yuno's bed. No, Eli and Yuno's bed is over here. We're going to be moving that bed there over to here, by the way. That's, that's where it's going, the, the item. Honestly, I think I want to go for the yacht bed. I like this one. Well, no, it wasn't this one. It was the second one. I, I like this one better. But I think this feels like an upgrade to me. Which is what I'm looking for, is like an upgrade to the house. It's like finally saying like, hey, we're done. We're decorated. Boom. Hey, 
Hey, Chilsey16, thanks for three months. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max Motes as all the way, Chilsey. Appreciate the support. All right, let's see. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking this. I think we go for this bed. It feels like an upgrade. We can easily move things around for it, too. Like someone mentioned about moving the couch to the end of the bed. I could definitely see that work. Mm, maybe it wouldn't work too well. Might put it a bit further in the ground, too. You know, maybe like this sort of level. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to get the color to match, unfortunately. Yeah, maybe we remove the couch and we move the sideboard over there instead. That might work better. That does leave us, leave us with a free couch, though. Hmm. So let me just place that. Let, let's maybe start moving things around with the idea of getting this done. Because I might look to get this done today. I mean, I got the money for it. Can you fit the couch in the computer room? Ah. Uh, the thing is, we, we did have a bed in here. We've got some bean bags here already. I'm not sure if we really want to move it there. Actually, hold on. What other options do we have for couches? Because this is a basic quality. What's the basic quality sofas looking like? What could we change that for? Oh, yeah. It's way too much. It's going to be impossible to squeeze around with that. Definitely need to move the couch. But why do we move it for is the question. Basic quality. There. Oh my god, there's so many options. Okay, let's see. There's that one. Bench. Clubhouse sofa. We could get the cuck chair still. We could put that there instead in the corner. That could work. What else we got? That's the sofa that we have. Ooh, I kind of like the style of that sofa. But I think that would also kind of get in the way. Sofa, sofa. This might be a little bit too large. A little bit too large. Weight bench. Ooh. Now this could work at like the end of the bed. Oh, let's see. How would that look? Ah, it doesn't match perfectly, unfortunately. Yeah, no, too much, too much. Okay, what else we got? Seat long. Ooh, a bit more of a fancier chair. Okay, I like that. We've got... I like that, but it's not really going to fit in here. Couch. Another chair. A lot of chairs. Thank you, I do need that for the decisions. Sofa. Hmm. So we have options then, okay. Maybe we do remove that for now then. Let's redesign the bedroom. Screw it. Okay, we've got five minutes before storm. We can do that in that time. All right, let's have a look. See, so let's just get rid of this for now. Boom. And save. So that goes into my inventory. It's possible to add a big group picture of the girls. Unfortunately, not. No, not at the moment. So this is a basic quality sideboard. What basic quality sideboards do we have? Basic quality. Where is that? Hold on. So I want to move it to like over there. So to do that, we need to... Rotate. Eh. Nah, too big. Why does it keep going above my head? Okay, that's not going to work. TV stand. Okay. Okay, a little bit too much. Bedside table. Bedside table, small bookshelf, storage unit, wardrobe, unit, sideboard. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Display cabinet, chest of drawers. Okay, there's definitely a lot of options with this. What's this? A woe? Okay, this is nothing, apparently. Okay. Filing cabinet. Filing cabinet. Cabinet low. Cabinet tool. Off shelf. 
Off shell. Damn, there's a lot of options for this. Jeez Louise. Is that like a post office thing? Okay. Post box. Okay. Large cupboard. Shelving units. Okay. Magazine stand. Even larger. Oh my god. What? What is that even? How is that a sideboard? Why is this in the sideboard section? I'm kind of curious how much storage these have though. Because depending on the item depends on what storage size it has. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on a minute. What if I were to move that in here instead? What if I were to purchase fast food and disguise it as my own cooking? Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Now, hold on. That could look pretty sick in here. That would be good storage for the moonshine, too, there. Hold on a minute. Is that even? It's not clipping through. Ooh. I kind of like the look of that in here. I want to see how much storage that has. Okay, hold on. Wait, cancel. So we're going to save for now. Save, leave. We've got two minutes before storm. Let me just check. The couch went in here, right? I didn't just waste the couch. Okay, good. So I need to move all the items from here real quick. Move all of April's items out of here. Let's move that into the storage over here instead. Boom, 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 boom. Then, okay, we still got two minutes. Okay, I can do this in two minutes. Then we open editor. Might just have to get rid of these for now, unfortunately. But luckily, we didn't purchase any of these yet, so that's fine. Let's go boom, boom, and boom. Then we're going to delete that for now. Then placed. Then boom. That should be built now. Yep, okay. Save. Hey, you never know when those $13 will come in handy, all right? You never know. Okay, let's see. How much storage this got? Wait, does this not have any storage? Drat! Foiled again? Come on, how's this not have any storage to it? What the heck, man? Maybe it's like a storm thing. Maybe we have to wait until we sleep and wake up. We don't have a new bed just yet, but I'm working on it. Maybe one of the goals today to get the bed. Subathon goal. I'll buy us a new bed if I get 100 million subscribers. Yeah, hopefully after storm, because this fits perfectly in here. We might be able to find something else, though, that kind of matches. Potentially. There, there was some other options there we could choose from, and maybe those would actually have storage to it. Okay, so that's... Maybe today will be a happy home decorator stream. So I think Storm is hitting now, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like Storm is hitting. Damn, we might actually be able to make some good progress with the house today. We, we might be able to finish today. Have a lovely area to live in. What's the gaming room looking like? It looks like this. We need to get more GPU racks. What we need to do is move Kitty's computer out and get more GPU racks. There's no point of us having two computers right now. At least at the moment. And also, this takes up like 50 power. And we currently only have 150 power being used. So this is taking up like 30% of the power of the house right now. And we don't need two of them. A gaming chair would look sick with it? No. With Kitty in the house, we're not getting a gamer chair. I'm sorry. If she buys one, she buys one. But I'm not getting one. I'm not enabling that. I enabled the Embrace 2 and I regret it. I will not enable with a gaming chair. I've made one mistake. I will not make another. Was this Storm rolling in? Oh yeah, Storm is rolling in. Let's FA quit for now. Boom. Listen, Kitty makes the same joke because she was going to buy a gamer chair last time we saw each other. Well, last time we went furniture shopping. Ah, I regret bringing Embrace 2 into the world. Well, it was already a thing. The thing is, I did not make Embrace 2. I did not bring 
like the initial attention to embrace too but i told the wrong person about it i should have never told april that was my largest mistake i never should have told april about embrace too she's a menace and it's only spreading more and more i'm pretty sure ray does it now january does it now i think ember's been doing it i'm patient zero I'm Oppenheimer, but for Embrace 2. I have become Death, Embracer of 2. This was my mistake. I can I cannot fix it. The only th way I can fix it is if I message a dev to delete it. That's the only way. It's the only way. Though I am surprised that emote is even a thing. I think everyone's surprised that emote is even a thing. I think that's what makes it so funny. Is that you wouldn't expect an emote like that in the server. April told Ray to use it at the time with T. Oh god. Hey! Itching Zero Princess, thanks for converting your Prime Sub to a Tier 1 sub. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy the continued use of those beautiful Goblin and Maximus Princess. Appreciate the support. Able did make Ray use it? God damn it, no. More and more people keep people keep using it. It's only a matter of time before it goes horribly wrong. It's only a matter of time until someone uses it to actually ERP. At least April's joking with it right now. But someone will use it to ERP. Just you wait. Hey, Bacon Bull 22. Thank you for the three months. God damn, yeah, three months. It, it feels like this year's both been like going super quick and super slow. It's like a mix of the two. It's, it feels weird. A lot of like time whiplash this year so far. But I appreciate the support, Bacon. You got that beautiful leather helmet now, too. Gives you just a little bit of extra protection against zombies and creepers. Only a little bit, though. But it's better than nothing. She did use it to ERP already? Well, with April, I wouldn't consider it ERP. I'd call it J-ERP. You know, joking ERP. Jerp, if you will. Just you wait until someone seriously uses it. Just you wait. It's only a matter of time. Yep, it's Embrace 2 Roleplay. That's exactly what ERP stands for. Just be thankful that April's the one embracing other people. It'd be worse if other people were embracing April. At least she's the one initiating it. It's much worse if it's the other way around. I still regret even discovering. The thing is, I I don't think I'm guilty for discovering that emote because you don't think something called Embrace 2 includes an ass slap. You wouldn't think that. You wouldn't think something where you embrace someone includes motorboating into an ass slap. I thought that it was a hug. I thought it was the equivalent to a hug. And I was very, 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 very wrong. Very, very, very wrong. Is on a hotkey? Oh god, I'm not- Honestly, I'm not surprised with that. I mean, it technically is kind of a hug. There is hugging involved with it. It's just, you know, yeah, really bad. Wait, it's not a hug? If you haven't seen it already, you're the lucky one. You're bound to see it at some point. A nice platonic normal hug. Yeah, exactly. Nice and platonic. I prefer the bro hug. I, the thing is, I think those are the only options for hugs. There's no, like, you know, regular hug as an option. Hence why I went for the embrace. Because bro hug is, like, a very specific emotion, you know? I think... <laughs> The sad thing is, I think Max was trying to comfort someone when that happened. When I first discovered what Embrace 2 was. I was trying to comfort someone. Clearly did not... 
you know, work out that way. And, you know, a bro hug isn't very comforting sort of hug. Who was that? Is there a clip? There is a clip, but I'm not going to be the one to go find it. Is that like the very start of 4.0? Back before Max's beard fully grew in. But yes, there is a clip out there somewhere. Doesn't April get a single embrace to moment with Max Daly? I don't remember agreeing to that. I'm pretty sure I gave her like a voucher for one free embrace too. I don't think I gave her permission for an embrace to every single day. But it is funny, so I'm going to go along with it. If it's funny, then it's fine. ERP is fine if it's funny. Alright, looks like we're loading into the server now. We'll finish off the decorations, then I'm going to see if Kelman's around and we'll put in that order for the furniture. Let's finish off the house today. That's one of my goals. Let's get this house looking nice and fancy. And, you know, get a better bed too. I think everyone will be happy once we get a better bed. Maybe more people will sleep at the house then. Might be a Foos civil war? Oh god. Well, there's still a lot of Fooses to come to town yet, right? The Father and December still haven't come to town. I'm pretty sure they won't be the last ones either. I wouldn't be surprised if by like... Maybe the end of next month or next end of next two months, we're gonna have like a full family. How to talk with Marty go? It wasn't really much of a talk. Because we kept missing each other, I just texted him. And then he picked up the key and just said, sorry, things didn't work out. And that was it. Any update on Queenie and Lottie living at the girl house too? I think we still need to have a dis like a full house discussion about that. Because I'm fairly certain that like all the G that G6 crew were going to get a house together. Like January, Link, Lottie, Queenie, Twinkles. I thought they were all going to get their own house together. That's the, the assumption that I was under. The G6 crew. Let's see. Load on in. Oh, we need to tell Marty to remove us from the panel too, because we can still wake up at the house. And load on in. Timothy. Boy spotted. Eh. Morning, Timothy. Eh. Max. Yes? Can you grab me? Where, I, where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, you good? Can you grab me? I, I can't see anything. Got you. Uh, can you bring me out of the house? It's very bad. Okay, I got you. I got you. Here we go. That better? Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. That's so much better. No worries. Wait, let me see. No! Uh-oh. Wait, do you see stairs in the middle? I need help again. Okay, you might need to take a nap, because this issue has happened to me before. This might be a, a nap situation. Can you just grab me? I want to try one more thing. Okay, wh where are you? I'm I'm in the washing machine room right now. Uh, I, I can't I can't. Okay, wait. I'm gonna stand still. Oh, I see. I see. I see you. Got you. Do you see like stairs in the middle or something? No. Okay. Weird. You, you see nothing in here, right? I see stuff. Okay. I'll just stay out of the house for now. I don't need to do anything in there. Okay, well, yeah, a nap should fix you. Or try running across the road and back. Sometimes that helps. Hey, Foxybone, thanks for the three months. Much appreciated. There he goes. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max modes as always, Foxy. Appreciate the support. Don't 
Let's see. Still having issues? Mm. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I don't no, it's, it's it. perfect. Like that, a nap okay. should fix either way. Yeah, I'll take a nap if need be, but I should be good for now. Did you see what they did to grind Max? Wait, what they do? You get 1.5k per packer run now. What? Yep, it's bad now, Max. Why? What happened? Anymore. They fucked us over. Wait, 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 wait. They that's like one. Over. Wait, that's like five thousand kilos. Yes. Oh, that's not worth it whatsoever. Yep. When it's over, Max. It's over. What? Good days are behind us now. How did it go from like seven thousand to one point five? That's a huge difference. I don't know. It's it's over, Max. They 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 oh, caught on. Shit. What about our union representative? He's supposed to sort this. He's trying to, but there's only so much he can do. Damn it. Well, did G6 also get hit? No, Max. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, G6, did. I think they did. Yes. They're getting paid less too. Okay, at least that's some light in the dark. I think it's time for me to move on, Max. What are you moving to? It's time for me to move on. I can't do this shit anymore. I'm tired, Max. What does that mean? Over and over again. Wait, this what? This mayor keeps fucking us over. Well, and the government too. So, I... I'm gonna figure. I'm gonna do my a, a different thing. I'm gonna do my own thing to make money now. I'm, not, I'm done relying on these uh these civilian jobs. Hell yeah! I'm fully on board with you there. Let's it. start a moonshine I, I, empire. Not... Fuck moonshine! No. What the hell? Moonshine's cool. I'm thinking of something else. Wait, who's marijuana? This? Hello. It's 1.5k now, bro. What did they do? Okay, okay, then pick me. I guess we can experiment. We can experiment. I'm at my house. Got yeah, 1.5? That's well, just not worth it. No, I don't. I put that shit away. Because one day is enough. It could just I'm be broken right fine. now. Okay. Honestly, I'd be happy if they did this, if they gave Grime like other like benefits to it. All right, if you pick me up real quick, then yes, we can experiment, but it's 1.5k unless something is different. God damn. Hmm. It's so it still says 700 a contract. Okay, all right, well. It could just be broken. Okay, okay. Um, pick me up and then we can experiment, all right? I don't think I've ever seen Timothy without his goggles Wait, on. Wait, what? I just realized that he doesn't have his goggles on right now. Okay, he's he's trying to see, like, if it's, uh... Okay, then. Uh, how about, call me back when he does his one run, I guess. All right? Oh, okay. Uh, I thought you said you were waiting. Yeah, hopefully if they are making those changes, they make some other benefits to Grime, because that is just okay. like... Oof. Okay, sure. Let's do that. All right. See you soon. Then again, we have definitely made our money's worth from Grime. It's over, Max. It's, it's over. Jova. I think it might be over, but I don't know. Uh, We're going to experiment and see. Well, there better be other opportunities with Grime then. It also could just be, you know, scuffed. If it's still saying 700 a contract, then it could just be some issues with frank i don't know man i don't know i feel bad for you know too because he was about to get into the grime life as <laughs> yeah, well yeah he just started oh, it's that... over max i'm i'm moving on to bigger and better things as soon That's as it's it. back up to 7k you'll be right back yes i will be right <laughs> back but i'm moving on to bigger and better things for now the devil's lettuce no oh i have an idea but hey, we'll oh, talk on. on that later we gotta okay. get going all right okay best of luck let, let me know how it is Right. You guys have got this. It, it can't be Jova. We've invested so much yeah. time. It can't right. be. It sucks, man. <laughs> you know, if it's down that bad, that is awful. I gotta be honest, I don't want to spend an hour plus in a truck just to make $1,500. I don't want to do that. 
Though this could be a way to encourage people to like move away from those sort of jobs. Which, you know, I would understand. Because I mean, I guess 1.5k like compared to every other job in the city is kind of average. But we've been used to the luxury life. They can't just take us from like 6.5k run to 1.5. It's too much. Let's see. So this doesn't work as storage, right? Okay, let's try something else. Delete. Sideboard, sideboard. Basic sideboards. I think the cool ones were at the bottom, weren't they? Yeah, these ones. Import racks. Hmm. I wonder if the... Hold on, let's have a look. Lift stand. Desk drawer. Let's see this one. Does this one have any storage attached to it? Yeah, it is a huge cut, especially if G6 is still paying as much. Because that's kind of like the trade-off in a way, you know? Grind took longer, but paid more, whereas G6 pays less, but is really quick to do. In my opinion, the benefits of G6 are like the ATM stuff. That's like the huge benefits in my mind. Like, a lot of ways to make passive money. And again, you know, the whole thing that you can get a job done really quick, too. There is risk involved with G6, too. That is true. Okay, let's see. Place that. Hey, Biggie Schmalls. Thanks for Prime Gaming. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Maximotes, Biggie. Appreciate the support. All right, let's see. Storage. Damn, is this not of storage either? I mean, hmm. This theoretically could work for, like, placing the moonshine bottles. But basically, what I'm looking for right now is good storage for moonshine. But then you can't really organize it, which is the downside. Hmm. Huh. What to do, what to do. I guess we could go back to the initial idea of having sideboards in here again. Like, you know, have a sideboard, like, here instead. That could still work. Eh. Hold on. Eh. 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 Hmm. Let me try one more thing. Let me... Boom. Delete. Let's try, like, one of the big, big ones one more time. Let's see if this is any form of storage with it. Or if it is just cosmetic. I've got a feeling that it is just cosmetic. More so than usable. I mean, I'm definitely glad that people don't rub grind workers. Definitely glad that's a fact. That happens. I wouldn't do it if I had the chance of getting, like, rob frequently after an hour's worth of work. Hold on, I've got to do this. Let's see. Okay, this is the same then, yeah. Cosmetic more so than usability. I guess that kind of makes sense. Well, grind boxes are good if you want to get your rep up. The only issue is, one, you know, get, doesn't get you any money, so a lot of people don't like that. And two, it bans you from grime. And, you know, people want to be able to do grime. Oh, hold on a minute. Wasn't there, like, the... Ooh... What about these ones? Does this have any storage to it? The uh, the post boxes. The PO boxes. Maybe these have some storage to it. Timothy's going to go test out the grime stuff with Marlo. The expert in grime. Marlo has genuinely spent like every day doing grime. He knows it better than anyone else. See, so line this up like that. Boom. Okay, let's give this a go. Post box. Create. Save. Oh, this does have storage. Ooh! Decent bit of storage. Too. A lot of slots. Maybe not too much weight, though. 
But I don't think the moonshine bottles take up that much weight. Okay, that's good. Perfect. We'll go with that for now, then. That is a lot of slots in there. That, that's good for organization. Really good for organization. Okay, good. So we got that now. That'll go in here for now. Then... Let's see, is there any other changes we want to make in here? Honestly, I think just getting the bed in here will be enough. I don't really think we need too much else. I feel like if we do put something underneath there, it's just going to feel really cramped. In fact, we could probably move this a little bit more towards the center if we wanted to. And maybe like a little bit this way. Nah, 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 nah. Where, where, where it was was fine. Here. Big bed. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Okay, let's see. Save. So what's left on the shopping list? Let me write this down. So what have we got left? We have got... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, I'm getting my little uh, notebook out where I keep track of all this stuff. Let's see, I can cross all of this out for now. There we go. Okay, let's see. So what we need, we need six railings. Railings. I like taking notes physically rather than digital th digitally. We need nine small decor. We need five decorative boxes. Two boxes. We can't get kitchenware just yet. We need two candles. We get the plants from up north, so don't need to include that, but I'll write it down anyway. Three small plants. Maybe we go get that now, actually. Two clocks. Two clock. We need one high quality bed. We need one vase. One high quality side board. Oh god, this is really gonna <laughs> this is really gonna add up. I don't know what that basic quality table is. I still need to find out where that is. Why do we have a basic quality table? I'm pretty sure... Actually, I really don't know where that one is. We'll leave that one for now. Then we just need one table lamp, which I think we get up north again. Table lamp. One rubbish bed we have. And I think that's all we need. Maybe one large crate too. Large. Though that's not as important, actually. That's something I can get a bit later. Save and build. Uh, you know, actually, you might be right. Maybe a rug would look nice in here. Maybe get one more rug. Let's see what options we have in terms of rugs. Hey, frog. Let's see. Would it be carpets or would it be rugs? Construction. What would it be under? Lawn garden, pets and livestock. Storage, signs, tools, trims. Window cover. Where, where is it? Am I blind? Plants, livestock. Kitchen utensils, kitchen appliances, electronics. Ducks and vents, drugs and guns and illegal. Would it be decorative? Decorative... Decorative rugs. Oh, decorative rug runners. What's that? Oh, that's for stairs. Oh. Okay, we don't really need to carpet the stairs. Okay, so we'll just go to regular carpets then. Regular rugs. Is there any fancy ones? I'm not sure if just a square one would look good. I want a fancy one. Rug wool... Wool. Okay, that's cow skin. Maybe something like this. 
Is it maybe like a better color, maybe? Let's have a look. Hmm. That isn't bad. Not too bad. Get something fancy. It depends how big we want to go here. Don't think that really matches the colors of the room. Why does it keep going above me? God damn it. Eh. Stop going above me. Maybe something a bit more neutral would be better. Something like this. Then again, that is boring. Maybe just something like this. Well, let me place. Why can't I select it? Hold on. Boom. Move that like that. Translate so it's not in the wall. What about this? Do you think this works or is that too big? Hmm. That might be too big to be honest. It takes up too much of the room. Unless we like maybe line it up underneath the... Now hold on. What if we were to line it up like this? Like put it underneath the bed maybe? Eh, yeah, nah, that's too big. Not what we're looking for, I'm sorry. Evicted. I appreciate that, Chai. Always like things being nice and chill. It's the vibes I'm best at. Get rid of it. There we go. Okay, let's see what else we got as options then. I think the rest of these are pretty big. A lot of these are like kind of too plain. I, I want something fancy. Ooh. Royal isn't too bad. Rotate. Again, might be a bit too large though. It's not as big as the last one. Uh, hmm. The thing I don't like about these carpets though is that like, they're like... They're too, they're too square. That's what I don't like about them. I wish I could just get like a circular rug or something like that. Let's get rid of that. Let's see. Anything else? Purple mauve. Yeah, the workbench is got in the other room. Uh, Kitty lent it over to Glorion for some reason. I, I don't know why. That's what Timothy said. To be fair, it's not like we we're really using it for anything. Don't think there's anything we really want to make in-house for the most part. Hmm. I mean, this one is another large one, but what if... Hold on. What if... Rotate. Make it more centered like that. Mm -hmm. A bit more this way. Damn, it's going to be hard to find like something that looks good here. I mean, that doesn't look good, but the thing that I don't like about it now is that it's not like lined up with the bed. That's what annoys me about this one now. Hmm. I mean, that's not bad. Hold on, let me see. Let me try other ones. I have no idea what that one is. Rotate it. It's going to be too big. It's too big for the room. Let's see. Oh, you mean rotate it as in like, you know, swap it like this. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it. No, I agree with you. Having the bed not centered is a bit of a pain, but it's going to be too big if we center it. 
It's too big for the room. Okay, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. So we got... Let's see. Rug wool. Ooh! Hold on. That's a better size. If we just have that, like... Maybe, like, centered here? That's a bit of a better size that we're looking for. Maybe keep it centered with the door. What do you guys think? Does it make things look cozy in here? Well, let me get it directly on the ground. Yeah, people won't be able to get in the closet if we move it too close. Or they won't be able to leave either, because that's the spawn point in there. Yeah, I think that looks kind of cute. Makes it feel a bit more, like, filled in than just a blank space, having that there. Okay, so now we add that to the list. One rug. Gotcha. Perfect. Save. And now back to playing. <laughs> Just went from really luxurious bed back to this. Okay, let's put in the order. How much money do I have to spend right now? Let's have a look. We're at 63,000. Hopefully this is more expensive than 63,000. Hmm. We could just full send it. Though if Grime is gone, that means our access to money is going to be a little bit worse. We're taking the bed 90 degrees of space to the walk-in closet? I don't think so, no. Yeah, no, no, that'll be- that'll basically take up the entirety of the length that way. But once we get this order done, we're basically completely done with the house. Like, effectively, we'll be completely done. And then the girl house can crumble. Yeah, I actually do like the look of this now. This feels more like a bedroom now, once we get the rug and, like, the new bed in. Rather than just like this. Well, I'm not first person. Rather than just like this. What's wrong with Grime? It's only paying 1.5k for a full run right now. But we do think that is probably a glitch. I doubt that's intentional. Because that is just like so little money. Especially if group six is still the way that it was. Last big order. One high quality bed. One cute sideboard. Six railings. Nine small decor. It could be something to do with the mayor's office, potentially. The thing is, I feel bad about the mayor's office because there's probably a lot of things that the devs are doing that the mayor's getting blamed for. Two candles. Two clocks. One vase. And one rug. I think Grimes should pay more than Group 6. Because the benefit to Group 6 is how quick it is. There we go, that should be everything. Then everything else we can get from up north. Alright, let's see. Oh, wait, wait no, first person. Alright, let's go get ourselves our car. Let's head up north and go get the stuff that we can get from... Eh.
from the warehouse up north. <laughs> Let's go. Well, so those don't know, because of the we hit our subthumb goal of one hour of first person, but I decided to make it a full stream instead. So we're basically going to be in first person throughout the entirety of this stream, including when we're driving. I guess maybe it's a good thing that Grime is nerfed today. Because <laughs> driving that Grime van in first person would be absolute hell. And I would be the one needing to drive. There's definitely upsides and downsides to Group 6 and Grime. It's a bit of a balancing thing. Huh. The fact that Group 6 gets robbed a lot probably should mean that it gets paid a little bit more, maybe. I like in first person. I like the camera work of first person. I do like the perspective. Like when we were talking to Timothy earlier, I thought it was kind of cool. Well, Grime was either nerfed or there's a glitch going on. It could be either. I could definitely see a reason why they would nerf it, though. I mean, people have definitely been, like, grinding, grinding those jobs. I think the thing that I'm a little bit sad about is the fact there doesn't seem to be any nightlife that's been starting on the server. So I was really hoping that once that new... You know the whole thing that you can only work at in the day rather than at night i was really hoping maybe some bars and nightclubs would be able to thrive with that but it doesn't seem to be the case i think people just found other things to grind unfortunately Well, I think grind, it, doing crime at night is fine, but it's like people went to go grind hunting instead at night time until it got nerfed. Here we go. All right, let's go refuel and we'll blast our way up north. Oh god, this is going to be trippy. I will say first person driving is a lot better than what it used to be. It used to be a lot worse, but I think they made some improvements to it in 4.0. Good, yep, all good. And also, it seemed like G6 workers could work at night as well, which I don't think was intentional. I'm surprised that hasn't been fixed yet, to be honest. Like, with Grime, you basically can't accept any more contracts after 8pm. Like, you can, you're still clocked in, and you can finish the job, but you can't accept any more contracts. It doesn't seem to be the same with Group 6, though. It seems like you can keep accepting contracts once it's past 8 p.m. How do you use cuz G6 is hard cooldowns for hours? But then why make it so you can only clock in in the daytime, then? Like, if that was the case, then why not make it so you can clock in at all times of the hour, all times of the day? I guess we'll see how things work out in the long term. I do like that more businesses are starting to open up now, though. It seems like business RP is slowly and surely becoming more of a thing. But I do love the whole system that they have at Senior Buns right now. I think that is a big improvement. Obviously, there's some issues with it. But I think it, it, that'll all be sorted with due time. Right, off we go. I don't see myself doing that on Max, though. Like I said, I think Max just kind of passed that part of his life. Like, he's already had the whole, you know, arc, per se, of being inside a building and running a business that way. Like, being the server running a business. Like, maybe he would do it for someone else, but not, like, run his own business anymore. Yeah, the food court. It definitely seems like there's a lot of people that kind of hang around there now, too. The last couple of times I've gone there, it's always been pretty popping. I'm hoping that they expand upon that in the future, too. Like, maybe you have to start your business there, but then you can expand, like, to other buildings. Kind of like how we thought the storefront system was going to work in 3.0. You start the farmer's market, and once you've done enough time there, you're able to expand to somewhere up north. Or, you know, elsewhere in the city. Have your own building, essentially. Oh, 
Hold on, we gotta be very careful. Oh god. High speed driving first person. Gotta be a little bit careful. I mean, maybe it was intentional, the fact that G6 workers could still work at night. It could be intentional. To me, though, it seems like it's uh, oversight more so than anything else. I'm an avid G6 hater. That also could be the reason why. Screw G6. Grime on top. Gang, gang. Grime gang on top. Oh, God. Is it Sandstorm? Okay, we'll be fine. Honestly, it's actually easier driving in the sandstorm in first person for what I've learned in the past. Kind of. Not like really fully, but kind of. Ooh. Hey, we're not doing bad. Okay, and now we just turn in over here. And we park on up. Oh. Easy. We didn't even crash, did we? Free crowbar? Ah, broken. We didn't even crash one time. Hell yeah. Alright, so what do we need from here? We need... Let's see... Uh, we need table lamps. How many table lamps? We need one table lamp. And we need... Three small plants. Two, three. And... Boom. Is there anything else we needed from here? I think that's kind of it. Barrels, rocks, garden supplies. That's concrete. Electrical. You know, I think that's all that we needed. Boom. Boom. Nice. Eh. I think a lot of these things will be floating, so I probably won't put them up until we're done. Until we've got everything. There's still some people doing grime. Yeah, Max has fully quit the casino now. He's handed his key to Marty and everything. Max is no longer part of any business. He's removed himself from the business world. Let's go store these stuff in the house either way. Get that in the furniture storage. Honestly, I won't... If Grime is nerfed, I won't be opposed to that, to be honest. Like, maybe 1.5k is, like, a, too big of a nerf. But I will say, like... Grime was making a lot of money. <laughs> like, a lot, a lot of money. In my opinion, crime should always pay more than civilian jobs. It's just, you know, there's a lot more risk involved with it. You know, the risk versus the reward, basically, with crime. Because, you know, that's meant to be the allure of crime at the end of the day, is the amount of money you make from it. Though, you know, there's also the thrills, too. So I wouldn't be opposed to Grime maybe making less. See, in my mind for Grime, it, what I like about Grime is that I can just do one of the jobs a day and then I'm set, basically. It basically for me, Grime basically means that I don't have to hard grind to make money. It means I can do like maybe one or two runs a day and I'm good. I'm able to like keep on top of things. I think the issue comes when people like do it nonstop. That's when it kind of becomes like, okay, maybe it pays a little bit too much. All good, all good. Back in the criminal academy. I kind of like the idea of learning crime, like, through our friends, to be honest. Maybe we enroll in the crime academy. That was always what I thought the appeal of Dodo was back in the day. You can just get one job done, then you're free to RP for the rest of the day. I mean, I see that's the appeal of Group 6, too. Like, you get the job done, then you're free for three hours, and you just gotta, you know, 
be back in three hours, basically. And you're able to keep on top of things. A really, very similar sort of, um, you know, process. Thought process, at least. You know, just get this done, then you're free. But again, the issue always comes when people don't do that and then just continue doing jobs. It's a very... What I mean to say with all that is that it's a very difficult thing for the devs to balance. Because on one hand, you want to balance it in a way that people can, like, make money and still have time to do other sorts of RP. But you've also got to balance around the idea that people are going to, like, hard grind this too. Now, if it makes a lot of money, people will just do that non-stop. So it's a very difficult thing to balance. That gr balancing between the casual and the grinder. Here we go. Honestly, I think we're pretty good at first person driving. Not a single crash there. Let's go put this in. I kind of like the challenge of first person. I think it's kind of fun. All right, let's see. So what can we put down that won't be floating? I think the table lamp we can put down without it floating. Why can't I move? Oh, no. The, the limo dream went away ages ago. That was only going to be a thing if I kept doing taxi work. But, you know. I don't do taxi work. And also it's $300,000. More than that now. I think it's like $330,000. Inexpensive. It's more expensive than some race cars. Boom. There we go. And we can probably put this plant down. Boom. Nice. Uh, there's, oh, we can put down this small plant. Boom. Nice. And that's the one that we're going to put down later that is currently floating. Save. Leave. Nice. Beautiful. Very nice. Uh, hold on. Hmm. Maybe we should, we could move that plant or change it to something else because it is blocking the board. The Goral note board. Maybe we move that one. Also, let me put this up. All that. Get this up here. I'm surprised how cheap the Dominator is considering how fast it goes. I don't know what determines the price of a car. It seems like the look of the car is more of a factor to the price than, say, like, the actual performance. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to move the plan, I think. As much as that is a nice... Actually, maybe if we... Rotate? Nah, it doesn't really work. It doesn't work from behind, unfortunately. Let's be wrote. Hmm. And we might need to get another plant, unfortunately. This one just doesn't really work too well. I mean, it doesn't get too much in the way of the note board, but on the longer notes, maybe. Yeah, we might have to delete that one for now. We'll replace it with a different plant, though. Boop. Pretty sure that just got rid of the note thing I put up to. God damn it. Okay, plants, plants, plants. Small plant, right? Yeah, small plants. That's the same one. Too big. 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 Okay, they're all very large. Ooh. And uh, no, that's going to have the same issue. How are these small? Ooh. Well, this one might work if we put it more towards the side. Now, is that too tall, though, is the thing? I feel like this one might be too tall now. Hmm. 
Let's see. That one's smaller. Hold on. Maybe this is more what we're looking for. Ooh. See, that would look so cute outside, but that's not an indoor one. Ooh, that one could work. Why is that one cauliflower? Oh. Okay, I kind of like the idea of having this one up there. Because it, it looks like one of the girls were gifted this. Hmm, I kind of like this one. I don't remember that. That's snow flower. Okay. Vase dead. Okay, we could have a dead plant too. That's a very small plant. A dead plant would be very funny. Peyote. Highland. Peyote. Peyote. We could have peyote. A pot of peyote up there could be quite nice. How would that look? Some drugs. Now, I kind of like the idea of the... Hold on, where was it? It was the snow one, right? Snow. I like the idea of having this up there. I'll oh, might need to rotate it just a tad bit. Actually, is it too big? Hmm. We could always, like, maybe lean it. That could also be an option. With the notes things, remember to water this plant. The thing is, with the dead petals, we'd need to put it on the floor for it to work. Maybe we move the rock across. I'll place that down for now. Okay, move that like so. Then move that like there. There in the middle and move the rock. Hmm. It's so, like move the rock to the side, like switch them over basically. Move the watering can. Well, the watering can is an actual watering can. Uh, can is the thing. That isn't a furniture thing. That's an actual watering can for weed. If we put this here. What if I were to purchase fast food? There we go. It's like this. It's not sticking out, is it? Hmm. Could rotate it a bit more. I think that looks alright. Oh, let me... Build it real quick. Save. And how's it look? Yeah, I think that looks all right. We could always change in the future once it's fully decorated. Copy. Paste. Girl notes. Yellow. Boom. Nice. Yeah, I, th I think that works for now. Yeah, I, I think it looks good. I didn't want to put any decorations on the table here because I like the idea that you can put whatever you want there. Like, you know, say if you're having a meeting, you can put, like, notebooks down there or something like that. That's why I kept this clear. Because initially, these cakes were in the table. Uh, these cupcakes were on the table instead. So I want to keep that free for the most part. Yeah, I think that thing looks good. Any plans on changing the wall paint? I mean, we could. I don't know if there's any reason to that. I, I think it looks okay as the way it does right now. More neutral. The rest of the house was kind of designed around the neutral. So it'd be kind of a bit difficult to change it now. Because the other colors are really bright. 
Uh, ideally, we don't want something like too bright. As feels cozy, it does, but we're really close to being done too. If I'm able to get this order from Jack today, we'll basically be fully complete. Well, let me cross out some things I just collected. So I just collected the table lamps and I just collected the small plants. Perfect. But the big thing that's going to be added once that order comes through is... Oh, God. Hold on. Is... Here. It's the last thing I wanted to add to the house is upgrading the bedroom. That's the last thing that I wanted to do. As in, like, you know, once we've decorated everything else, then boom, we've upgraded. And that's what I'm planning to do. I'm trying to get that bed today. Then we'll be fully done, fully upgraded, girl house complete, hashtag girl house complete, hashtag girl house is crumbling. Hashtag fly high April. Yeah, so this will be upgraded. We'll have a nice new bed, nice little carpet here as well, making it a bit more cozier. And yeah, we'll basically be done. Yeah, I think I'm not going to get this high quality chair. I, I don't like this chair in the middle. Well, I think it looks good. It's just room wise. I think it's going to take up too much. Yeah, house done. Now let's move. Yeah, then we could do a housewarming party. If we wanted to. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Should we get rid of this chair or do we get the chair too? Do we get the stool as well? Hmm. I mean, it definitely does look good. It's just, I think space-wise, it's going to make this room way too cramped. Considering it's quite a small room to begin with, all I see it doing is making it so you have to, like, hop over it. Yeah, I'm thinking no chair. Boop. There we go. And then I'm going to move this, the spawn, close to the center, too. Spawn... Well, let me select the spawn. Let me select the boy. There we go. Move that more towards the center. Boom. Because before when you woke up, you had like a face full of like the fur coats and everything. Nice. Yeah, I think that still looks good in here. I'm very happy that we chose to do this with the space instead of like a storage room. I think this is much cuter. It makes the house a lot more unique too. I'm still of the opinion that we should sell the house with the furniture inside. Because by the time that we get the Vinewood house, I imagine furniture is going to be a lot easier to come by. At least one would hope. I guess there is a worry of burnout though. <laughs> like what if the Kettleman's just stop selling furniture? Everyone's kind of screwed. I know there's other people that do furniture, but not on their quantity. <laughs> Oh, well, well, we'll see how things go. I'd at least want to sell it with the walls. I see no point in us bringing the walls with us. Because we could easily increase the price of this place if we kept the walls. Now, I think generally we could sell this place for like 300,000 with the walls. But if we keep the furniture, we could easily sell it for 400, if not more. I imagine there's a lot of people like police officers, EMS, that would like to buy a house fully decorated. Like, you know, they don't care about having, like, a space for their weed operation or their butt coin farm. They just want a nice place to go at the end of the day. Also, one more thing that we could look to maybe fix right now. Also, sorry, I, I didn't expect to spend this much time inside the house this morning. I kind of got very distracted. This is, happens every time I do this sort of thing. I get very distracted. I always find, like, one extra thing to do. But one thing we could change as well, because the issue right now with this little area is the fact that, like, if you do the place demotes, like, it's really difficult to sit. You can only sit with the place demotes. And place demotes, like, if I were to place this, like, here. Hold on. Okay, it didn't happen that time, but typically you void yourself. Typically, you do end up in the void. So I'm debating whether or not, like, a smaller table would work better here. 
rather than the big circular table. Like, a coffee table in the center with a flower on top might work. Might just be better for this and easier to access. Because even with the place emotes, it's really difficult to get sitting at the back. Like, trying to get the place emote back there is really difficult to do. If I do, like, this... Oh, there we go. Don't know why I've got the crowbar, but that's fine. Okay, it's I, it seems easy right now. But I assure you, it's not usually this easy. And you got to remember, everyone is going to have to try and do that. Everyone that wants to sit around the table. Uh, Hold on. Yeah, we may have just found a solution to this now to think about it. I was definitely getting voided yesterday when I was trying this. Huh, let's have a look. So this is a basic quality table, right? Yeah, so what options do we have for basic quality tables? Oh, this is where that other basic quality table is. It's here. Do we really need that? I'm not sure if we really need that, to be honest. Hmm... Oh, let, let, let's have a look, see what the options are first. Where is it? Tables, tables, tables. Yeah, see, my worry with how this table is at the moment, like over here, is that if it is harder to sit down, people just won't use it. If it's difficult to use, people just will not use it. And I want this house to be used. Let's see, fake ID table. Nope. Nope. Okay, that is too huge. Nope. 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 Ooh. Now hold on a minute. This is really nice. I like that it's got like the things on top of it. Now let's have a look. Is that too much? How long does this go? If we have it like that, there's still room to walk around. I like that it has champagne and stuff on it. Ground? Nope. Hold on. I kind of want to give this one a go. But to do so, we need to... Boop. Do we keep this in the center? And it's got a cigarette thing for when Max's cigarette addiction comes back. Perfect. Maybe we don't need the flower. I'm going to keep it there just for now. Let's build this table. Boop. Let's see, how does this look? Does it make it easy to walk around? Yeah, it's a lot easier to walk around. Yeah, you could even, like, sit down here, too. Oh, yeah, this is better. That is definitely better. Again, I like the whole, like, it's got champagne in it. It's got that on it. I guess the only pain right now is the fact that it kind of goes over a little bit on the carpet. That isn't too, too pleasing, but still. It works. Feels more like a lounge area than a dining area now. Now, hold on. let me get rid of the flowers. I don't think we should have the flowers now. Move the carpet out a bit. Uh, I don't think we can, to be honest. Like, it's already kind of on the cusp there. What if I were to move it, like, maybe a little bit more inwards? Like so. Save. Let's see, can you still walk around? Hmm. See, now would be a good time to see it in third person. I think you can still kind of sit chair four. Yeah, I'm still sitting down, so it still fits around for the meeting tables and everything. That's if you want to sit in the center, which most people probably won't want to. Yeah, I'd say that works. Pretty well centered too. 
Now, the plan. What do we do about the plan? Ooh, idea, idea, idea. What if... Boom. Flower vase. Delete. But instead, we get small plan. You guys might be able to tell what I'm cooking here. Plan. Small plan. What if... What if we just put a plant, like, in the corner here? Oh, maybe not that one. This one might work. Like, just here. That works, right? Boom. It's not floating. Nope, not floating. I think that works. Carpet is way off center, is it? Oh. Yeah, I kind of see that. Hold on. So it needs to go more to the left, right? Like so. Hold on, let me just... Place. Cannot see the floating TV. I know there is a, the TV's floating. Same with the painting. The thing... Well, actually, no, the TV isn't floating. The painting's floating, though. The issue is, if I put it more towards the wall, it glitches out for some reason. Above that table in the dining room, why do some people see a floating animated TV? Wait, really? Where? Like, whereabouts is it? Well, let me just, uh, that's already built. Yep, that's already built. Let me save. Let's see, how's this look now? Yeah, I think it looks nice here. He said in the dining area, like here? Or do you mean like elsewhere? Like here? You see, you can very much see the floating painting here. It's fine, though. Not many people are going to see it from this perspective. In the dining area. Huh. Like, below the ceiling fan? I don't see it, no. Weird. Maybe I'll ask April about it. Then again, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Nice. See, this looks like a really nice area to have some drinks. Some drinks, talk with the girls. I think it looks nice. Also above the casino tables at the 404. Weird. I don't see any of that. Did April... Oh, or Leslie... Uh, I should probably say Leslie. Did Leslie ever use, like other graphics mods in GTA because it could be conflicting because you got to remember no pixel uses its own graphics mods like embedded in the server so it could be a chance that they could like be colliding potentially I think I've had similar things happen in the past like you no know, one visual mod I used to use had like these special effects on a building but on the server that building wasn't there anymore so those special effects were just like there basically And the bouquet would look better on the new table. Ooh. You might be right there, actually. Hold on. If she had shaders installed in 3.0 and didn't do, like, a clean wipe for 4.0, that's probably why, then. Did she disable the shaders or did she uninstall them is the thing. That's two very different things. They wrote it like this. Boom. I'll move that down. Ground. Okay, nope, not that much on the ground. 
Yeah, I would hazard to say that's the reason why then. It's probably a special effect that was added for like the interior of houses. Like, you know, you like in basic GTA, this is like a static model that you can look into, right? That's probably what it is. That is still probably existing there. But obviously, like, these houses are now carved on the inside. That thing looks nice. They've been gutted and added their own new things. So if that's only happening in the houses, that's probably why. Like, if it's happening in the 404 Casino, too. It's most likely a special thing added by the shaders to make the houses look more lively. If I was to hazard a guess. I'm no expert or anything. See, I really want to know what this looks like. Like, you know, how do I look like sitting here? And I'm first person, so I can't see. Oh, the pain. Yeah, I like this. I think this, this looks nice. Maybe at some point it'd be good to get a rug here as well, but I, I don't need to look at any more rugs. Nice. House is starting to feel more and more alive. You love to see it. Yeah, I think this definitely suits this area than the round table. Suits it much more better. Much more usable too. Hold on. Let me get the notes back up. Copy that. Boom. Boom. We do any grime today? Probably not, no. Timothy's doing some experimenting. I have to call him about that, actually. I might try and do grime, like, later rather than earlier. Because I think that's why I've been feeling, like, so drained of energy at the, over the last couple streams. It's because I've been doing grime early on. And, like, typically I only do grime at night, so it's like... My brain saying, okay, we're doing grime. Now it's time to go to bed. That's basically what's happening. Bedtime. Grime time, bedtime. Grime, I sleep. Did some redecorating. Hope it's all right. Max. Yeah, maybe grime later on, or it's just a thing I do off stream. Like, a lot of streamers do grime off stream. Like, you know, Timothy, for instance. I don't think he'd want to ever do it on stream. Because, you know, let's be honest, grime isn't the most entertaining of things to do. I very much think, you know, it's on the person. It, if you're with someone that you can talk to, it's good. But there's only so many conversations you can have with one person, you know? There's only so much you can say. Not going to be TA for April's class. I think she already has a teacher's assistant. Eh. Whose class is it today? Is it Marty's class today? Or is it um Ray Romanov? He's a teacher too, right? Eh. Oh, God. Eh. Eh. Oh, it's Marty's one today. How do you teach hacking in that way, though? I guess they got to do some roof running, right? Yeah, no, I think this all looks good. I didn't expect the first part of the stream to... to, to just be this, basically. <laughs> That's fine. I, I, like, I like decorating. I enjoy games like Minecraft for that reason. It's nice just kind of getting in a place looking nice and lovely. They didn't do tight race and human benchmark. Oh, that kind of makes sense. I'm not saying that I'm not ever going to do grime on stream, though. I, I definitely will do some ever so often. Just probably not consistently as I, as I have been recently. You spread things out a bit. But also, let's see. Let me go put some stuff in the storage. But I think we need to head down to the sewers. I think it might finally be sewer time. Boom. There we go. I need to map out the sewers. Now let me eat a little bit. Uh, sorry for the if the first person is a little bit disorientating. Let's see how's this looking. I think we should be able to fit some moonshine in here. A lot of slots in there, which is good. Is 
Is that when you have a partner who likes to chat and buy where to go? I mean, like I said though, it, it's just about how my brain works at the moment for some reason. It, it associates grind time as winding down. So probably better to do it later in the day. Don't worry, we are working on getting a new bed. That's the next thing we're buying. Perfect. All right, so... Nice. Okay, so before we head down to the sewers, I need to mark where all the entrances are. We have... Entrance here. We have... Uh, entrance... God damn it. Hold on. Here. There we go. We have entrance over here. I'm doing this for mapping purposes, by the way. That's why I'm marking it like this. Entrance over here. Entrance over here. And entrance over here. Okay, I think that's all the entrances, right? At least all the ones that I know about. Seems about right. So what I'm going to do is when we get down to the sewers, I want to mark where the center is. So I want to take a photo from the center of all these marks because I'm going to use that as a baseline. Then I think what I want to do is at each location, I need to mark like where you are once you get into the sewer part. Like, you know, there's like a little walkway before you get to the sewers. Yeah, you can add your own markers. They only last until you log off though. So it, this doesn't last forever. I see. You can place like bunch down too. I don't think there's a limit from my understanding. Okay, there's a limit. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Okay. That changes things a bit. So there is a limit. Okay. Good to know. That's still the entrances, right? So 10 is the limit by looks of it. Okay, bit of a pain. Hmm. What's going to be the best way to do this? I, I know people already have made maps for the sewers, but I don't know how you do that. I was planning to make my own map. I know some people that could get me a map. But how would you go about mapping this? Like, how do you map the sewers? Hey, Sue31. Thanks for the Prime Gaming. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Maximotsu. Appreciate the support. Yeah, no, don't give me the link. I need to get it in character. Hmm. Just ran in the sewers? But how do you, like, jot that down, though? Because it's a lot of different places. Manually add lines through MS Paint. When Glorion did it, could you still see the GPS? Because one thing that happens when you go in the sewers is you can't see the GPS anymore. You can only see these markers. You can't see anything else. You can't even see where you are. Like, you know, this little thing here, that isn't there. Hmm. Well, ideally, what would be beneficial to start with is... Get a map of all the routes from, like, each entrance to the center. Is the full map of the sewers only? Wait, could he actually see a map of the sewers? When I'm down there, I can't see anything. I'll show you once we're down there what I mean, but you can't see anything. Okay, let's get started. So what do we need before we head down? Let's head to senior buns and grab some food. Let's go see if there's anything happening at the buns. Then we'll need to go down to the hospital and probably grab some more bandages. Because we probably will need bandages. Make sure we're not bumping into anyone. Reverse, reverse. Do you down like a Metroid map? I haven't played enough Metroid to know what that'd look like. Well, also, the reason why I want to try and make a map myself is because... It's something for us to do in the sewers while we get acclimated. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do in the sewers until you're fully acclimated. But you can't even search the bags. Well, you can, but it hurts you. And obviously, that means you need to use more bandages, which just isn't very efficient. It isn't very efficient. 
So it's basically something for us to do whilst we get better in the sewers. Unfortunately, I can't even check how acclimated I am in the sewers anymore. The, the guy doesn't tell you how good you are. You just kind of have to wait and see. I did spend a good few hours down there last night, though. Just kind of chilling. I just kind of aimlessly worked, walked around for the most part. Just to see what was going on and see if I could get, like, a sense of direction, which I didn't at all. I got lost. I got lost until I could find the center. All good, all good. The yeah, worst come to worst, we could always ask Glorion. That, that's who we've been redirected to for getting a map of the sewers, is Glorion. Which honestly might be beneficial. Because I think getting our own map made might be a bit of a difficult task. And boop. Let's see what's open at the moment. Senior button seems to be closed. Anyone? Oh. I wouldn't call him thicker. <laughs> oh, thank you. We have a customer. Stop eating and help the customer. Um, well, anyway, I... Stop eating and help the... Stop drinking and help the freaking customer. We got customers. They're lining up. It's a rush hour. Mm, well, Mom, I'm doing a challenge. What challenge are you doing? Just drinking? Oh my Is that ideas. like a thick milkshake or something? What is it? Is, is, is he okay? Adam? What is it? I don't know what's wrong with him. Is he all right? He seems manic. I think he's going insane. This is what happens at Burger by the Ocean? Not every day. He's still drinking. How are you still eating? You're eating on company time here. Is, is he taking that food from the freezer? I think so, but we don't get paid, so that's okay. Oh, right. And nobody makes any money. <laughs> you sound out of breath. Are you all right? Are you good, man? You what good? What the hell are you doing? S slow down. You're going to choke. They're all dickheads. They're all dickheads. Remember to sh chew. You, you got to chew. Otherwise, you will choke. How much are you eating? He's still eating more. Is he still going? I don't think this is healthy for you. If, that, if you're just eating burgers, you're going to die. Adam, make him stop. I can't. Oh. <gasps> you done? Oh. Is, is, I just ate done? the whole menu in three minutes and 18 seconds. Oh. Yummy! Oh. Do you need to go to the bathroom? Oh. You, you need Welcome. to puke or something? You good? Welcome to Burger by the... Three minutes? Burger by the Ocean. Hey. What can I get for you? Uh, could I have uh, two heartbreakers with cream? Two cheese fries and two, uh, three cheese smoothies. I'm a big fan so of the two hard breakers with cream. Mm -hmm. Two cheese fries. And three cheese smoothies. There, so. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Just did a few okay. runs and I'm going to do a few things. Uh, uh, oh. to get Anything else? No, nope, that's uh, everything. What kind of thing? You, you sure you're, you're okay now? Stuff. I'm part of the, yeah, you, you don't yeah. eat, you're not going to eat my order, are you? Yes. Uh, oh, trying to set up no, no. Because that was kind of like traumatizing a little bit. Oh, really? oh yeah. yeah, yeah it, was, it was traumatizing. Oh, yeah, traumatizing. Yeah, it was. 
Yeah, yeah it was definitely fun. traumatizing. Yeah, I mean, that's mm. that's usually... Yeah, you can pick up... Is there and pick up that? on the right. That would be like a plural for that. Traumatizing. Hey, Adam! There it is. There it is. <laughs> I'm really worried. Yeah, I, I, hit, I remember when you hey, said that to me hey, one time, too. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hey, Just pay me back. All right, here you go. Here's hey. your... Uh, here's Thank your... Thank you. <laughs> your heartbreaker with cream. Thank I got you. Your two Thank you. And your two ah, perfect. Thank yeah, you. What's the order? What's the order? There we go. There's a tip for you guys, that. too. Oh, thank you. Oh, appreciate it. Thank oh. you. What's your name? Oh, what's your name? Oh, what's your name? Uh, what's Maximilian your name? Angel. Uh, or just Max, whichever works. Yippee! Yippee! Wait, I spelled. Max, 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 Max that fine. That that what? Max Mamillion. That works. Appreciate the service. Hope you both have a lovely rest of your day. Yep. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it's weird that they both went in silence there. No, the reason I said for those that know, Adam's played by Trolms on Twitch. And one time when I went into Senior Buns to work for a little bit, he kept trying to fit like Enevan into what he was saying. It's like, oh, there's an uneven amount of people. There's a, and he just kept repeating that. So I was just paying that back to him. <laughs> He's a good dude. Eh. All right. Eh. Sewer time. Eh. The reason I got the extra cheese smoothie is because I need to give that to the Rat King if we see him. To pay respects. Since you know we're in his territory. And you know, I am British, so I got to respect the king. I gotta respect the monarchy since I'm British. Totally not outdated. Totally doesn't take a lot of funds from the British people. For no reason, so they can sit on a giant gold throne. Nothing like that. I said to the hospital, grab ourselves a bunch of bandages too. All good, all good. Totally, exactly, totally. Totally not parasites in chief, as Christopher Eccleston once said. Honestly, I kind of like first person driving. It really isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I, I think it's an interesting challenge. I think what they've done in 4.0 is that they've zoomed out the camera quite a bit when you're in first person in the car, which makes it a lot easier to drive. I think before you were a lot like closer to the wheel, which I think made it a bit harder. So you couldn't see as much around you. See, all good. Do a quick U-turn. And yeah, the fact that we're a safe driver definitely does help. Oh. <laughs> well, so I don't know if you guys can hear, but it is absolutely tipping it down here in the UK right now. It is pouring it down. Also, let me get the cash. $257. Let's see. Eh. Hold on. Let's see, how many can we buy with that amount? Perfect. Ha! Huh. We're good. Let's go. Ha, ha, ha. The cold spell. Oh, it's cold here too. I've got a, a electric blanket on me right now. Though I usually do in the winter times. I'll miss the electric blanket once it turns to summer. I like the cold though, personally. I, I, I like getting warm in the cold. But I hate it when it's like really warm and like humid. I, I hate that sort of weather. I'm not looking forward to the return of that, let's say. All right, let's see. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go to the entrance that I know. So let me go get changed at like a clothing store real quick. Got to get into our sewer drip. See, nearest one's going to be down this way. 
Also, I did make some changes to my voice changer whilst I'm in the sewers. But the first person I used it on instantly recognized it was me. I think it's just the way that I talk is very unique. Very recognizable. Here's Fiona. She, she instantly knew that it was me. Let's head to the clothing store up here, get in our sewer drip, and then let's go sewer diving. I gotta change up the way I speak when I'm using the voice changer. First person forced. Basically, the first person is because of a sub goal. Initially, it was only for an hour, but I thought it'd be more fun if we made it an entire stream. But if it is getting too much for you guys, let me know. Don't you guys be do too disorientated. We've been doing it for two hours so far. Outfits. This doesn't count. Sewer boy. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, now let's go down to the sewers. So we're going to use the sewer entrance that's over this way, because that's the one that I like to use. As they go, it's going good. Spent a lot of the morning doing some decoration stuff, which I didn't expect to do, but you know, those things happen. So what I'm going to do is try and get to the center and then like mark where the exact center is. We may have to get down in the sludge to do that. I want to mark the center of the center to see if it is exactly centered to all the entrances. All good, yep, all good. We just keep on going. I will explore the sewers in first person and hopefully not get lost. I mean, if we do get lost, we've got plenty of bandages to get us through. Also, it's, my key binding is three for bandages. That's good to remember. We'll park on over here. Locking up. <laughs> Wait, can I just go in? Nope, that's glitched. Oh. Pop that open. Ooh, I really thought we were about to fall in there. <laughs> Do we lock it? We may as well lock it too, right? Actually, no, screw it. I'm going to leave it open. All right, sewer time. Alright, so let's see if we can make our way to the center to begin with. Well, so one thing I'm noticing down here is that there is a lot of moonshine distilleries. Do people mainly moonshine in the sewers? I see there's like three moonshine distilleries right there. Another two over there, too. It seems like a lot of people just kind of moonshine down the sewers. I guess you don't have to really, really worry about the PD down the sewers, right? It's not like PD really come down here too often. Also, in first person, this now feels like a completely different game. Now that we're in the sewers. This isn't GTA anymore. Welcome to Metro. I need to get some sewer music. What would you even like consider sewer music? Eh. Eh. This feels too classy. Let's see. Okay, I think we're still going the, sa the right direction. Fallout? 
actually think Fallout would work? Also, it's insane to me that all of this is custom, by the way. For those who don't know, these the whole sewer area is not in base GTA. This is all custom made by the NoPixel devs. I think it's probably one of the most impressive parts of 4.0, which is why I'm kind of excited to start using it more. Like, you wouldn't think this isn't base GTA. Well, I think it looks better than base GTA, actually. I said, in first person, you wouldn't even know that this is GTA. <laughs> and, boop, we in the center. Let's see. So, let me talk to the guys real quick. So once I can buy blueprints from this dude, that means I'm fully acclimated from what I've been told. Damn, this place is so cool though. Then let's see. This dude over here, he'll let me know if I'm 50% done being acclimated. If he sells me distilleries. Ooh. Wait, that's an improvement. I think he told me to go away before. Now he says, you again, what do you want? Ooh. Okay, I'm making progress. Okay, nice. Okay, so what I want to do in terms of map making is I want to mark the center center real quick. So let me just bandage up. I'm going to try and make the map. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Eh. Alright. So this should be the dead, dead center right here. So if I now go GPS. Boom. That is the dead, dead center right there. Let me screenshot that. We came from over at this exit, or entrance, I should say. So this is all the entrances plus the exit. And, uh, and the uh, center, I should say. Okay, that's good details to have. Where do we go from here, though, for marking this? I feel like what you could do from here is like a... Oh, oh. Careful of the fire. Hmm. Let me see. So what's the like entrance way looking like on the map? Also, when people have, for those that have seen other people mark like making maps of the sewers, did their GPS look like this? Was it just completely blank? Okay, so that's not too oh oh god. Oh, what? I just got a flash of the overworld. Okay. Is it because I was like close to here? Okay, so in terms of the entrances to the place, it's like a little circle around it. Not too, too far. So theoretically, what we could do... Okay, I've got an idea. Oh, we take, oh, yeah, we're taking damage, aren't we? Hold on. Need to make sure I'm bandaging up. We could do this in, like, a multi-step process. So I have that photo now, right? Hold on, let me just double check. I do have that photo, right? I think what we should focus on first is making from the center all the way to the exits, like the pathways. I think that'll be a good first step. I've got an idea of how we can do that. Let's just double check and that did save. Yep, that did save. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start with the one that we have already. So for that, what I'm going to have to do... Wait, hold on. Let me just bandage up real quick. Is what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the markers to mark all of the doors. Like the doors between here and the entrance that we just came through. So let me just remove all these. Boom. Boom. 
boom boom this may be a tedious process but i think it's gonna be worth it so this is the center this is the exit so now if we go along so we go so i'm gonna keep the not gonna mark down that one because that's basically still near the entrance Okay, so it's just one straight line from here to begin with. Keep bandaging up just so we're safe. Then... So now if we go on the map... It always centers on us, by the way, whenever we go into this. So, boom, that's where we are right now. That is the first doorway. Then if I keep going through, and basically then it's going to be a connect the dots. That's what it's going to be. Boom. All the way through here. All the way over to here. So next doorway will be boom here walk down paths and draw a line mark notable locations and so on do they have like ms paint open or something path change event machines oh okay then this one kind of like turns over here I feel like that would take forever to fully do, though. I feel like the best way to do it is maybe, like... Do the, the paths first. Like, not doing it all at once. And then you go through and do the notable locations afterwards. Boom. There we go. Hold on. Let me bandage up. So this should now lead to... Let's get acclimated to this so we didn't mind. I'm kind of doing the same right now. The only thing is, this is the only pathway that I know to an exit. Then, boom. Ugh. Okay, that was like right here, right? Unless we like just do the exit exit that we just did. Now, we should probably do it where we are right now, because that is technically the exit. Boom. Yes, yeah, so that kind of makes sense. Okay, perfect. So, what I should do now is... I really wish I could get rid of this crosshair. <laughs> oh. So what I can do is layer this on top of the other one that I just did. If I line it up right, like so. Then, boom. So I should probably start labeling this. Rename. Sewer exits. Plus center. Rename, Sewer Path. I'm going to label this as Sewer Path A. This is what this one's going to be called. Sewer Path A. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's done now. That, that That's that one done. What's going to be the best way to do this on the other ones? How to make multiple waypoints on the map? Basically, there's a thing called Tab of Interest. Like, uh, points of interest, whatever it's called. I use tab to do it. Okay, so that's one path. Kind of curves around there. Then straight line down. That's a pretty easy path to do. Oh, you know, this map's going to be super useful in the long term. Okay, so let's head back to the center and then see what we're going to do from there. 
That's the only path that I know, though, unfortunately. So what's going to be the best way to do this next? Hmm. Maybe we we'll just go out one of the entrances and just keep going until we get to an exit. Maybe that's going to be the next best idea. We basically have to make our own paths. Boom. vending machine there but again I'll, I'll do like the vending machine jotting down later right now paths are the priority points of interest come later all right let's see then this way we'll just go straight Because points of interest would be good to, like, know where you are. Okay, so here we are, back in the center. Actually, I might take the path screenshot from, like, the center point. That might be better, actually. Just so we have, like, a center point to base off of. Hold on. Let me take the screenshot. Boom. Okay, let me delete that real quick. Sewer path A. Easy. Okay, so that's sewer path A. That's basically straight up there. Maybe worth if I start doing like the editing of it as we go. Oh, hold on. As we go along, maybe that'll be better. Or do I do it all at the end? I worry... Actually, I think I should be okay to have Photoshop up open while streaming. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. Hold on. Let me find a place just to plop my butt down while I get that sorted. Just heal myself up. I don't have them though. I used all the ones that April had. I can't do any searching either until I'm more acclimated because that just gets me more heard. From what Fiona told me, as soon as I can buy moonshine distilleries from this dude, not this dude, but the dude over here, then I'm going to be able to like start searching. I mean, I can search, but like I said, it just hurts me right now. Okay, let's see. So that is sewer path A done. Open up Photoshop. Please don't destroy my computer, Photoshop. For the love of God. If I start run running into your shoes, then I'll probably stop. But basically, what w the way that this is going to work is it's going to be connect the dots. Effectively. Maybe it would be worth going back to the entrance and like... Hmm. Oh god. Oh, let me just... Uh, new file. Make it the size of a screen. A lot of people get hurt in the sewers. It's just how it works down here. Basically, it means that there's like benefits to spending more time in the sewers compared to just coming down ever so often. So if I... Okay, so this is what I'm looking at right now. Boom. So you can see that is one path made. Thank you, Adobe Creative Cloud. I appreciate that. So that is one path done, basically. 
Now we've got to, like, devise another path now. So this is why I wanted to do it all, from, like, take the screenshot from the center, because then I could just easily overlay and change the opacity. And boom, you can see the path. Sewer path A. Okay, so what should we try next? Let's try... So that was going from directly behind the sewer toilet. Let's maybe try and, like, make it to the other one instead. Okay, so let's go from, like, the opposite direction. Oh, looks like someone else down here. Other peeps down here right now. So let's see. So we should... So opposite direction is going to be this direction. Let's see. So I'm going to keep the center point and then work from there. Okay, let's see. So I need to clear all the other points then. Let me get rid of... Boom, 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 boom. I'm just going to keep the center point for now. So let's go from here. Okay, already failed. Let's go from here then. G not going to mark down this one. But if we mark down... Do these all go to the same point? Oh, these diverge. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh god, which one do we go through? Oh god. <laughs> okay. Huh. This part might may be a little bit hard to uh to map. Okay, so this is just going straight forward, right? We can get into the finer details later. So if, right now we're just going straight forward. So we go mark down this door. Boom. So just referencing what we've got so far. Okay, so I think I'm heading in the right direction. So theoretically, there should be another entrance, like, if we keep heading down towards the right. If we keep leaning more towards the right from here... There should theoretically be an exit like over near here. Another door, so we're going to put another marker here. Y you guys see my thought process though, right? With all this. Boom. Ah, and there we go. Sewer exit. Wow, that one's really easy. <laughs> okay, and then boom. Exit. Is that too close to the door? That is too close to the door. Hold on. Let me mark this door again. I didn't even know about this path. Okay, and then if we go in here. Oh, does this diverge or? Oh. Wait, is that not an exit? Wait, hold on a minute. Oh, is the exit down this way? Hold on a minute. Oh, no, it's this door. That's why. Okay, that's where I was getting confused. Okay, so just so I'm getting this clear. So there's two doors there. That's where it kind of gets a bit confusing. So I really want to leave this door. It's 
too close, but then if we go over this way... God damn it. Hold on, let me put marker down here real quick. Boom. Then back over here. Then we go to this one. Then we need to zoom in more. There we go. If you zoom in, you can put it down more specifically. Okay, that's fine. Then basically with this one, you went like forward a little bit to the right and then yeah, you're good. Okay. Okay, that was actually really easy. Okay, let's head back down there. Because I think that leads to the little soul one, by the way. That exit there leads to our house, uh, effectively. So that's actually a really handy one for me to know now. See, I'm building my own knowledge here too, so it's really handy. Knowledge. Okay, let me just make a... Wait, hold on a minute. Over here. There we go. It was straight shot from here. Yeah, let's not get ourselves confused. We can jot down all the cross paths and everything once we get, like, more details. At the moment, we're just doing the basic pathways. Just keep heading straight. Boom. And here we go. Now we head back downwards. Do sewer time, sewer time. I kind of like this. Okay. Now back in the dead center. We then screenshot. Oop. Well, so I think I get hurt faster in this, so I'm going to hop out real quick. Okay, so let me jot that down. So that's going to be... What would that be? That would be... Sewer exit... If I consider that A, B, C, D. That would be sewer exit D. Sewer path D. Sewer path D. Hey! It's your boy 1992. Thanks for the two months. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful goblin and maximodes as always, your boy. Appreciate the support. If I then go to 58%. There we go. Perfect. So this is what it's looking like so far. That is another pathway made. Easy peasy. That leads to the exit in Little Soul, essentially. Hence why it's D. I'm basically going like... You know, A, B, C, D, E... F. Actually, no, maybe we should start at the top. So that'd be A, B, C, D, E, F. You know, it should be clockwise. Okay, so that is... Let's rename that real quick. So that's going to be... Sewer path B. And sewer path E. E. There we go. Sewer path B. B, sewer path, E. Okay, easy. Okay, so that's some two exits done so far. Which one should we go for next? Maybe we should do sewer path A, which would mean like from there upwards. This one might be a bit more trickier to get to, but I believe we should be able to do it. I think we can do it. Okay, let's see. So, if the one directly behind here was 
So that led to point B. What I'll need to do is go this one here to get to the, the next point. This should lead to point A then, theoretically. So how are we doing inventory-wise? Oh, we've still got plenty of bandages. Let's go. Also, let me just clear out all the points. Boom. 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 Straight shot over here. Okay, this is a long straight shot. Another door. Boom. Okay, so from the center point. Okay, I'm a little bit off right now. In reference to the other one. We need to head a bit more to the right, ideally. Actually, th this map is already coming in handy. I have to head a bit more to the right, if we can. There's a little bit of a crossroad here. So we take the crossroad to the right. Should we mark down the crossroad? We should probably mark down the crossroad, right? Crossroad here. Just for future reference. Which then goes over here. To this door here. Boom. Goes straight through here. I think I'm heading in the right direction. Yeah, having that center point makes it actually a lot more easier to do a sense of direction. Okay, this is the toxic sludge room. Remember that for the future. Let's see. So the Los Santos exit, like the one that's on Strawberry, the point A as I've been calling it, that's almost like directly north of the center point. Maybe like a little bit off. So we're using that as the reference point. So we need to basically be like over here. So let's see, where are we? So if the door that we just came from was like over that way, I'd say we keep heading straight. We just keep heading straight from here. Yeah, that's good because we're heading still in the same direction. Boom. Okay, got a... See, these sort of things would be good for points of interest, like the sludge room, the uh, pipe room here. These are all good for, like, knowing where you are. Then we go through here. I feel like we should be getting close now to the exit. Like, past this door should be relatively easy. Okay, so, boom. You know, it should be right behind here, theoretically. Yeah, perfect. My theoretics was correct. Easy. So then this should theoretically be leading to point A. I'm going to be using the sewer ingredients, but I might sell them too. Okay, easy. Then this is theoretically the... Uh, if I zoom in a bit more. Boom. Nice. Okay. So that leads us to the exit. Let me head back to the center. This is actually going a lot better than I thought, by the way. This map is already becoming really handy. Like, just having that center point makes it so much easier. Center point and knowing where all the exits are. It makes it actually surprisingly easy to traverse this place. I'll hop over here. Eh. Hey, bubble. Eh. So we just keep heading straight from here. Boom. I'm going to be a sewer expert in no time. 
Honestly, I wouldn't mind getting the girls involved with the uh, moonshine operation once we get it going. Toxic sludge room. Yeah, we'll jot down points of interest once we get the main part done first. I'd probably... I'd want to see if Raymond wants to do some moonshining. I know she's been looking for some ways to make money recently. Yeah, I think it was through here, right? Yeah, here's the crossroad. Then from the crossroad, we head straight down here. Boom. She hated it? Ah, fair enough. I still mention it. Whether it be like the drop-offs or the making of the moonshine. Ideally with this, having been better with the sewers means we could get like a full operation going if we wanted to. Yeah, Max and Marty have had a meeting. Well, not a meeting. I texted them in the end just because we never seem to be around like able to do it. Who owns the GPUs in the girls' house? That's Kitty. She's only ever purchased one, though. I don't know if she plans to expand in the future. Okay. Center point. Boom. And boom. Right, let's see. So now let me... So that is sewer... Path A. Sewer path A. Lay that on top. Boom. Make that like 58%. Perfect. So just so you guys can see what I'm doing. This is what we have so far. In terms of the pathways. So there's sewer path A. Which is this one. Like straight from there. Up there. Sewer path B. Which is up there. Curving around there. Through there. Sewer path E. Which is down there. And through there. What we need to do is sewer path C next. I need to find a way to get to sewer path C. So that's going to be towards the right now. Okay, easy. I can do that. Sewer path E. So if the sewer path for B was directly there, A was through that one. I guess that means we'll go... Hmm. Would it lead from this one or would it lead from that one over there? Hmm. They're pretty close together, so... Let me have a look on the map again real quick. Hmm. So that's... The Okay, so sorry, just looking at the map. So that exit that we're looking at right now, that goes like directly up to there. I want to get to this point over here. So I probably need to... I could start there then see if it diverges. Or I could go... I guess the next one would be like over here. Okay, yeah, we'll go through the next exit for this one. So let me just clear my markers. Boom. Boom. That's the center point. So let's go through this one next. Let's make sure I'm bandaging up every step of the way. Let's see if I can make it to the next one by going this way. Do, 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 do. No door just yet. Okay, first door. Let's mark it. Let's see. Am I making the right direction here? Okay, so I need to ideally go a bit more to the left if I can. Okay, that's fine. So we ideally need to go left if we can. Another crossroad here. So from the crossroad, I'll mark down the crossroad real quick. 
Boom. We'll go left. Turning into a gang? Well, it's not a gang. It's just, you know, you can have an operation without it being gang related. Let's see. So let me just reference point real quick. Am I going the right direction? Okay, so now I ideally need to go... That one there, there, there. I'll need to get back to this point. Okay, so... Ideally need to head to the right now, I think? If my mapping is correct, if we only head to the right. Morning. Hello. So we head down to the right here. Oh! Huh? Did I find it? I felt like way too soon. Huh. Then this just leads straight upwards. Wow, this is becoming a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. This really is becoming a lot easier than I initially thought. I didn't even think it'd be here. Oh, okay. I guess we just head back to the entrance and then overlay it and see if it makes sense. Just head down this way. You see, the complicated part is when you try to map like all the different interwinding paths. That's when it's going to start becoming complicated. Then we head straight down here, right? Yep, straight down there. Boom. I'll just keep heading straight from here. So that exit is, is the one that most people take. Or the entrance, I should say. Entrance slash exit. Is that one that's in a car park? I say, Queen. How you doing? So now this theoretically should end us back in the center again. Boom. Now let's head back into do do into the center. Take screenshot. So that should be sewer path C. My voice is more American than Max, even though British. The thing is, my actual voice has a lot of American twangs. Because I've spent too much time on the internet. Sewer path C. Sewer path C. Overlayer it. Boom. Okay, no, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hold on, just so you guys can see. So see, that is the path there. So that is sewer exit C then. So sewer path A is up there, around, and through there. Sewer path B is up there, around, up there. Sewer path C is directly down there, up there, then there, then there. Now we need to do sewer path D. D and F and then we're good. Easy. Okay, nice. We're making good progress here. Like I said, this is taking a lot... It's becoming a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm surprisingly not getting lost. Having that sender point really makes it easy. Okay, so that was to sewer path B. Then that was to C. Let's see. Well, let me just see how I'm doing with this dude over here. 
Because this next one's a pretty big distance away. This one's like almost directly south. The next one's going to be directly south, basically, from point A. So we need to take the exit that is directly south from point A, which was... Point A was... Hold on, let me just bandage up real quick. That was point B. Point A was this one. So theoretically, it should be directly... I guess that one... Is there only four exits? There's only four exits here. Okay, so some of them may intertwine then. Okay, so... If I'm heading directly south... Hmm. Oh, I can talk to this dude. Oh, no, I can't talk to this dude. So I'm just trying to piece this all together. I think maybe the exit that we just took was going to be just as good then. Will it? Oh, maybe we go different. Oh, I see where this branch is now. Remember that crossroad? This is probably going to branch at that crossroad. Oh, yeah, that's probably what it is. Hey, Aiko! Thanks for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Maximotes, courtesy of Ico. Appreciate the support. So I'm just trying to piece this all together in my mind right now. So I think for this one, Sewer Path... What was it? That Sewer Path C is probably going to be the best starting point, and then we just... At the crossroad, we go right instead. This one might be the furthest distance that we need to travel. Essentially. But I think that should be alright. Yeah, that should be fine. So I, I was just looking at the map right now. Okay, so that is going to be B. So we need to go C. This one was number C. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm really starting to wrap my head around the sewers now. And basically what I'm doing right now is mapping all the paths to the exits. So what I'm using is the... Hold on. Let's just see. So yeah, th this one should be usable up until... This point here, right? And what I'm using those markers for is marking each door. That's what I'm using the marker for. So this marker should be... Yeah, there. And this should then lead to the crossroad. Last time we went left to get to exit C. But to get to exit D, we head right. I feel like I'm big braining with all this. Boom. Because this is the center point and the exit for that we're looking for is almost directly south of the center point. So that's the way that we're going. Also, we're doing full first person today, too. Okay, so... Let's see. Ideally, I need to keep going forward. But there's a branching path here that turns. Let's see. So if I go down this one, can I keep going forward? Yeah, I can keep going forward from here. Nice. I just gotta go take the right branching path. That's where things start to get a bit more complicated, which I'll jot down once we get into more detail with this. Boom. Now, this is just basic details right now. We get more details as it goes on. Go through here. Mark this spot. Boom. So now, the exit should just be around here. Oh. An exit. Boom. And there's the exit. Easy. Now make our way back. Pay for 
mapping. I'm using Photoshop. I'll show you the process just a second once we get back. Effectively, what I'm doing. Oh. So I just realized I had the, uh, the voice change one. Effectively, what I'm doing is I'm using those points of interest to overlap each other. But I need to take the screenshot from the exact same location each time for it to make sense. So this one will go straight through here. Straight through here. Arrange ourselves. So we just keep heading straight till we hit the crossroad. Boom. Then here's the crossroads. Then we just go straight down here. And if we just keep heading straight from here, you, you get immune to the effects of the sewers the longer you spend down here. Hence why I'm doing the mapping to get myself more acclimated. Because there's no point in me searching for moonshine materials until I'm more acclimated. Because it's just a waste of time and a waste of bandages. Speaking of, how's our bandage supply looking? 29. Okay, so we're getting a little bit down. Luckily, I'm starting to get roots. Luckily, I know my way around the sewers. He and I would just head down. To the exit, head down to the center. You do, but it's slow. Now, from what I got told by Fiona is that if you at least just spend one hour a day in the sewers, you'll be fine. Okay, and screenshot. Easy. There's the, the only way I can tell how immune I am is if I talk to the, like, rep guys. Like, if I... As soon as one of them starts selling me distilleries, that means I'm good to start searching, is what Fiona told me. Okay, so that's going to be sewer exit D. Sewer path D. Sewer path D. Let me add that in. Yep, that lines up. Perfect. So this is basically what I'm doing. I'm taking each path and then labeling it. So sewer path A is from here, up here, then all the way up here. Sewer path B is up here, up here, around here, then through there. C is down there, up there, and through there. D is down there, through down there, and then there. So what I need next is... Sewer path D. Oh, hold on, I need to reduce the opacity here. Sewer path E. It's a bit difficult to see them all overlaid at the moment, but there's another sewer path E, which is down there and around there. All we need now is sewer path... What is that? F. We need sewer path F, which is this one over here, which is Grove Street. And what I'm wondering for this one is what is probably going to be more effective is if we go through A, I think that's a crossroad there. So once we hit that crossroad, we go left instead. I think theoretically that's how it should work. What did I just do? Uh, I'll reduce the opacity. I'm going to make this look all nicer later, obviously, but that's what I've got so far. Okay, so sewer exit A is going to be... There's the throne. It's the one that is to the left of the throne. Not directly behind it, but that one there. Yeah, Sewer Path E was Grove Street. I I'll label them correctly later. Yeah, E was Grove Street, aka... Hold on, let me start marking this. Well, no, no, we mark that when we get down this way. AKA where um we live. Okay, that's the center. So let me get rid of all the rest of these. These are almost like breadcrumbs, these markers. Make them really handy. Like, that center point makes it so I can't really get lost, which is extremely handy.
should be a door here. Boom. So we just got to head left from here, basically, if we can. Which we can. Let me mark down the crossroads. Boom. Then we head left rather than right. I honestly don't think it's going to be too far going down this route. Parkour. This is the pump room, isn't it? Oh, no, it isn't the pump room. Door. So it's going good, Deadly. It's actually been going a lot better than I thought it was going to go. Okay, so again, this is another one where I'm probably going to have to head straight, right? Okay, this one doesn't go straight. That's fine. This one just heads straight. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Boom. Boom. Like, my idea is I want to make, like, a proper looking map if I can. Boom. Oh, let me just reference. So, we should actually be right by the exit, if my theory is correct. The exit should just be up this way. What I'm doing is mapping the paths right now, but, you know, to obviously memorize them later. So, theoretically, it should ideally be somewhere around here. If my theorem is correct. Which isn't proving too correct right now. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I feel like we've gone a bit off kilter now. Yeah, ideally it should be like... Over here. Hmm, I feel like we've taken a wrong path somewhere. Well, let me see where this goes for now. I have a feeling this is leading me straight back to the... What's it called? The Grove Street one. Hmm, let me just see where this leads for now. You know, we're really off kilter now. I think we've got to backtrack. I just want to see, for curiosity's sake, is this near the... the Grove Street one? Yeah, so the Grove Street one, I think... Yeah, there we go. That's the Grove Street exit right there. Okay, we've got to backtrack. We messed up somewhere. Ah. Where do we mess up? Because I could have sworn we were going the right way. Maybe... Hmm. You know where we went right? Maybe we needed to go left instead. I know we saw the, that couch room. Maybe that couch room was the right way. Let's backtrack for now. Boom. We do keep backtracking. We'll delete the markers once we get back to that area. Boom. Actually, let me just delete the markers for now. Boom. Boom. Because it's almost like directly to the west of the center is the one that I'm looking for. So it's somewhere around here is where we messed up. Roughly around this part. Because I really wish the noise of bandaging yourself was quieter. It's really loud. Has come a true sewer runner? Basically, yeah. I want to be an expert of the sewers if I can. I want to know it like the back of my hands. I think it might have been here is where we messed up. So before, we were like... Hold on. 
We went like through here, around here. So maybe I needed to go right here instead. Well, let me just like get rid of this. Maybe I need to go right here instead. Let's see. Mark that down. Boom. Yeah, th okay, this... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I was right. I needed to go right there instead. Gotcha. And then boom. Here's the way to the exit. And this should lead to the forum drive exit, this one. I should mark that there just to be safe. Okay, so this one's a little bit more complicated, but not too bad. I'm going to mark down the crossroad, too. Boom. Like, it does get a bit confusing backtracking here, because you have, like, all these different exits. Like, different, like, interweaving things. I think this is fine, though. So it's left here that you need to go. I might mark this down as a crossroad. Just so it makes sense, so I don't go, like, point here to point there. You know, we, we've marked all the routes now. This happened a lot faster than I thought it was. I generally thought this was going to take us a long time. But this went surprisingly quick. I, I think we only got lost once, too, which is kind of surprising. Boom. Down here. Then at the crossroads, we go right. Eat some fries. Having this sort of knowledge just gives you an advantage if you ever need it. Like, if we could come down here and never get lost, that would be ideal. The thing is, I don't know how valuable this will be to other people, but it's valuable to me. And that's the main thing. Right, let's head down into the center. I haven't done too much rummaging just yet. <sighs> Boom. Okay, this one's a little bit more of a complicated one, but it gets the point across. Yeah, people memorize one path, but I love the idea of making smuggling routes through the sewers. There we go, all bandaged. Alright, so... Sewer path F for family. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to see, just because how how I have this all sorted right now. I'm just adjusting things so it's a bit more visible. The way I've got it done at the moment makes it really difficult to see certain paths, so I'm trying to like make it relatively visible. Okay, perfect. All right, so this is what we've got. This is our start baseline. So we've got sewer path A, which is go up here, around and up there. Sewer path B, which is up there, around and then through there. Sewer path C, which is down there, up there and through there. Sewer path D, down there, around there and through there. Sewer path E is directly down there and up there. And then sewer path F is up there and around there. Easy. Hey, the markers are really handy. 
It's things I've used in RP for a long time. Right, so the question is, what do we do from here? I guess the best thing is, like, we've got to, like, make the paths a lot more visible. One thing I'm kind of tempted to do as well is mark the exits to the, the center. I might do that real quick, actually. Hold on. Boom. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Label each exit here. I'm going to label each, um, like, sewer exit, too. Do -do. All right, so let me clear the paths. Yeah, I usually use the throne as a reference point, too. Let me get rid of this. Boom. Boom. Okay, let's see. So, let's mark all the exits here, just on the GPS, just so I have that. Just so we see, like, visualize the circle, too. Boom. That's directly behind the throne. I might see if I can see Glorions once I've got a more solid map. Because I'd love to, like, you know, overlay our maps and see how different they look. Boom. Then we go down here. This is going to help me make the circle, too. Because obviously the center is a circle. Do, do, do. Boom. Do, do, do. Hopefully, this is the, all this is going to be useful in the long term. As I said, though, at the moment, this is just a good way for us to pass the time while we get more acclimated to the sewers. I do worry that we're going to run out of bandages, though. <laughs> Definitely do worry about that a little bit. We know a good act. We know all the ways out, though, so that's going to be handy. Let's see, how are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're getting down to 18. We came down with like 70 for reference point. Okay, let me see how we're doing with the reputation of these guys real quick. Does he sell me anything yet? Not yet, no. Let's try this dude over here. Damn, I keep not being able to see this dude. I could do the good old method of... There we go. And he doesn't talk to me. God damn it. Alright, let's get our reference point down in the actual sewers. This may become an art stream in a second. While I get everything mapped out. And boom. That's the sewer circle right there. I, it, it would require them a lot of work to change how this looks. Like, a lot of work. I can't imagine the amount of work that it took to even get this place made in the first place. Alright, let's see. That is rename Sewer Circle. About like 50. Okay, there we go. So that's a good. Let's see. Zoom. 
Okay, so this is what the map looks like now. That is like the sewer circle there. I might make like a good circle for it. Then we just got to label down each path, like make an actual route from each path. Basically, connect the dots is what we need to do from here. Effectively, is connect the dots. Okay, let's see. This is going to be the most effective way to do this. I got to keep an eye on the health too, by the way. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. Let's see. So if I go like above here. Hmm. I need like a good one that kind of like. That kind of works. Well, I'm using the complete wrong tool here. What I need is the ellipse tool. Something like this should do. Get rid of the fill. Just have the stroke at like, that's too thick. Let's do like seven thickness. Let's try and center it the best that we can. That kind of works. Sewer circle. Does that work? Hold on. Also, hold on. Let me just bandage up real quick. Gonna make sure I'm doing that more regularly. I think once we get down to like maybe five bandages, we should start making our way out because that's when we need to start panicking. Boom. Yeah, I heard that they went a lot more secretive with it, which is understandable. One thing's to be a surprise at the end of the day. I miss Dark, though. I miss Alfred. Hope he's doing good. And there we go. Let's see. Okay, so we should probably start from A, right? So let me get rid of all the other sewer paths. And just get A. Let's see. So probably want to do the same thing, but with like the line tool. Stroke 7. Let's be like, boom. Make new one. So from like here, it needs to go up to like here. Then that's line one. Well, to get those, you, you need to like rummage around the sewers and you can't rummage around the sewers until you're more acclimated. Okay, then we make another one. Boom. There might be a better way to do this, but I don't know what that better way to do it is. So we go from here up to here. Yeah, I'm definitely not taking as much damage as I did before. Here to here. Boom. And then... Boom. You're yeah, definitely not perfect. I guess this is just a good, like, starting reference point. How's that look? So that is... Hold on, let me get that all together. Folder, sewer, path, A. Should I, like, color code this? Hmm. I'm 
debating whether or not to color code this. Let's hold money to manage up again real quick. Like, no, A is one color, B is another color, C is another color. Actually, you know what might be... Hold on, I'm going to redo this. I, I just thought of a better way to do this. Hold on. Redo. Okay, I just thought of a much better way to do this. I'm using the wrong tool. What I need to use is... Where is it? Pen tool. That's what I need to be using. So we go from... Point here... To here... This is going to make it a lot smoother to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, right? Shape. Okay, I need to start again. That's fine. So from here, to here, to here, to here, to here. This is much better. There we go. Still not perfect, but you know, it, it's a bit better, like, joined together. Okay, sewer path A. Perfect. Okay, so that's A done. Now, B... Just crop the images so your friends with the same transparency. It's a bit difficult to do, unfortunately. Just because, like, the backgrounds aren't transparent, so they kind of, like, overlap and it just makes things a bit, like, awkward to use. So this is going to be sewer path B. So that's going to start, like, here. To here. To here. I need to curve it here. So I'm going to do is point to point. Then boom. Then boom. And that should be sewer path B. Sewer path B. What I'm gonna what I'm gonna do once I have these markers like all set out, I'm gonna make like indicators to show that these doors. That's my idea. Then you know, I'm gonna do like an extra shape along it to make it look like a door. To indicate that that is a door that you're going through. This is just the basic path that I'm starting with right now. Zero so path B complete. Oh, so hold on, let me just Bandage up real quick. Yeah, I think we may need to make our way back to the surface soon, I'm worried. Yeah, we're down to 10 bandages. Oof. We're getting low. Might be surface time soon. You know what I need to look at? I need to look at train maps, like the London Underground, and use that as, like, a baseline for this. I think that would be a cool idea. So path B, so path C. Boom. So that's going to be... Boom. 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 Sewer path C. Now, we're going to start overlapping a little bit here. What we need now is sewer path D.
This may look a little bit awkward. Boom. 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 There we go. Sewer path D. I was really hoping I'd be like a lot more immune to the sewers at this point. It seems like it takes a good long while to get immune. Here we go. Okay, sewer path D. Sewer path E. Goes from here. Boom. 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 I need to remember like which parts were doors and which parts were like intersections. I forgot about that. Yep, I'm making a map to the sewers right now. What I've marked is a way to get from each entrance point, like sewer entrance to the center. That's what I've marked to begin with. I plan to make this a lot more detailed as we go along. This is just the way that I'm starting it. Okay, we're down to eight bandages. We need to head up soon. I want to get these basic paths done, then I'm going to head up north. Well, head back up. Put our information to practice. Sewer. Path. E. Boom. And then lastly, sewer path F. Hold on. Boom, boom. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Go like boom, two. Boom. 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 I can't remember which part was the intersection. I think it was here that where it started to get a bit more complicated, right? I guess we'll have to just go through and verify it afterwards. That is sewer path F. There we go. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. It's not too detailed. It's just kind of the beginning part. But this is, again, this is just how we're getting started. Pathway to each of them. I think it's a good start point, though. All right, let's make our way back up to the surface because we are really running low on bandages. Also, let me just save this. Save as. Open your computer. Max paperwork. Sewer. Sewer map. So I'm just saving the Photoshop file, so in, just in case things crash, which they sometimes do. Yeah, we're making a map of the sewers right now. Basically, how we get from one exit to the center. Also, let me see. Can I talk to... Where is he? This dude yet? Will he acknowledge my existence? Damn, this is how I tell how acclimated I am. Let's see. Does this dude sell me anything yet? April hasn't said that she needs help with it, so we haven't... We, it's a no at the moment. Boom. I believe classes should be starting soon, though. I think classes started, like, one hour from now. Okay, we go through here. Try not to get burned alive. Boom. Yeah, today's Marty's day. <laughs> Max needs a shower after this.
Let me text people. Jen. Hope day three goes well. We'll text Ray in a second too. I just need to try and make my way towards the exit. We're at five bandages left. Do. Do, do, do. So uh, one thing that I'm going to do after this is like map how all the other pathways that you can take. Because that's going to be important to know. I've probably mapped that down in a different color. Huh. Yeah, I'm interested in how he's going to run the hacking mon. Because that's going to be a very difficult one to do like... Uh, unless you're doing the hacks. Oh, God. Hold on a minute. I may need to close Photoshop. Because my computer does not like me streaming GTA and also Photoshop at the same time. That's a good few, like, hour or so in the sewers though, right? I don't know how long we just spent in the sewers, but we definitely spent some time in the sewers. Come on, please be open, please be open. Yes, easy. <laughs> Fresh air once again. Right, let's get back home and change real quick. Let's see if Timothy's still around, because I want to know how Grime was. Timothy did a good test of Grime earlier. I have a feeling that Grime hasn't been nerfed. I'm assuming it's just like a little glitch that's happening right now. That's, some, that's actually a really useful sewer trip, though. We got a lot more done than I thought we were going to get done. Yeah, the fact that we have a solid way to get to, from each entrance point now is really useful information. Like, especially from where we are right now. You see, there's a sewer entrance literally right next to us. Boom. Any new notes? No new notes just yet. Do, do, do. Boom. Let's get change real quick. Casual. Cozy casual. I like this look. Let's see. Do we need to do anything back here real quick? I don't think I've emptied the butt coin yet today. Let me make sure I do that. Give yourself supply with crowbars? I'm just buying them from people. Crowbars deteriorate really slowly. And people openly sell them now too. Let's see. All good back here. All good here. Boom. Already on offloaded. All good. Wait, nope, wrong thing. Boom. Got a bunch of wash cash and these get sorted. Timothy's usually sorting that though. Everything clean in here, yep, everything clean in there. Nice, nice, nice. Things going good. I can't wait till we get this fully upgraded. It's going to look so much nicer. 
Fishing check? I think I did check earlier. Unfortunately, still no fishing. Let's see. Let's call up Ray, see how she's doing. No Ray yet. Interesting. Let's see. Timothy. Where's Timothy? Timothy. Hey, uh, Timothy. Hello? What's up? Uh, just want to check. How did the grime run go? How'd my what? The, the grime run. How'd that go? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's fine now i think the ranges are just more accurate like you know how um we were being paid a little bit more yeah yep that's all it is it's just ah, dumb. okay so okay but it's still like just a random range basically yeah it's within that range of uh what was it 500 something to 733 you know okay that's not too bad so it's definitely playing more than 1.5k yep Okay, so it's not over then. It's still good. I think I think last tsunami when uh the bosses were adjusting our payouts, uh they might have fucked up and some people uh, got less than they should have. It's just kind of you have to deal with it, right? Got it you, is what okay. it is. Yeah, those things happen. Right. What are you up to? Uh well, just got done mapping out the sewers. Nice. Okay. Got, cool. I've now got a solid route for each entrance. To get to the center. Nice. Okay. That's fun. But uh, Red Eye Band just had to come back up. I'm slowly but surely getting more acclimated. Good. That's awesome. Okay. I'm uh I'm doing my own stuff. <laughs> Trying to figure out. Because I'm I'm not I don't think uh the grime life is forever. It's good to have a backup just in case. Yeah, I think um I'm figuring that shit out right now. Yeah, than that, I've just done a bit of decorating for the house, redecorate just a tad bit. Okay, nice. Got getting... some more, uh, was it furniture? Uh, not anything new. I just, like, replaced some of the old stuff. But I've got another order in, and that order should complete us. Then the house will be fully decorated. Here's the thing, Max. What if, uh, what are you looking forward to that's not crime-related, though? If they ever... Fishing. I want to fish. So badly. Fishing. I see. <laughs> no, that yeah. hurts. That, that's what I'm waiting for. I want to get... Mean, do they... Is it... Is it... Is it like with the fishing rods or is it like um, deep ocean fishing and stuff like that? You know what I mean? It used to be with fishing rods, but who knows what it would be, you know, this time around could be completely different. I want deep sea ocean fishing. I want to be on a boat. Mm. I don't want to just you know, be on, on the shore. Uh, I would like to too, but that depends on my... Um, it depends on my motion sickness. Oh, That's understandable. Um, listen, I can't be on the phone too long because what I'm doing right now, I they need to be able to call me just in case they oh, see something. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah no, it's all good. So good. Yeah. Right, I'll uh, yeah, catch but... you in a bit. Best of luck with the university, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, yeah. Class is in an hour. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. All right. Thank you, Max. See you. Right. See you. Right. All good. Okay. So it did seem to just be a temporary glitch then. That does happen. Okay, that, that, that is good to know, though. I was worried that basically grime would uh would be a bit more of a grind from there. I was a little bit worried about that. Now that grime has basically become my main source of income. Primarily off-stream, like I said, though. Hey, Becky! Thanks for the bits. Much appreciated. Let's see, what else do we need to do? So, what else can we get done? We could just head back down to the sewers and start, like, effectively mapping this stuff out. Hmm. I do want to go to City Hall to see if there's been any changes in terms of the taxes just yet. Uh, let's maybe make our way over that way. We did just spend like almost two hours in the suits. So maybe we spend some time above ground. 
hell? Okay, fair enough. All right, let's make our way over to City Hall, see if there's been any changes. Always like to check up on legislation too. Just see if there's anything new. Anything to be concerned about. But I'm actually surprised how useful that trip to the sewers was. I genuinely didn't expect it to be that useful. Like now we can actually get to the center of the sewers from where we live, which is really handy. Like for moving stuff across, that's going to be super handy. And the more that we use these paths, the more memorized they're going to be, so we don't even need the map. Having the map as backup is also good. I just got to think of a good way that I want to design this map. I'm not sure if I want to keep the aesthetic that we're going for right now. Like I said, ideally, I'd love to base it like on the London Underground map. You know, something like that. Come on, let's uh, stop here and grab some bandages real quick. Boom. This is a subathon thing. First person, I did initially it was only for an hour, but I thought it'd be more fun to do it for an entire stream. More of a challenge that way. It feels very disorientating though. I'm looking forward to being back to third person. It feels weird not being able to see myself. Okay, let's get like a thousand out. There we go. Okay, here you go. Let's go. Appreciate take, you. Take, take care. Let's see. How much can I get for... I can probably get a lot for a thousand. Let's get another like a hundred. I do plan to delve back in there. Continue my mapping. What's that cool? Isn't there like a, a thing, a job title for someone that makes maps? Calligraphy? Something like that? I'm that now. There we go. Cartographer, that's it. Ooh. I'm becoming a cartographer. Yeah, the way the London Underground map works in my mind is that each route has a different like color to it so i might take that route instead and then like the interconnecting routes like you know the different pipes and stuff i'm gonna make just regular colors like just base then doing like points of interest will be good too I don't think what's going to be the most effective way to do all that. I need to find a good way to mark out where doors are too. Oops, see you later, princess. Hope you have a good rest of your day. I'm not really a graphic designer, so making it look pretty is going to be difficult, but I'm going to try my best. May take me some time to do. Might be something I do more off stream than on stream. Getting the data on stream I can do, though. Boom. Let's see. Any new legislation? Legislation. DOC. Protocols. Nothing I need to be concerned of. I ain't no DOC. Let's go see what the taxes are. Do, do, do. I call April, see how she's doing too. Catch up with our gore. Oh, they are in. Uh oh. 
Oh, thank God. Oh, that's really cheap. Okay. Whew. Wait, how does my apartment electricity bill cheaper? Well, like, only just... What? Huh? Wait, what? How's our consumption bill so cheap? How's, how is it only a $30 difference between that and my apartment? Which has nothing in it. Huh. You know what? I am not complaining. I guess we just get this all paid off. Pay. Pay. Before they fix it, let's pay it off. Easy. Nice. Let's cool our girl, see how she's doing. I'll update her about the casino, too. Do, do, do. As and yours, thanks to tier one. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful goblin and maximos atlas. Appreciate the support. Damn, is she not around? Oh, fair enough. I feel like university starts soon, doesn't it? Why don't you go to crime school? I didn't enroll with it. And I don't think you're allowed to just go spectate. Otherwise, you know, you're basically learning for free at that point. Boom. Parkour. I'm just gonna Google something real quick. London Underground Map. Yeah, that kind of makes looks more like what I was gonna do. Hold on. Okay, so this may not make too much sense, but this is what I was thinking as like a map for what we were gonna do for the sewers. I was thinking something like this. Though obviously this is like you know, maybe a little bit too much detail. But I was thinking in terms of where the doors are, like we could use the stop points for the doors. They you know you've got like the white circles there. Something like that might work for labeling where each door is. Though that could become crowded very quickly is the thing. That could become crowded very, very quickly. But it's good reference points to knowing where each door is. They got like all the different like color branches too. Hmm. Yeah, something like this, just you know, not as much like that. Cause that is like a very much an overload of information. I wouldn't be opposed to going to crime school in the future. I think if we were hanging with someone and they went to crime school, we'd go with them, but it's not something I'd actively like go to on my own let you know to go watch at least all good all good Definitely seems that like people are having fun with it. Maybe if I had made the decision to go criminal. Well, the thing is, what to tell me from joining crime school is the price. It is way, way too expensive. Like, it, it basically would cost me my entire bank account to go to crime school. And a lot of the things that they're teaching there, I could probably easily learn from our friends. Not to mention the fact that our friends are going and easily teach us too. I don't think we would have been able to get a discount too well. Boom. Let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to add to here. Any more decorations we're kind of in need of. Sorry to go back to decorating real quick. Just wanted to 
because hopefully Catlin will get back to us soon. Then we just get like one good full order. Hopefully we haven't ordered too much. I'm worried that we're not going to have enough money for it all. Or it's going to completely drain our bank account. Also, let me just put up here. Let me put up here real quick about the taxes. Taxes came in. All paid for. So no worries. Max. Who are all the roommates? So we've got Max, who is me. We've got Kitty, Gigi Costello, Timothy, Eli, April, and Raymond. Been thinking about maybe expanding as well. But I don't know. I feel like we've already got a lot of people in. How's going on, Twato? I feel like we've already got a lot of people in the house, personally. I'm not sure if more people is going to be the right move. Need. Hold on. Hey, Jan. Yes. Morning. You, you don't need to be sorry for that. I actually do uh, like it when you guys call me for pickups. It, I, I like feeling useful. Oh, I see. Are you busy right now? Could you I come get me from the apartment? <laughs> sure thing. I'm trying to do less grime in the morning, too. I'm saving that for later in the day, so I'm going to be more free Yay! to do Maybe. pickups. Have you ever sat in for like a for like a class? I haven't. I didn't think I'd be allowed to, to be honest. Honestly, I don't think they're very strict about it. You, you should just like come and then like look and then like if no one kicks you out, I don't think Ooh. anyone would kick you out. Because April's April's participated as a student for the oh. past. Well, she's a days. teacher, right? Is she? Is. <laughs> oh, huh. Well, I mean, hey, free lessons. Yeah. Can't complain about yeah, that. Yeah, so come, come, come. Maybe yeah. they won't kick you out or something. Yeah, we'll and see. Then... If I do, I, it's all good. I understand. Well, I'll, I'll riot. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate that. But I'll throw a fit. I, I didn't pay tuition, so it's understandable. I, I'm not paying anything because I'm not paying 60k for crime school. Yes. Um. Well, let's just try anyway. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they won't clock it. I, I've got good standing with Mickey, too. Yes, so. you do. I'm just pulling up to the apartments now. Are, are you... I'm coming down the stairs. Come down the stairs? Okay, I'll meet you just outside. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm pulling here. Pulling up, just coming around the corner. Oh, is that you in the white car? Nope, in a black and gold car. Oh. Do, 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 oh. Pulling up. Did you and... dye it from yellow? Was it yellow before? It was yellow before. You don't like the yellow anymore? Um, you know, I don't really do taxi work anymore. It was very much like a taxi sort of look. Oh, so it just I isn't see, for me I anymore. See. Oh, I see. I see. I'm just backing up, backing up. But how are you doing? You had a good morning? Or just getting uh, started yes, with your day? I just woke up. I just woke up. The train was a little bit slow today. I think there's just a lot of students on the train trying to... Um, get to Los Santos. Oh, right, okay. Um, but yeah. Phew! Oh, gosh. Oh, thank God. I have some food. No. Oh, yes. Do you need to go Do pick up some food? Do you need any food? No, no, no. I'm, I'm all good. I picked up food not too long ago. Do you need to grab some more for school? Oh, is there anything you need to prepare for school today? Uh, uh, oh, I'll wait until you finish choking. Uh, no, no, no. Don't, don't speak in two. That's how you choke. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Okay, no, no, no. Just little bites. Chew it all. Remember. You good? You, you need some water? Oh, I almost died. Yeah, you, you gotta be careful speaking and talking at the same time. Very easy way to choke. And it's not really pleasant um, either. Okay. Well, um, I don't know what I need to prepare for school. Mickey hasn't sent any text messages. Let me call, uh, let me text him. Oh yeah, it's best to double check just to be sure. Like, let, yes, you need like a lockpick and... A radio, right? That's what Timothy was saying. Oh, yes. That was yesterday for Dundee's class. How'd that go? Was it fun? 
Oh, yes, so fun. I learned that I'm not as bad of a driver as I thought I was. Hey, not bad. I mean, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I learned how to back up um, in mm -hmm. a manual. Oh, that's fun. Oh, you have to drive manual? Yeah. I hate driving manual. Yep, I hate it. So then I also learned that in a Lamb Daddy, there's a, there's a little switch I can do to turn it automatic. Oh, that is handy. Yes, yeah, so that's switch? what I did. Um, well, um, my certain switch is the 8... Switch. Uh, okay, I don't think that's the same in here. Oh, I see, I see. Thought I'd give it a go. This is automatic. Oh, okay. Were you testing to see if it could switch to manual? Yeah, because I do want to learn manual. It's oh, just uh, um, painful. It could also be like a numpad 8. I gave switch. that one. That's the one that I tried. Oh, I see. Okay. Let me try, like... Maybe you have to program the switch. Uh, would you like to know what program it's called? What's the program called? Okay, give me a second. Let me check. I don't know what it's Take your time. See? All good. God, it feels so weird driving first person. For the most part, it's okay, but like backing up and oh god, stuff like that is where it becomes uh, more. Can you difficult. hear me while I'm in? Yep, I can hear you. Okay, uh, it is the switch conduction mode program. Switch conduction in mode. Vehicles. It might be the type of engine because there is different types of engines you can get. Oh, that I see. You can see. swap out. Oh but, yes, I do remember that link had like a like an automatic that got stolen i think you put that in to oh. make it automatic yeah so what you you probably have was the sequential which is i think technically could be both well it's not my lamba daddy anymore it was lockpick <gasps> are you thirsty do you want some sprunk um do, do you have one not drunk yes <laughs> I put it in the glove box. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I, I, I've got some sodas. Appreciate the offer, okay. though. Again, also be careful drinking and speaking at the same time. Same issue. Don't want to go down the wrong pipe. Also, you know, it, you, I'd prefer if you didn't spill sprunk in my car because that's... Oh, I'm very kind of sticky. careful. Don't you worry. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. you know, I I know this is a cheap car, but I care a lot about this car. It doesn't look cheap. It cost me eight thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I got this for this a steal. This is like steal, yeah. And it's got me through many times. Oh, speaking of, by the way, I should probably let you know I'm no longer part of the casino. Oh, I mean, is anyone because you know? I don't know. Also, I, I haven't been paid, and it's definitely been more than a few weeks, but I wasn't going to clock anyone about it since there wasn't any work anyway. But yeah. Yeah, I never got paid either. Oh. <laughs> well, but th when is the government casino coming out? I do think uh, it's kind of poopy that that happened, though. I, I feel a little bad for Marty. He, he still wants to open up the main casino. It's just oh, okay. my heart wasn't in it anymore. I, I wasn't as good of a CEO as I thought I was going to be. Oh, I see. Yeah, my well, priorities are different than what it used to be. Yeah, you know, I definitely could have done better. But I think Marty needs someone that their, like, primary focus is the casino. Like, you know, casino above everything else. For me, though, my friends become every before everything else. I just don't think that's working out. I'm the sort of person that'll drop everything if my friends need me. And I, I don't think that really worked well for the casino. Yeah. You've been liking Grime. You have a lot of passenger princesses. Mainly Timothy lately. Oh! But uh, you know I'm going to take him on a few runs at some point. I did used Does to take Timothy... Lottie as well. Oh, does Timothy ever just sit there and, and not do anything? And sometimes he gets busy. Sometimes I find out he's playing games on his phone. 
Yes. He's a very good multitasker, let's say that. Yes, he is. Very good. Don't even notice sometimes. <laughs> and, you know, the thing he's multitasking is something he's got to talk in a lot, too. So, he, and, But then he's talking to me, and it's... He's <laughs> very good at what he's doing. He may have been playing Goose Goose Duck once, and I didn't even notice. <laughs> he's a funny one, that one. Yeah, he is an expert at it, that's for sure. Yes, it's honestly very inspiring. It's something I would like to do. You gotta find the right jobs for it, you know, being past your princess, seeing your oh, buns, yes. stuff like that. Oh, yes. You know, I'm trying other things than Grime as well. May, uh, be getting to a different side of the city that I haven't tried before. Hence why I, also I kind of quit being CEO. Mm-hmm. Maybe trying to get it. If you it. have any um, contacts, by the way, that do non-verbal runs, um, I'm definitely in the market for that. Is that something I can twat about? Wait, non-verbal runs of what? Grime. Oh, anytime you want to do that, let me know. Wait, really? Because I would yeah. love to be on my iPad playing um, this this game called Team Fight Tactics. I've been playing a lot of that too. Oh, <gasps> really? Yep, I've been playing a lot of the new set. I'm silver three at the moment. Oh my, oh my god! I think I'm like silver two! <laughs> I've been... Wait, add me! Yeah, no, no. What, what, uh, email me your uh, name. Oh, oh, yes. Um, yes. Yes. You have my email, right? I have. Yes, yes, I do. Ah, perfect. You know, we should definitely play some time. I'd love to. I'm playing a lot of Fated, that's what I usually go oh, for. Yes. Oh, yes. I do, um, um, Mythic Kog'Maw reroll. Ooh, nice. Is that the one where you get barred with, like, all the Rage Blades? That, yeah, that's a different one. That's the one oh. where, you, where you try to get the bard, but there's one where there's just, like, Kog'Maw. Just do the artillery strikes? Yes. Ooh, nice. Awesome. Yeah, for me, it's either Fated or Umbral. To the moon. I may follow guides for my builds, just because it's so much easier. Oh, yes. I follow this. I, I, we probably, you know, oh, we're so alike. Yeah, we probably um, use I the learned same from Mae Young, actually, since, you know, I haven't, I just, um, I miss her so much. You know, I'm not much of a gamer, hmm. um, but things have definitely changed lately. You know, I wouldn't say, you know, TFT is a different sort of game, you know, it's a lot more low key. I think there's being a gamer and being a gamer. Mm-hmm. You like playing the Valorants and stuff like that. Oh, yes. Competitive gamers versus casual. I'm a lot more casual. I love casual. I love casual. I played a lot of League of Legends when I was younger, and I, I, I like, never want nice. to go back. I was the most toxic I've ever been in my life playing League of Legends. And I feel I've... like in another dimension... When, if I was ever a gamer, which I am not. Yes. Um, I only dabble. Um, but I if I ever was, wow, we have lived a very similar life. I think in another <laughs> dimension, far, far away, I also played League of Legends for a very long time and, and was toxic. Yep. And then I sworn off every other competitive game because I just don't want to go back to that. I can't do competitive games anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, no, uh, email me your name and we'll uh, play some time. Oh, I added you on Discordia. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Very, you know, you can't just say Discord. I didn't. I said Discordia. What's Discordia? That's what, you know what you just said this. <laughs> Yeah, but that makes less sense than just saying No, it Discord. makes sense because you knew what I was saying and you said I couldn't say what you just said that I just say. Okay, I got, an, I got a message from Mickey <laughs> and says, Happy Day 3 of Academy. Today is Cybersecurity with Professor Ooh. Banks. We will meet at 4 p.m. in 30 minutes at the Liquid Library. Also bring Ooh. a notebook. Cool. You got a notebook? I do. Perfect. This was easy. Perfect. Um, what to do to kill time? Let's see, you got 30 minutes. You got all the supplies. You got the food. Yeah, I have hmm. two french fries, one sprunk, hmm. two condoms. 
Okay. 16 bandages, a notebook, uh, mm. G's, um, a mm -hmm. wrench, a rock, a radio. Got you, okay. And you've already got your school uniform. I do. My food is about to spoil. Mm. Uh, There's no harm in getting an extra okay. meal. Okay, okay. Because you never know, someone else might need food. Who forgets? Oh, Eli, yeah. probably. Probably. No harm in being prepared extra. And you never know what might be going on there. Seeing yeah. your buttons is definitely one of the more hot spots in the city. Hmm. And then, and then after school, there's gonna be a a beach day with this with everybody. If you want to come Ooh. to that too, gotta get dressed in our beach. You know, I, I would love to come along for it. Haven't had a beach day in a while. Right. Well, I've had one recently. I showed Emmy um, the beach. She's a great swimmer. Swimmer, unlike well, uh, April and I. Didn't drown on her first trip. No. Yeah. That is an improvement. It's really weird, like, how different we are just because she grew up with mom and we grew up with dad. Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense when you phrase it like that, though. Yeah, I guess. Ew. But, like, don't you think that, like, you know, I mean, we're blood related. Yeah, but, you know, you had different experiences growing up. Different, you know, areas, yes. different, you know, people raising you. That, it kind of makes sense. I hope she's been enjoying her time in town. She is quite lovely. I see her on with her eyes closed. A ah, lot. okay, so she is good. She has been enjoying it then. She <laughs> loves it. And it makes me very happy that she loves Los Santos. Oh, always happy to have another foos in town. Do you think the burger place is cheaper? I think so, yeah. Let's try it. You're so awkward walking in first person. Drinks are back, mama. Drinks back? Yeah. yeah. Adam took a nap. Oh, oh nice. Adam took a nap. Hello. Do you Guns? have any Box? vegan Cows? options? Yeah. Yeah. Taters. Taters. Amazing. I would like one vegan burger. Max Ooh. was the CEO, yeah. We yeah. don't have vegan oh, burgers. Uh, well, I mean, we we do have a vegan We got the burger. salad, yeah. But we also have the salad, unless you really, really want the vegan burger. Um, which one is more filling, would you say? Um, our sides are really filling. Depends our on the size really of your filling. stomach, I guess. You get a few slices of pizza. What you ate last? I'll and get how a salad then. Slices of pizza. Maybe two salads. Oh, how you? Oh, two Thank salads. Ah, uh, yes, please. One one like. Oh, okay. that. Oh, that one's new. Oh, okay. Crescent roll. Taco. There's still a few that haven't yes. opened yet. I guess the coffee shop has changed because that used to be something different. You tell us. Now, let me go see. Is there anything new in the administration area? Anything available yet? Nah, nothing available. My first person is a subathon goal. It was some, only meant to be for an hour, but I decided to go too. longer. We can turn that into, the right into burgery side. stuff. Right. This is going great. It will be fun to do it for an entire stream instead. We're by the ocean. Go, I'm good right now. I'm good. I'm good. Very nice. Happy to hear. <sighs> what happened to our largest What's tipper the order? sign? What's the order? I don't see the order. There we I don't go. know. No worries. On the right. Perfect. How much do you six of you been doing? I haven't been doing much ever since school, I swear, right, and I'm saving that. up I'll for keep, a car. I'll keep the fridge. Okay, that's fair. I'm, I've been spending my money on furniture uh, primarily. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Well, I really appreciate it. Just, just yeah. know that, um, like, we'll, like pretend we're, here, two, we're uh, in, like, a, like a cute little game. Waters. Like, our friendship and points, like, the hearts next to your name, they go up. Order up. Like Stardew Valley. Two yes, two exactly. Water. Oh, hello. Hi, here's your it's two, two side no two side talents two, and two ocean two water. She's salads. vegan. She's vegan. Sorry, I just, sorry. I got confused because the order on the screen oh. over there. There you go. Easy there's your food. Me. Two Delicious. salads Thank and you two so waters. Much. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks for choosing. I think burger you got the ocean. Stay so salty. There's no way you can look. Just is that Eli ordering a burger? Where is he? Let's go. I think he's Let's in senior buns. Is he inside? Let's what go. Let's go say I hi. I think so. That looks like Eli. Oh, there's a clown in there. There's a clown in there. Oh, which one? I don't which know. Which one they just, is it? I don't there know. There are they... some I'm okay with now. Uh... Um, I've been doing exposure therapy with Twinkles. 
it wasn't Twinkles. I, um, it might have been Stumbles, I think. I'm not. I'm not very. Oh, I don't know many of the clowns. I, Stumbles and I are on good terms. Okay, I, I'm not 100 percent sure though. Okay. Hey Eli. Jesus hey Eli. What did I scare you? Jeez, everybody's been telling me they're scared of me lately. No, no, no. I don't think you're scary. Scary really? You don't think I'm scary? I don't think so. You've always been nice My to me. My sister said I'm scary and that they're scared of Wait, me. Wait, Max. <laughs> hey, Eli. Wait, your suit. Where did it? I'm Wait. trying some different looks. Oh, Being a bit shit. more casual. Wait. I love this look. It's awesome. Yeah, this is it's a really thank cute you. sweater. Good, man. You know, Wait, trying you to see be a bit more fresh. Get the chain from the same place as me? I think so, yes. Oh, Wait, do we look? How Eli, are you gonna okay, try to pants. dress up like Marty today? I am. Do you want to go? Did you want to go to the clothing store, January? Yeah, order I'll come with you. Order Is six that your day. order? Uh, I am. Actually, I don't know what order. Wait, is, is there a double combo in there? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. that's mine then. Yeah, Thank you so much. I don't think there's anyone really else in here. I love, you, I, love, I love your hair, by the way. <laughs> I think he's literally just him. Ooh. Awkward! What a dick! What a dick. Damn. All my homies hate this guy. Um, that's way close. Uh, maybe, Yo, maybe. Can I get... Awkward. We have, I haven't seen you for ages. I know, it's been so long. It's been ages. Where have you been? I've been here. I don't know where you've been. Wait, you've been here? I mean, not here, here, specifically here. Oh, okay, well, so you never called around. me. Let's see, so right. school starts around. in about 20 yeah. minutes. Um, it might be awkward me going if Marty's there. When you were, you were gonna I know you're gonna hate me for this. Wounds still a bit fresh, I, I feel. I'm fine now. I lost my job, I lost my job, so... Uh, yeah, 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 I lost, uh, I lost my job, but... Hey, maybe we can still go out for that drink sometime, you know? I know, it's just, you know, you have my number, use it. Okay, I'll give you a call, I'll give you a call. Let's go, guys, let's go. Alright, let's go to the clothing store. Do you have a car? Uh, I do, oh, four minutes left. I gotta take it to Mosley's. You gotta, okay, I'll meet you at Mosley's, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I'm worried that might be a bit too fresh. Pretty damn cool, right? Oh. Did, is he renting that or is he? Hey, Nico. Yo, what are you doing next week, Max? Are you you open for Ant's event? Uh, yeah, she'll be free next week. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, hit her up. Hit her up. She's Ooh. looking to get some people. Uh, yeah, she'll give you the full rundown. Uh, it you get to pick one of the days. At most, you compete for two days. At minimum, you compete for one day. You'll be put in like teams and stuff. It's randomized. Hit her up. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna help Ooh. raise money for her um, her um, her event hall and stuff. Ooh. Also, okay, I'll, I'll let her know. What's going on with the, the casino, man? Am I still getting an interview? I need a job, Max. I need a job. Oh, I'm no longer part of it. What? What happened? Uh, it just wasn't for me. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. All right. What you up to then, big dog? I was just hanging out with my friend January. Oh, all right. Sounds good. Oh my God, there's that fucking tow truck driver. I gotta go. I gotta right. go. Bye. See you later. You know, he was, uh, he didn't rent it, but he was, he got it from Mosley's. Like, is he test driving it? Test driving, yes. He, he's that broken. Oh moment. my God. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't been banned from that place yet. <laughs> Honestly, actually, that's kind of smart to test drive, go to like somewhere quick, bring it back. You know, he, he damn well isn't going to buy that car. <laughs> He's using it as a quick ride. Uh, let's see where just over here. Do you want to go to the pay clothing ball? store? You, you uh, wanna... Sure, sure, sure. We'll go to pay ball. Yeah, let's uh, let's see all the all the options, right? Wait, January, you know Marty, all right? Yes, I know Marty. You're gonna um, have to help me. Um, I'm just trying to channel as much of Marty as I can, as I can, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. then you should um hold my hand and text me hearts and oh. um he high holds your hands. challenge yeah. me. Okay. And then you should block me. 
Oh. Okay. Sorry, you didn't see my text message just then, right? You didn't see the. Oh, I did. I did see it. You're doing uh, great. Uh, Raya, are you are you going to the class? Are, are, are you are you ready for the class today? Oh, I'm just gonna go into the clothing store and then I'm heading on over. He's yeah. in the liquid library. <laughs> um. The, the the expensive one. I'm going to the one in downtown. Oh. Ow! You Sorry. fuckers! Sorry. April, that's you. April, tell them to drive better. What the fuck? Uh, uh, don't listen to him. I was at fault there. <laughs> Yo, yo, drive, 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 Max, Max, why are you not driving? Max, why are you not driving? Got a gun. Max, I'm not driving from that. Hey, how you doing? Um, oh, I gotta go. Wait, Max. Hey, Max. Max, who's in Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Hey, who's this? Oh, hey, Apple. Long time. How you doing? Wait, doing well. How about yourself? Doing all right. Hello, Ooh, it is so happy nice to hear. Were you, were, were you the one January, January, January No, 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 that was the person in the trunk. Okay. Nice to meet you, January. My name is uh, Alan. Yeah, yeah. Alan. Alan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, half a way. Are you G checking right now? What's going on? We're friends. We're literally friends. Have you ever seen this little like chipmunk in the wild? Yeah, we met like a few days ago, man. I thought we were cool, you know? No, we are. That's what it reminds me of. Sorry, I gotta get the car before I have to get in the trunk. Oh, no worries. See you later. Put some risk for the trunk, though. Oh, there we go. My heart's in the trunk. No, no, it's not. It, that's the way it works. It's the last person in the car. See you guys later, bye. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Wait. Does he wanna? Do you need help? Are you okay, Alan? Do you need? Do you? Do you need a lift? Yeah. yeah we, we, where do you need to go? Take me to the cul-de-sac. Take me to the cul-de-sac, guys. Cul-de-sac. Uh, which cul-de-sac? The uh, uh, Grove Street. Grove Street. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure thing. Thank you so much. Uh, nice to meet you, man. I'm Eli. I don't think we've met before. Oh, nice to meet you. My name's Alan. Nice to meet Alan, you, Alan. the chipmunk. Are you yeah, British, yeah. Alan? Yeah, I am, yeah. I'm from London. Fuck yeah. Oh, shit, wait, so am I. Maybe we've walked past each other one time, you know? So am I. I doubt it, I don't know. <laughs> wait, why? <laughs> Sorry, why? You walk around Croydon often? Hey, we, wait, you're calling Croydon London? Oh, yeah, I mean, it is now. That's crazy, that's crazy. It is now. It's within, <laughs> the, M it's, it's, it's within the M25, no? <laughs> no, no, it's, you know what it is? It's when people, it's like people when they live in Kingston, you know, and they say they're in London. I'm like, well, hey, you know, maybe you are, but. You know, maybe not at the same time. Yeah, know? but like, uh, you, you, Eli, you say stop London, being a London gatekeeper. <laughs> if, if, if you live in London and you live like in the first five zones, you're too posh anyway. So, you're too, you you're too rich for my liking. Do you think some bro? What is this? Jan, you must be too rich. You, you sound rich anyway. You sound too I'm rich. From, I'm from the ends. Oh, oh, he is not rich. He is. Yeah, he's broke. I'm not broke. I'm not broke. He sounds too rich. He sounds too rich. You in? Are you in the yellow pages, by the way, man? Yeah, I'm mean, yeah. This guy sounds too rich and too posh. I'm from council <laughs> estate. This guy sounds like I'm from council yeah, estate. He's from estate, an actual like I fucking country up. estate. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm Here you go. See you later, man. Uh, you guys take it easy, man. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Take it easy. Goodbye, take it easy. Alan. Goodbye. Our clothing store. Oh my god. Oh. Raya. Oh, we're good now. Uh, luckily, I managed to blame that there was someone in the trunk, but um, someone pulled out a gun on all of us. Um, but I just made up a voice and pretended that we, we had someone in the back. Someone... Well, I started shouting at them because they hit my friend's car. You know, Max, they just sideswiped us, so... Um, yeah. It wasn't really uh, our fault, but they just pulled a gun out, you know? Well, I don't think they pulled the gun for that reason. Well... Uh, which which clothes store are we going to, Max? Uh, Paywall in uh, Legion. The Paywall near Legion. Is that, oh, that is the one you're at. Okay, see you soon. See you soon. Bye, Raya. Oh, boy, oh, boy. What an eventful start of the day, you know? Yeah, it, it sounds like oh it. Oh, my God. What are they doing? You looking forward to your classes today? Yeah, I suck at hacking, so Ooh. this should be good. Hey, yeah, I'm just how they're going to teach that. I've heard you are a little wizard at hacking, actually, from the grapevine. I am. Um, yeah, I heard you did the, uh, did the, um, which one was it? First time or something? I had like, uh, yeah. Yeah, this class is going to be a little boring for me. Oh. Clayton, Clayton. You could always help teach. I 
would love to. Sorry, man. Sorry. How? How did he rip off my door? Oh my god. <sighs> Honestly, being first person isn't bad, but I think like constant first person is a bit difficult. I've got to go. It's, it's with Marty Banks as the professor, Professor Banks. Hello, Clayton. It's so nice to meet you. January oh, sorry, yeah. Wait, I mean, January, January, January. Meet, uh, I think Jason told me about you. Oh. oh! First person driving is pretty cool, though. Sure. Yeah. It's just like when running and stuff like that it feels weird. Oh. And. Hello. Ow. Uh, I think I broke my nose. Do you like the outfit, or should I? Ooh. It looks good. Thank you. Wait, September. Wait, September. Wait, you said everyone's here. Is that you over there? Damn. No, 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 no. Hey, Lottie, hey, Amber. Oh, hey, Did you Eli. Just, I do look. I do no, look I thought. Like no, 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 other GG. No, 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 other GG. Other GG. Other GG. Triple G. January. Good morning. Damn, this place has become one of the hot spots in the city. Oh, oh, yeah. Lottie is so good at dressing herself. Actually, so cute. I want to get a picture. I think everybody is really good at dressing herself. Hey. Wow. Feeling better today after the you're being ran over yesterday? Even better if you wore the double necklace. Actually, we're good now. You actually copied the map. It's crazy. That's crazy. Wait, did... Oh wow, that is almost exactly the same as the mannequin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey Lottie. Now, uh, January, what does Marty wear? Uh, uh, a motorcycle or helmet. He wears a bunch of different things, honestly. Mm. Suits usually, right, guys? I don't know. Oh, he's clean shaven, isn't he? Shit. Ooh. Yeah, he's yeah. clean shaven. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to the barber shop. Glasses, glasses. Why are you trying to dress up like him? He's Every dressing up like dressing the professor. professor. Uh, oh, really I can't wait to see April's. Oh, April's one I've uh, been doing uh, when I haven't been awake. And let me tell you, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's a whole thing. Oh, can't wait to see that. <laughs> These are the only dark shades I can find. They look nothing like him. Look. Jesus. There's, there's plenty of shades. No, but I need dark, like, he's the dark tinted shades, right? I can't, I can't have, like, these. Oh, wait. Perfect. Yeah, there's plenty of shades to choose from. <laughs> these are perfect. Oh, there's aviators, too. Those work. Don't forget we need a beach outfit. Wait, what? We do? Yeah, it's beach day. Oh. When's the prom? Isn't there a prom? I thought it was oh, yeah. Friday. Ooh, very you know exciting. Uh -uh. I'm assuming it'd be like right after the lesson, right? Or before? Is that Triple G over there? I don't know how he's going to do a Marty look. I think he's going to dye his hair for a Marty look. Also, if he just dyes his hair, I think he's complete, basically. That's all he really needs to do. Oh. Do you all want to go together? Do, do you all want to go together? Oops, sorry. Yeah, is it the Liquid Library, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. What outfit you making, Ember? I just kind of, I'm just kind of playing around. I want to get better at dressing myself, like just in general. By the way, <laughs> hello, Max. Hey, Ember. Hope you're doing good. Thank you. What are you talking about? I love just like waking up for no reason other than to just like make some outfits funny. It is fun. You you, you can spend hours in here. Actually, hours. So many different combinations and styles. 
It sounds like he doesn't want to be alone with you. That's crazy. Even though I just want to be friends. Awkward. I don't know what goes with that top. I feel like a specific pants go with that top. It would need to be very high waisted, right? Yeah, it looks a bit awkward if you don't have high waisted. Uh, hmm. what, what, like, why would they do that? You know what I mean? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, well, y if you change your arms around, you should be fine. I, I think it's because your arms are a bit messed up. That's why it looks a bit weird with that. Yeah. Are there, um, white tucked in t-shirts? Yeah. Like, in button-ups. Uh, but like a t-shirt. Like oh, t-shirt. Ooh, I think so. Yeah. Look towards the bottom, I think there might be some. Okay. Like, in the non-base section. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, oh. Uh, so you want to choose the arms that are just the hands. Look for just the hands. Oh, there we go. You might need to sort out your legs. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Your options you have color wise. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like a skirt goes with that top, right? Yeah. Mostly than like pants or shorts. These shorts aren't too bad. Hmm. Oh, it's nice you're taking your daughter to school. Yeah. Oh, Max, are you going to school? I, I was going to see what's going on there. I don't know if I'm allowed to stay though. Because I'm not enrolled. You heading that way too? You better not be pointing at me. No, I'm gonna beat you up, bro. Don't today, freaking so point at me. Yeah. I can't be You're not for too long. Oh, understandable. Yeah, I just woke up to play around in here. <laughs> yeah, he only just to play asked dress up. Honestly, well. understandable. Yeah, they know class at the library. Yeah. I want like a comfy look. So bad at dressing comfy. Like, why are hmm. so good at that? Oh, okay. Huh? When I think comfy, I think like sweaters and stuff like that. Yeah, Lottie's so good at dressing comfy. Oh, yeah, my oh, I don't like to like show that much. Like this is the riskiest, but this no, is the Jason. So, so no, 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 oh. Jason. Yeah. I'm like that yeah. away from the city, but in the city, I like being naked. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I do, but yeah. Well, not too naked, though. Not as naked as my sister, April. Oh, yeah, yeah. He has a girlfriend. He's a little bit naked, you know? It's Wait, a platonic marriage. Gotcha. Just a little. Oh, yeah. Just a little. I'm not a cookie. Shut up. You tell him. Mm. I'm not a cookie. Yeah. You can never go wrong with the oversized sweater look. Yeah. I love a good old oversized know, sweater. To a private school in elementary uh, school for like a year, and this is kind of like what we had to wear over there. Hmm. Kind of like a well, anyways, I have to go. Um, I will comfy have to uniform. Mm. Okay. Mm. That's very definitely cozy. What? Need to sort out the G6 patches too. Shut get a better look. Up, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Th th that might help with uh, gathering the look together. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, this key. Okay. Okay. You're cooking. You're cooking. He's kind of. I mean, do I need an undershirt for this? Hmm. Hmm. Depends what you're most comfortable with. Oh. Hmm. Definitely gives a school sort of look. Yeah, I'm not really going for school. I'm looking for like more like casual comfy. Like yeah, I think it, this shirt definitely I'm looks Banks. casual comfy. Oh, damn. Right? That's that looks I'm nice. Right 
Mm. Hey, does anyone have any food and water? Uh, I got some spare. I actually have food. Oh, do you need some water? Right, I mean, I have water. I need water. <laughs> <laughs> you need food. You need food. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. There you go. Thank you so much. Okay, no I'm going to go. Does anyone class. want to ride with me? Go. Oh, yes, Do you want to ride? Let's go. Uh, Max, are you going to come? I, yeah, I'll say I can stop by. Okay. Oh, thank you. Have a good Make dance. a lot of money. Thank you. I will. Let's go. I'll probably head with them. I'll catch you in a bit, Amber. If you need a ride, let me know. Okay, bye, Max. See you. Have fun. Have fun. You just heading to the library? I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Liquid library! Liquid library! Liquid library! Liquid library. Liquid library. Liquid library. Liquid library. Go, we gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> Damn it, they ruined my door. I got two minutes. We'll see if we can sit in on, in on it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. No harm done if I'm not allowed to. Let's go, go, go. I think I might mess around with the sewer map off stream a little bit. See if I can get like a good style going. I think once I get a good style idea, it'll be good from there. I just need that good idea. I gotta mess around and see what settings are available in Photoshop. Having that baseline is gonna be like really handy to have. I actually thought that was Professor Banks. I'm going <laughs> to... Professor. He's good at this. He definitely nailed the look. Stop! Stop! <laughs> oh my god, is this Marty Banks, the professor? Wow. Oh my god, I heard you're a legend. Hey, Marty. It's your girl, April. What are you two doing? Uh, students, staff start filing. Uh, it's upstairs. It's Marty. You... <laughs> <laughs> hey April. What? Hey Max, it's your girl April. Oh my god, I can't believe I just held hands with Eli. I'm yeah, do, do you need I, some sanitizer? Uh, it's coming up. Oh, it's coming up. Uh, okay, okay, careful. There is a bathroom upstairs if you need it. Uh, oh god. Okay, okay. Let me hold your hair. There we go. Let it all out. Let it all out. Uh, I got, there, there you go. Uh, 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 I don't okay, blame none of the you. Students saw this, right? Y yeah, no, you, you're good. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 no, think... you're good. You're good. Oh. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, hey, you Swan. You didn't see anything, did you, Swan? She didn't see anything. Ah. Are these your friends? Also, I like to say that, but I don't think I can forget anything about you. Oh my God, she's so cool. cool. What the fuck? Do you want to introduce me to your friends? Do you know if I can sit in on it, or is it like a thing that? Do you um, think I'd be allowed to sit in? Well, I mean, you can definitely sit in on my class. I'm not sure okay. about this one. Maybe you can ask Mickey. Yeah. Oh, teach. Uh, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure you'll, about, you'll be fine. About the lesson last uh, just maybe, yesterday. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, about the lessons yesterday on the car. I uh, don't think we got finished yet. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, Can you play the music? Uh, teacher, I think I've just okay oh, my shoulder. Slut for you? Yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 you wanted I me to I'm... finish it. Mm -hmm. Maybe after class Shut up! Oh, sorry. Oh, close your arm. What do you mean you dis- Ooh. I'm not a My medic. My son has dislocated his shoulder. Ooh. Can someone help? Yeah. Um. Oh, God. All right. What do I do? It looks just, frozen just, and split oh, in right, place. That is really out of the socket. That is gross. <laughs> yeah, it's so much. Ooh. Okay, thank you. That does not look <laughs> nice. Sorry, I'm a doc. Yes, I'm texting me. Okay, bye bye. I'm right Enjoy here. Enjoy class. Late. Yeah, uh, no, you're really late. You're, you're all late. Time. You're all late. Everybody uh, come in. Everybody come in. You're all late. Sorry. Have a great day, son. You're all late. Come on in. Oh, they grow up so fast. Stay upstairs. Go. You're all late. 
How late is it? Who are we missing? Go to the classroom. Outfits for Friday. Oh, right, of course. Hey, Brackus. Hey, Max. Okay. Uh, hi, Mo uh, ex Mom. Uh, Over here, guys, uh -oh. to the door to the left. They're going. Oh, they're using the. Well, I'm kicked out of the. Well, I gotcha. Got okay. Here. I might leave them to it, to be honest. I, I might watch sitting on April's. It just feels a bit awkward with the Marty stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Like I said, I literally quit from the casino yesterday. I think it might just be a little bit too soon. But for um, guardians are uh should be yeah I think official guardians. Met face to face after the fact. Well, not really. I I briefly saw him in the car and that was it. We didn't even really have much of a conversation. Just I put the stuff in. Of course, of course. Chaperone, exactly. Yep, that'll be Friday after Miss Fuse's class. Sounds good. Yeah, I think maybe we'll sit in on the April one instead. Dragon, dragon. Nerd. Fuck you. Is that pigeon? Yo, what's good, Bucky? Yeah. Let me know when you get your hands on some real American muscle. Bitch. Yeah, 144. No, you dumb bitch. I mean, it went One, pretty four, all right, four. but it just still feels a little bit you awkward, times you know? the number off of the tick. What? Okay, did you do it? It wasn't six, really six, much eight. of a conversation with the okay, nice. breaking Done. up anyway. Done, then. Yeah, like I said, I texted I him shit. about me quitting. He called up to grab the key, and that was kind of it. Okay, beautiful, yeah. I might need to get two more, but we'll see. All right. All right, Floki, I love you. All right. All right, same as. All right, cool. I'll catch you in a bit. All right, I love you. All right, bye. Oh, over here, Pigeon. Max, what's going on, brother? Hey, Pigeon. Looking. Hey, Ryan. Wow, you look it. You look in. Uh... You're looking something. Yeah. Trying some different styles, you know, trying to be a bit more casual. I see. I'm, lo I'm loving the VVS chains on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you. You look at you guys. Sexy. Breckers is calling me. What? I'm here. Dragon? I'm here, I'm here Breckers. Oh, thank you. Thank over here, uh, Pigeon. Wait, this your car? Hey, G man. Yeah. Hey. How you doing? Man. Are you part of the class too? Uh, no, I, I was just uh, tagging along. Yeah, just see what's oh. going on. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why it just doesn't feel you with it, seeing you with a chain. Hey, G, your car I'm is ugly. I'm just trying some more casual looks, Sorry? you know? Pigeon? Hey. hey. What are you up to, Pigeon? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Everyone always says it looks weird with me in a chain. It's always the chain. Do you think the outfit would look better without the chain, or is it just? No, no. It just feels. Doesn't feel like it's you with the I chain. Mean, it's because I, I yeah. used to always only wear suits. You know, I got to try yeah, some other looks. I know, that, which is why it's just. Uh, yeah, the chain's kind of weird me out. It doesn't fit yeah. you. I'm just trying to be casual. I mean, casual, yeah. Maybe I'll try it without uh, the chain, see what it looks like. Am I blind? Like, it feels yeah, weird for like, me to wear a chain like that. I just like, wanted some you're trying, you're trying to be chill, but then you're also trying to slide into somebody's DMs, and uh, it's probably your friend's girlfriend. I have been called a fuckboy like five separate times. Yeah, you'd be rubbing your yeah. hands together and being yeah. like, ha ha, what's up, baby? Ha ha ha, where my hug at? Oh, I was literally just Bite about slip. to say that. Where my hug at? Bite slip, does, does nah. that little stupid little eye. Squeeze thing. Don't you're die. Uh -huh. You're so sexy. You're gonna you're gonna go uh -huh. call people uh -huh. baby girl like Hazel does. Does he yeah, do that? What's going on, baby I think girl? He, I forgot. Uh -huh. he, he did it to someone. I forgot. You should smile more. September. Uh -huh. <laughs> he called September baby girl. Yeah. Okay. In return, it she called him baby boy, and it felt <laughs> very funny. Honestly, best response you can say to that.
Hayes L just continues. Yeah. I mean, you can try, like, drop in your voice a couple octaves, see how it goes. Yeah. I, uh, like, hey, girl. Hey. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey girl. girl uh, where my hug at? I just woke up. <laughs> Damn, did you fall from heaven? Haha. <laughs> you want to play some Valorant? We'll play some Valorant later. <laughs> yeah. Wanna be my support? I wanna yeah. play some I, Sage. You be my I be what am I hearing, Gorion? I don't know who Sage is. What? What? Mind, Mind your own business. Mind your own business. <laughs> We're doing Gorion. something God over damn. here. Sorry, sorry, just, you know, you got me acting up. Yo, yeah, hold on, Pigeon, wait, hold on, let me try it. Yeah, we're talking about the vibes Max gives off with his chain on. Oh, I see. Yeah, it looks very, it looks very, uh, he looks, he, he looks good, he looks good. I, I, I think I need to try it without the chain. How do you feel about this? Yeah, I think it's the chain. Hey, yeah. 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 yeah, baby girl, Jay, you want to play some Sage. I don't know that, I've what never played the album before. What's going on? I'll be Pharaoh, you'll be Mercy. That's the same you can, combo. You can, Is it really you can the be same combo? Stage. Yes. Uh, fair enough. Oh, I, I, I get it. Fair, fair, uh, fair, if the fair world enough. was ending, you'd come over, right? If the world is ending, yeah. would you still play Overwatch 2 yeah. PvE with me? That doesn't exist. That, that got discontinued. Yeah, that got discontinued. They made oh, a whole other yeah. game for nothing. <laughs> Yeah, any player who plays Overwatch is fucking delusional. Yeah, also, Holy shit. Yeah. Did you hate us, Lala? Huh? Wait, what? You hate us or something? Huh? Wait, what? I hate you. Don't hang out with us anymore, huh? Oh, I'd love to hang out with you guys. Yeah, sure. I appreciate you, bro. What? Where are you? I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know what you guys do, but I, I'm doing different things these days now. So maybe we can do more things together. Yeah. Ever since hey, you put on that chain, you've been acting different. I'm a criminal now. What did you do? <laughs> Nothing yet, but the plans are there. Oh. Okay, never mind. So, pending. Take, take my pending. offer back. Wait, what gonna, was your offer? What was the offer? I was just going to say a new clerk position for this time slot is ah. opening up soon. Yeah, no, I'm kind of... <laughs> my, my, my proposal got denied because my name was on it, so I'm kind of done with the business world. Oh, yeah, heard, heard about that. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the business world's for me anymore. I I spent most of my day in the sewers today. Gross. I'm trying to map it out. You too. Oh. Oh, I did that. Yeah. If you if you want the map, unless you want to do it yourself. I'm doing it myself because it's a way to pass the time till I'm more acclimated. Oh yeah. I gotcha. Yeah, I'm having fun with it. I've got all the paths from every entrance to the center now. Now I've got to do like the connecting paths between them all. Yeah. And then you like key points, stuff like that. How does landmarks. you map it? Yeah, landmarks. I used a D D mapper. Oh, that's smart. I was going to base it off the London Underground map. That's a good way to do it too. Yeah. And let's see what I can make with it. How, how did you do it though? Because the way that I'm doing it, I'm like, you know, on the GPS, you can do the points of interest. Yeah. I've been using that to like, you know, at every door to map what each door is. And then, like, overlaying it with other ones so I can see the path. I don't know. It, it was pretty easy with 5x5 five five squares. You know what I mean? In, in, oh, or, smart. Like, D &D. It's and then fun, with cur with a lot of There's a lot of curves in there, so I just made it, like, just sharp right turns. Got you. Okay. Honestly, I'd love to get your map so I can, like, compare it to mine. Yeah, let me know when you want it. I can just give it to you real, real oh, yeah, quick. you just send it to me. Like I said, I've got the main part done that I wanted to do myself. Which is, you know, the paths. Hmm. Fuck. But yes, I would love to hang out with you guys more. Yeah. I don't do anything cool or fun or interesting. I'm alone all by myself all the time. See, that's why I decided to become a criminal because I was tired of doing that. Yeah, all my friends are criminals. It's fun oh being a criminal. I opened... What did you open? Nothing. Ooh. I saw through your eyes for a brief second when I was trying to message you. An email. Damn. You saw through my eyes? Yeah. 
Realize, realize, realize. I, said, I emailed it to you. Oh, I see. Yeah. That looks very different to what I've got right now. Cool looking though, right? Very much so. Oh, that's actually... Yeah, no, that looks really good. Yeah. And then I, I couldn't make it a little fancy and prettier okay, with I the labels, wood. but I got lazy. Yeah, you owe me wood, bitch. It's right here. That, Barry. Hey. You don't Whoa, use that fucking pigeon. language for We know where you live. We know where you live. It's Wait, outside. Is it that simple? Oh, really? Pushes you out door. His looks ah, actually really cool. What are you doing? Stomp. Drunk, Hurry yeah. on. Because his is like whoa, 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 what it whoa, looks no, like. No, 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 no. Whoa. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, yo. No, no. Damn. Okay. Damn, you got it like that. Oh, I'm making something. Let me tell you. I'm making something. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, I wonder what. This is what uh, his looks like, clothes don't know. Is he, get out of the car. He, like, he like does the shapes and everything. Is it really that simple? Like, look at it like this. It looks a lot less complicated than what I thought it was going to be. So, what, what, do you have like a first time thing? First time thing? Like you, you got a plan for it. Like what? What do you to mean? Pop, to, pop, to pop your cherry. Oh, um, I thought we were still on the fuck boy thing. Oh, okay. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, that's, about, oh, that's bad that related to that. Well. Yeah. I guess it also worked. I want to get into the shine. It's what the I used to do back in the day. <laughs> but telling you, I did do crime back in the day. I just never got caught for it. Nice. There's weed all over. Our... Well, no, that was a different thing. I, that totally doesn't count because I didn't really do anything cool there. I just said, yeah, okay. You said, you just plants. But I used to be the main moonshiner for the HOA for like a solid year. Now I want to get back into it. Yeah, it's good. It's really good money. Just, you yeah. know, uh, do you plan on pushing it yourself or no? Uh, potentially. Just telling you now is stupid crazy hard. Really? Yep, the Ooh. pushing part, not the cooking part. Yeah, what do I need to know about the cooking part? Like, I heard that they explode sometimes. Uh, not for a while. Not for a while, okay. Best, of, best I can say is just pay attention to how many you do and uh, just keep check your sills for any cracks or anything. Got you, okay. And PD don't respond to it, like they don't know when you're not cooking. Not cooking, no. Okay. As long as you have a, like, a very well-hidden spot. Okay, so ideally, like, up north then. Or the sewers? Cause I see a lot in the sewers. Yeah, but, uh... I don't like how easily reachable people can get it. That's understandable. I've got a few ideas where I can put it. Cause the more it's used, the more it starts to, like, break down. Got you, and then if someone, like, uses it without you knowing and... Yeah, and then you're kinda yeah. out on two grand. Got you, okay. Ooh. Or someone else can break it. Just because they feel like it. Yeah. Be dicks. Typically people don't, but it's, it's still just that chance. The worry of it, and there's 2k down the, gr uh, down the drain. Okay, I've got a few spots I, I know of I could use. Hey, only one still per person too, right? Be fucking me. What is wrong with him? I don't is, know. Is he like okay? I, is he? I ever? don't know. He's never been okay. Yeah. I, I think that's just pigeon. He's you turning. I think. Is that him? No. Uh, what was the question? Uh, it's only one per person, right? What do you mean? Still. The the, the stills. Like you can buy as many as you want. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it just ha you have to, like, wait a while. Because he has to, like, build a new one. Got you, okay. We could probably get two to three a day. And they last a long-ass time, so uh, you shouldn't have a problem if it's just you. Okay, just gotta find a good spot for it. 
Ideally up north, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. If it's hard to reach, the likelihood of you it being found is almost impossible because people are lazy. That is very true. Hmm. What do you think is happening over there? I don't know. They in the wear, are they in like suits and masks? Yeah. Is that Osvaldo? Hmm. Can't tell. I don't have my camera anymore. I don't think so. 38,500. I can do that. I can do 38,500. Hey, are you being hounded by two people in white suits? They're your friends? Oh. So it was Osvaldo. Sourdough McGee? That sounds like a very real name. Finger. They just gave us the middle finger. Damn. That's hard. Ooh, bread? Oh, hell yeah. All right. Thought you were getting robbed or something. I love the idea of hanging out with the guild mall. That's Pred? Back in no, the day... Pred. They're Pred. the gang that Max is most likely, if given the offer to, would Why are they recording us? Camera. Anyone got a camera to record them back with? Okay, no, I I'm going to hang up now. My name is Jeff. <laughs> nice one. My wife, am I right? Uh, apparently, Pumper and Nickel wants to wear my face. Oh. Huh. Are they going to kill Osvaldo? Maybe. Hmm. It's Pumpernickel and Sour McDough or something. Sour McDough? Stupid ass names of those. And they keep giving him bread. Huh. He's probably going to die. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. Oh well. That sounds like the start of a murder mystery. I could watch like a video essay about it. So what are you about to do right now, Slutler? Uh, don't really know to be honest. I saw was... some weed. I did help uh, Timothy with that the other day. Oh, you can help me with that. I can help you out if you need backup. Yeah, just potentially just to take me to the hospital if I get stabbed. <laughs> Or bonked or shot. Yeah. Ooh. You know, I, I'm down to help you out with that. Oh, right, hell yeah. I think I've spent my time in the sewers for today. What, what, uh, what business were you trying to do again? The liquid library. Oh. Yeah. They yeah, fucking hate me. They fucking they hate, hate me. You. They hate you. They hate me. Yeah, they were like, Max, do something else, man. So I'm gonna do something else. Yeah, I'm gonna do something else. Crime. Damn. That's kind of hard. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Hey, I'm gonna sit in the car for a second. All right. All right. Now that you're free, elf, uh, what no. are you going to do now? No clue. You're a free elf? Yeah, I'm a free elf. You gave him a sock? Oh, you got the sock on no. your head. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm not a hostage anymore. My, uh... You were taken <laughs> hostage? To be my, fair, my, he did it to my himself. My caretaker let me out. Is this like a... Like a mommy thing? No. Oh. That, no. That'd be, that'd be like a Danny thing. Yeah, I was gonna say that sounds pretty Danny. May she rest in peace. R.I.P. R.I.P. She's dead? Probably. Yeah, probably. Like Lando. Yeah. Yeah. If, if people aren't in town for three days, they're dead. That's True. the rule. 
Rest in peace, Sis Volker. You know if uh, Fanny's around, Lorian? Uh, I don't know. Remember? No. I don't think I did so. I wanted to see if she would take more. There. Thank you. Do you still have your Glendale, or is it different now? I uh, repainted it. It's now black and gold. You know, trying to different style with it. The, the, the yellow just wasn't it anymore since I don't do tax anymore. It's a solid 150, though. It hits 150? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, these Glendales are pretty good. Does it still drive as well? Yeah, it drives pretty solid. It, it's a little slow to start Why the fuck is every up. rental better than my car? Do you want to give it a go? I'm just, I'm just upset at how shitty my car is. <laughs> how much was your car? Oh, that was the, uh... It was 150, now it's 25 grand. Really? Yep. Oh, yep. that sucks. Yeah. And it changed completely. It's basically a whole different car from what you bought. Yep, so I'm suing the government for it. Yeah, understandable. God damn, that, that sucks. Chunk shack. I think you got like a rock and a tape in there. Yeah. I kind of want to check in. I want to I want to listen to see if the lesson. I want to see what the lesson. I think they're like. using the TV. It's it's not hacking. Apparently. Oh. I don't know how they're gonna teach that though. Aren't there a shit ton of students too? I think it's like ten, plus extra sitting in. I, I, I think it's a cool concept, but I wasn't going to pay 60k to join it. Yeah, no, fuck it. Hell no. That's like my entire bank account. Hell no. That's crazy. Is is Grime still fucked or no? Uh, Timothy tried it earlier. Apparently, it's the same, but it's more accurate now. Like before, oh. it sometimes pay you a little bit more than what you're supposed to, but now it's like a lot more accurate. Kenny only got paid one grand for doing a full packer. Yeah, was that before Storm or? It was a storm before this. Yeah, so I, I I think it was broken then. At one point, if it was like that, I definitely would probably be quitting grime altogether. Yeah. That, that's just not worth the time investment. I, I bought my car. What do you mean you bought your car? Is it the Dominator? Did you just lockpick this? Yeah. Badass. It's a sequential. Is it the same right, as Diesel's car? That's different. No, Whoa! his is a dominator. This is the gauntlet. Oh. Well, my car couldn't do that. You know, when you need the uh, the backup, let me know. I'm not really doing much at the moment. All right, I, I might do that. I just need to get the stuff. Yeah. Got I need to head to the bank anyway just to get some stuff sorted. All right. I'll, I'll have to go up to Palito and Ooh. come back. All right. W when you're back, just let me know. All righty. Alright, catch you guys in a bit. Later. Later. Nice. We'll chill with the guild for a bit. But everyone's in class. The Max has always vibe really well with the guild. I said, definitely the gang that he'd be most close to joining, if any gang in the city. Mainly because they're not really like a gang. They're still their individuals within the gang. Whereas a lot of the time when you're in a gang, you kind of have to be part of the collective. I said, you know, uh... God damn it, that's smash. God damn it. Like, you know, when you're in a gang, your decisions are the gang's decisions and vice versa. But they were a lot more about being independent, still being their own people. And not being too worried about telling someone when they're stupid. Which is always important. Who knows, maybe that's where Max's future lies. See how things go though. I'm not like rushing for Max. You know, he only just 
decided to go down the criminal route. He's not going to be rushing to join any gang or anything. Just that they would be the one that he'd most likely choose if given the option. Let's see, what bank do we go to? Uh, this bank's open, right? No G6 is getting robbed here just yet. Let's transfer that money over to Jack so we can get the furniture sorted. Boom. It's going to be most of our bank account, but that's fine. I want us to have a nice place to live. Thirty-nine forty-two. See transfer. Wait, how much did he want again? How much was it? Thirty-eight thousand five hundred. God, that really is all of our bank. Maybe January will want to go in some runs later. Takes us down to 16,000. Oof. But that's the last payment that we need to do on the house. Last cost for the house. Oh, have a good sleep, dragon. Boom. Oh, so like I said, it feels really nice being free on Max in some way. Like in, in that instance with the guild, I can actually go hang out with them. Before, I'd be worried about being caught, you know, for a felony or something. But I can just say yes to opportunities like that. That's the issue with being a civilian sometimes. You kind of have to leave those opportunities behind. Not just kind of go with the flow, go with what's ever going on. You have to be a lot more conscious about everything that you do. We're free now, though. I'm excited to see where we go. I think this is a, it's an opportunity to play Max a bit differently than I have before. Develop his character more. Outside of just being the clean civilian guy. Which is kind of what he was known as before. Just the clean civilian guy. The civilian, some may say. I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, probably won't be, you know, doing any big crimes to begin with. I said we haven't really even got into crime just yet. Boom. Let's see. The sewer stuff's kind of cool, though. I said, I think my map's going to be very different to Glorion's map. I said, his is based around D&D &D and being, like, a lot more accurate in terms of, like, the look of it. Mine is more about the roots more so than the look of it. His looks really sick. I do love the fact that it's actually, like, detailed to how it looks in the sewers. I probably use a lot of his stuff as reference points. But, you know, still make my one my own one. The idea of what I want to do with mine is... If you're in the center, you're able to overlay it on your map and you'll be able to tell where you are. That's what I want to do. Basically, if you know where the center is, you know where you are. Based on, like, the GPS positioning. Also, actually, hold on, I'm curious. Where is the center? So the center is right by the fire station. Got you, okay. So that's where the center is next to the... In reference to the map above. 
That is good to know. I had information before that it's directly under the pawn shop, and it is, but it's not like directly, directly under. It's more the pawn shop is on the side of it. Oh, sorry, the pawn shop is along the side of it. Let's get this over to the house real quick. All good, all good. I don't know what that noise is. Every time I press the acceleration. It makes like a weird mechanical clunking noise. I don't know what that is. Is it still... You guys hear that? Maybe when the engine's turned off, it's still going. What is that? I've got no clue what that is. Going back was the same. Oh, is it like the gear shifting, maybe? Oh, it's probably due with the gear shifting. That kind of makes sense. Oh, also orders ready in 15. Nice. Might be able to get the house fully furnished tonight. Very nice. That way the girls can, can, ho can come home to a lovely new spot. Lovely new home. Easy. I think the bedroom is going to be the biggest thing. Very nice. You know, the, the bedroom's gonna look a huge improvement. Like, going from this... ...to this. I mean, it's not like a, you know, big difference, but I think it, it, it's noticeably different. I think it's different. Get that, plus we got the little board up here to complete up. That little sideboard here is going to be complete. Interesting how much storage is in there. I, I love this new area, personally. I think this area here looks a lot better now. Feels a lot more usable than it did before. I look forward to seeing what we look sitting down in it when we're not in first person view. You know, it's all coming together really nicely. We've got a really nice place to live. It'd be a shame once everyone leaves the house, of course. Hashtag girl's house is crumbling. I think if we were to improve anything, maybe we'd improve these chairs. The, I feel like these chairs look a little bit out of place. But for the, for the most part, it still looks all right. They can actually sit down here. Sit down like here. Got a nice little champagne. Got a nice little bouquet of flowers. Ah. Do love this. Very nice home that we have. And it's only going to get better. I think once we are done with this, the next goal will probably be to expand this room. Like, the more GPU racks we can get, the better. At the moment, we only have one GPU. In this year, I was just kind of leaving this to Kitty, but I think we're going to start investing our own money into it, too. Maybe not for a while, since we kind of need to build our bank account up a little bit. We've been spending a lot of money on furniture recently.
So maybe it'll be good if we can maybe save up our money. You know, finally get our money up just a tad bit. Not like we're really saving up for much. I like that we kind of abandoned the idea of saving up money for a car because those restocks are like never going to happen. There's no point saving money for a restock when you know it's never going to happen. And if it does happen, there's a good chance, one, you're not going to be there. Two, your car might not be restocked. Like, oh, the car that we were initially saving up for hasn't even come back in stock yet. And I'm not, I'm probably not going to go for that one anymore either. Let's see, how's this looking? Yeah, I really want to see how much moonshine weighs because this could be a really good place to organize the moonshine. We also still need to get some people down here for the sanitation. But I think these bags go away over time. Because we used to have a bunch in here that aren't here anymore. So I think they just kind of disappear over time. And it should be less of an issue now that we have more storage. Well, hopefully it would be anyway. I don't know how the mechanics fully work with that, but I'm assuming it'd be better. See, I think we need to store in here. We probably should store the crowbar for now. Since we're not actively using it. There we go. Oh, let me just... I've got some stuff to go throw in the garbage too. So just waiting for the to get back to us right now. Hopefully get that furniture soon. Dump that there. Anything else we need to chuck away? Don't really need sharp stick right now. That's something we can maybe get in the future. Bandages. Keep the bandages for now. Those are going to be handy for the sewers. May need to spend some more time in there later just so I can get more acclimated. Soon we'll be fully acclimated. I think from what we're being told by Fifi, when it comes to the acclimation of the sewers, as long as you spend, like once you're fully acclimated, as long as you spend at least maybe, I think an hour in the sewers every day, you're able to keep up being full. Like compared to how much you lose when you're above ground essentially. Because the more time I spend above ground, the... Like, um, what's it called? The less acclimated we are in the sewers. But it isn't too, too bad. Like, I don't want to spend all day, every day in the sewers, for instance. But going down there maybe once a day to get moonshine supplies, I definitely could do that. And it'll be even better if, you know, we're not getting hurt while we're down there. Again, the good thing is, though, now that we have a decent map to follow... Well, let me have a look at this one again. So, looking at the one that was sent to us by Glorion, where's the Grove Street? So, this is where we are right now. So, just go out. It's just basically a straight shot, isn't it? Wait, is it a straight shot? Oh, it's because mine's at an angle, that's why. Got you, okay. Interesting, the, like, points that he's got. Row Lowenstein south side. That's the south side one. Ping pong. Campfire. Big Y. Little big corn. His map is pretty solid, though. Now, in terms of accuracy, his is going to be a lot better than mine. I think I'm going to be sacrificing accuracy for style with mine. Again, going more for, like, London Underground more than anything else. Color-coded routes and everything. 
But the sewer system is a lot less complicated than I initially thought. Which makes you think that mapping is going to be pretty easy. Because I guess the next goal that we'd probably look to do is mapping out from the outside of each point to each point. Like, no, we've done the mapping from, say, center point over to the exit. Now we need from exit to exit. And then from there, maybe, like, the in-betweens here, too. Then, you know, proper ways that we can detail, like, okay, you go through this route, okay, you go through this route. Because these little intertwining parts here get very confusing. Hmm. Okay, yeah, no, that, that's pretty solid. This is good to base off, though. Like, this is probably pretty handy for, like, labeling where points of interest are. Like you said, the ping pong area, the food and drink areas, too. Those can be handy in a pinch, I think. Like, knowing where we, you can just quickly grab some food is going to be super handy. Then again, I hear that they survive on rats down there. So rats seems to be the primary thing anyway. Doesn't hurt knowing... The information will always be handy. Alright, let's see. I would say, first person definitely hasn't been as hard as I thought it was going to be. Driving especially. Driving was a lot simpler than what I thought it was going to be. I think it probably would be different if we were doing grime runs, though. Grime runs are going to be, like, would be really difficult to do in first person. I don't think I'd have the mental fortitude for that. Because it definitely seems they'd be a bit of a pain. The classes are going fun though. I, I think I would have tried to sit in if it wasn't Marty's class. The, the fact that it was Marty's class, I think, just made it a little bit too awkward. I might see if I can sit in tomorrow and Friday though. Definitely April's class I'm going to try and sit on because I think that'll be fun to see. Even if it's just to see what Eli's look's going to be. I'm very curious to see what sort of style that Eli's going to go for. Since he's dressing up as the professor's. I want to see what he's cooked up. If he's trying to use the... Because he has a drag outfit, so I don't know if he's just going to go for that. Or if he's going to try and like... I don't even know what he could do to look like April. I guess it kind of depends what sort of style of April he's going for. I guess we'll be quite dependent on that. Fly high Freya. <laughs> Ah, it is nice to see the liquid library being used. I will say, it definitely isn't a bad thing that the liquid library's gone state-owned. Because, like, the fact that people can easily access these areas and not have to worry about it is good. But that is the angle we're going to go with the liquid library anyway, so... It's just such a beautiful building. I, I'm happy that it's not going to waste. Like, it's too good of a building for it to go to waste. Like, design-wise, style-wise, it's just all so good. Dark did an amazing job with it. I still want to try and use it when I can, too. Like, having, you know, meetings, stuff like that. I need to use the office. That office will, no matter whether or not, like, we own the liquid library, that office is our office. 
and it will always be our office no one can take that away from us we earned that office with our blood sweat and tears and a lot of patience too a lot of standing around and just kind of waiting for the most part but we definitely earned it let's see hopefully kettleman's be free soon i just want to get this place fully decorated oh hold on nope there we go i mean it won't be a huge difference biggest difference obviously being the um the bedroom oh is that us that was nice I mean, this area is going to feel a little bit more complete too, because it does feel a bit empty. I said the area that probably feels the emptiest is like this little patch of floor here. Like getting a cute little carpet here would be nice, but I don't know. Nothing big. You, just like a little circular carpet would look cute here. Like I guess is isn't too bad. I do wish there's more options when it came to rugs and stuff. I feel like the options are quite limited. Like, these ones are nice, but I hate how, like, pointed they are. Like, they're too square, you know? Doesn't look right to me. It's too square. Also, while we have time, I actually might check something. The high-quality sideboards, how do they look? Because we've got that one there, but I want to see what the other styles are, too. Sideboards, high quality. I think a lot of them are going to be like rich apartment ones. Cabinet, dressing table, side unit. Yeah, a lot of these looking the way that I thought they are going to look. Anything that really stands out though? What's this? Oh, that's a TV unit. File cabinet. Damn. That's a big TV unit. Would that really fit there? Yeah. Hold on a minute. Let me try something. Would this look good there? Definitely looks rich. 100% looks rich. What if we were to replace that? Hmm. Honestly, could fit. Ooh. I won't lie. I kind of like that. Is it too much? It could be too much, though. Hmm. Does it fit, like, the rest of the style of the room? I mean, it kind of does. Only clips just a little bit in there. Oh, hold on. Is it too close to the wall? The fact that it's glitching in and out actually has me a bit worried. Yeah, it might be too close to the wall, unfortunately. I do kind of like that, though. Well, let me try and make this a bit more even. And even. Hmm. See, now I'm kind of tempted to get that. <laughs> Maybe when we pick up the order, I'll ask him how much the high-quality sideboards cost, because I kind of like that. Let me place that for now. I feel like it blends in the room and doesn't really get in the way either. 
My only concern is that does it disappear when you get too close? It doesn't seem to. Obviously, we'd have to get rid of the TV that's already there too. Which is fine. TVs are pretty cheap. Hmm. Okay, let me say for now. Yeah, that does look good. Oh, let me text him. Be possible. Yeah, I kind of like that because that kind of fills in the area a little bit more too. Makes it feel a little bit less blank, which it kind of does at the moment. See, everyone saves up their money to buy fast, expensive cars to do crime. 7,500. That's, again, half our bank account. Gonna have to do a lot of griming off stream. <laughs> but you know what? I just want the house to feel complete. I'll be happy once we've got a full house to live in. Okay, all good, all good. Uh, let's go get this. Uh, nearest bank, nearest bank. Let's head Legion Bank. Actually, I'm going to head to the Bay City because I need to collect my paycheck too. We're now getting to a point where every little helps, so. It's one of the subathon goals. It's first person only. Initially, it was only for an hour, but I thought it would be more fun to do it for the entire day. It's been interesting. Not something I'd do very often, though. But definitely has been a bit of an experience. The driving is like the one that I was most surprised about. It really isn't that difficult. I think high speeds driving probably, but the way that we drive suits it pretty well. Makes it a lot easier. Only annoying thing is all those noises. I hate those little like, I don't know if it's like gear shifting or something. But like that weird thud noise really irks me. As January, as January would say, it's an ick. Boom. Yeah, it's the car. It's whenever I like go press the forward button or the backwards button. It's weird. Cash our paycheck. 1,600, but that's fine. It... Better than nothing. Boom. My fault, my fault. That's all good. Was it 7,500? Or 7,600. I do have YouTube. It's a link below. 
Synthetics 500. Both the VOD and Irregular. I don't really upload much to the regular these days. Would like to get oh, back in yeah, heaven. Oh yeah, I can do my money dance. Okay, okay, yeah. 1,500. Always you. good to get your money up. Yes, sir. Hey, have a good one, player. I like that ice. Oh, appreciate it. There we go. Money sent over. Oof, down to 10,000. In sent. You know, when it comes to the main YouTube channel, if I get back into variety at some point, I definitely would like to upload more there. It's just when it comes to GTRP, it's very difficult to make YouTube videos for GTRP. Especially for the way that I played it recently, or, you know, previously, is being a civilian. It doesn't translate well to YouTube content. Hey, brother. Oh, yes? Hey, you think I can get a ride to the tow yard? Uh, yeah, Somewhere sure. Close? I can Hell take it. yeah, thank you. Yeah, I was up uh, at work. Oh, man, that was loud. Ooh, where'd you work? I was up at work and uh, at the little the little fast food. Oh, senior buns. Yeah, yeah. I like to call it senorita buns, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's good to get to the bank here ever so often when doing that job, just because people do tend to rob the pay slips pretty frequently. Oh, man. I wish a motherfucker would try me, man. They'd be uh, picking themselves up off the floor. I do have to be careful. People are very, uh... Usually they don't do it by themselves. Usually they bring friends with them, so it's quite dangerous. Mm. Yeah, I know, man. I had to uh, rough a few motherfuckers up around there. Yeah, senior buns is a very interesting spot, that's for sure. Yeah, it's pretty dirty around there, I'm not gonna lie. Very much so. People, uh, it's survival of the fittest for the most part. Oh, yeah. And PD yeah, don't need you. Whether you, whether you eat the food or you're talking about, you know, just in general. Ooh, very much so. Oops, sorry, let me just take that. Nah, you good. Hello, Mr. Kettleman. Okay, Mr. Max. I have, excluding the brand new um, high quality cyborg that you just ordered, I have everything but the small, nine small decors and oh, the yeah, six like railings, which I'm currently you. building. Oh, okay. So everything else I have. So, um. Okay, am I good to meet you? You can come. Hey, yeah, you can you come do, to man. the trailer. I have all of your no stuff worries. here for you. Okay. Oh, perfect. I see you, okay. All right. I'll and then the rest of it, as soon as it's done. Um, I, I'm prioritizing your, your stuff first, so once it's done, I'll, I'll let you know. Ah, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll see you soon. Okay. Come to the trailer, not the showroom. Uh, the trailer. All right. I'll be there in just a few right. minutes. Okay. See you soon. See you soon. Hey, Stargirl. All right. Let's make our way over to doo -doo -doo. the trailer. It doesn't have everything just yet, but that's fine. So I guess once we've got this done, our grand total of money spent on the house, minus the, like, you know, the buy-in cost of 40000 that we all had to pay, I've spent a hundred and... What would that be? hundred and... 75000 $175,000 in furniture for the house. Basically, I've spent all my money on the house. For the most part. Be closest to 215 if we include the fact that I bought in the same amount as everyone else. Plus the electricity bills too. I've been paying for those. I spent a lot of money on that house. Thank God it's in my name so I never have to worry about someone yoinking it. Feels a lot more secure that way. Do do. Uh, Brackers is Mickey's assistant. Boom. And outside the trailer.
Oh, I don't know his stream, unfortunately. If you Google just um, no pixel brackets, you'll be able to find it. You'll be able to find his wiki page and then therefore his uh, stream from there. The wiki's very good at keeping up to date with things. The wiki editors are something else sometimes. Like, even if something literally just happened, they'll update it. Put it in your trunk, okay, Max? Oh, appreciate it. Look, uh, the five decor boxes. I didn't charge you for those. I don't know what that is. I, I don't have that. Oh, is it not a thing? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's I, fine. I I'll have to look in the catalog myself. So two clocks here, one vase, one rug, two candles, one high-quality cyborg, one high-quality bed. Perfect. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. So don't go yet. All righty. House is almost complete. At least we're able to finish the bedroom. The question is, do we tell people or do we let them find out themselves? Might be more fun to let them find out themselves. Just walk in on it and see it. Just happy to have a nice place to live is all. Okay, I'm putting some other stuff here that might, you know, you might need. If you don't need it, that's okay too. Oh, I appreciate some it. Window frame, some yoga mats. Oh. A few more candles. I put a box in there. See if that box is whenever you decorate it. See if that box is the one. Okay. Yeah, I'll have a look. Yeah, I just yeah. went off what was the, on the catalog list. Just the decorative boxes. Okay, I'll have to look at that myself. See if that box works, and if it does, I I can get you some more. All right, it sounds good. All right, take care, man. So you sent the money for the next uh, sideboard as well? Yep, send that over to you. Okay, I see that. Okay, I'll get, I'll get started on building that. Ah, much appreciated. All right, see you soon. I've always wanted to get into, oh God, voice work of some sort. I should never really kn know where to start with that. Though whether it be voice acting, narrating, stuff like that. Always thought it would be a fun thing to get into. I think I need to go through some proper training, though. I don't think it's really a thing you can just kind of walk into and be good at. You, you need to be trained for it. Voice control is one hell of a thing. I'd say I've got pretty decent control over my voice. It's always good to learn. Let's see, let's get this moved in. Oh. Hey, look at this. Thanks for the 56 months. Jeez Louise. That is one hell of a t long time, Lucifus. I really do appreciate the continued support that you've given. And if, as always, I hope you enjoyed the continued use of those beautiful Goblin and Max modes. Thank you so much as always. All good, all good. All good, all good. Let's go get these decorations all up. I think I'll just let the girls find out about the decorations for themselves. Maybe I'll put it on the board tomorrow, but for today I'll let them find out themselves. The fuck? There we go. Like that. Well, let me uh, get to the trunk real quick. Boom. 
Okay, let's move all this in. Alright, let's see. So, way to do this is... Okay, hold on. So, small decor we don't have just yet. That's fine, but we should be able to do... Boom. Clock. Nice. Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Usually I can move when I'm in the screen. Oh, there we go. Over here. We got high quality. Boom. High quality face. Boom. I think plant we should be able to do. Boom. Nice. See what else? What else? Do down here. So I'm going to select small bed and delete. Select this bed and build. Boom. Rug. Build. Boom. Box pile? No, it doesn't have. Oh, yeah, that's something different. That's why. Uh, display tray? No, that's valuables. Spanish box? Decorative box. Yeah, we don't have one of those. Clock. Boom. Bed pillow. Nope, that's small decor. Rubbish bed. We should be able to build that now, right? That's the one there. Boom. Nice. That's all the stuff in the closet. Candle. Candle. Handbag. Don't think we got that. Basket mess. No, can't do that. Jar. Nope. Battle chest. Guess that's a decorative box, isn't it? Uh, glass stack. I think there's kitchenware, right? We can't do kitchenware. Uh, no, again, that's decor. I think it's primarily decor that we need left, right? Where is that table? I'm trying to find out where that table is. Oh, yeah, it's that table, wasn't it? Eh, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, let me save for now. What have I got left? I've got yoga supplies. Okay, so this is all the stuff that he gave us, right? As for, as freebies. Go put those away for now. But this is our... Ah, see, that just looks so much better now. Ah, perfect. A room with space for everyone now. Kind of. Almost everyone. Boom. 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 You never know when that stuff might come in useful. We placed down the candles, didn't we? Did they give us more? Must have given us more. Ah, yeah. This feels more like a bedroom now. The rug makes it, in my opinion. You guys were right about the rug. It was a good choice. Just sleep down here now. And we've got the beautiful bed in here. For Eli and you know. Nice. That looks good. There's no clip in there. Yeah, no clip in there. That's good. And by the time they get back, I should have everything else too. We got this. What's the storage like in here? Ooh! 256 storage? That honestly isn't bad. That's some decent storage, Jesus. 
I guess it was 7,500, so that does kind of make sense, but still. Then we're going to replace this with a new TV. I think our choice of the new TV was good, because I think this looks a bit too blank at the moment. Oh, hold on. That feels really blank, that TV there right now. But with this, that looks a lot more, like, filled in. I think that looks nice. An upgraded TV system. I have to get rid of the old TV, though. Nice. Then we just got little bits of decor left that we've got to get down. Then this place will finally feel complete. Well, I mean, it feel, it's feel, felt complete for a good while now, but this will, like, be the final bit. I said the only thing I wish we had is, like, more carpet variants. Like, you know, rug variants. Like, a nice rug up here would be kind of nice. Like, just here. And, like, maybe something here, too. Though yoga mats might go pretty well there. Though that might be overcooking a bit. It would be kind of nice, though. Ooh, hold on a minute. Hold on. Don't know why I keep clipping through there. Hold on. Yoga. We've got two yoga mats we can put down. We could put them down over here. We could have like a little corner in the kitchen for yoga. Or we could put it in the center, but I feel like here it might be a bit in the way. I mean, we could like put it here. Hmm. Would it be overcooking putting it here? They like one there and then one next to it. Actually, that might not be too bad. Hold on. Boom. Copy. Then put down a blue one too. Paste. Maybe something like that? I don't think it's too, too out of place, is it? Let's give it a go. Boom. And it fills in that area just a little bit more, too. And it could cause some fun RP. Back when, you know, we first did yoga with April and Eli. Good throwback to that. Yeah, I don't think it looks too bad. It's like a living room, you know? You put your yoga mats in the living room. Worst come to worst, we could always move it. If we wanted to. But I like them. Have like little talks over here. Some people do yoga. Feels like a nice little house for us all to live in. All coming together. We put a lot of time and effort and lots and lots of money into this place, but it's finally coming together. I think the bed especially is going to be a nice thing to tie it all together. I like the bed. I think it's looking a lot more lived in. To me, the carpet really makes it down here. Who wants to bet that whoever comes down here next is going to miss it? I bet you April won't see this for days. I kind of want to leave it to see how long it takes people to notice. Rather than like, you know, go tell them right now. Ah. What a lovely place we live. And Eli's still got his own bed. Hold on. 
let me do 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 Eli's bed bed Eli's bed then put one downstairs too do do, do. the cat boy cave perfect very nice the official cat boy cave do the notes disappear they disappear on storm but that'll remain there until storm basically i don't know how often people come back to the house i feel like i probably come to the house more often than most people I come back to the house a lot throughout my day. Whether to be like check storage, you know, change laundry machine stuff, which reminds me. Let me go double check that. I feel like I probably come back here a lot more frequently than anyone else. But still. Here we go. Let's have a look-see. I think there's no more money to wash, is there? Is it possible to place yourself in the small bed? Kind of. I think you can just about do it. I think the closest you're going to get is a sit, though, rather than lie down. I'm doing good, Jordan. Been a pretty uh, useful day. <laughs> See, you know, you can... You can do this. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go third person just for a second because I want to see how this looks. Okay, you you can't really see yourself whilst in here. That's fine. <laughs> but, you know, other people will be able to see you. Perfect. Now, hold on. What other sits can I do that fit in there? Let's see. Regular sit? <laughs> oh, okay, I kind of like the regular sit. <laughs> okay, I kind of like that. Perf perfect. No, ain't a shame corner. This is for the cat boy. Well, I should probably let him know. You know, is he around? Might not be around. Oh, what other sits do we have? Got that sit. Very chill. Very chill. We've got... Again, a pretty chill sit. Nothing to lie down. Unfortunately, you can't lie down whilst in there. Let's see... Another very chill one. Scared. <laughs> Extremely chill. Probably closest you're going to get to lying down, almost. Let's see. Sit lean. Is there, like, anything lying down? I don't think there's anything where you're kind of lying down, unfortunately. Damn. You yeah, know, sitting is going to be your best option. But I'm happy to know that it at least works. Well, let me try this again. Just make sure there's no scuff with it. Can I third person it? Okay, you can't really third person it whilst you're in here. This is the best that you're going to get. <laughs> hey, it's a good place to hide if you ever need to hide, though. A good way to greet someone as they're waking up, too just be hiding in here honestly i want to give a key to you know just to see if i ever like stumble upon him in here i think it'd be kind of funny do people just stumbling upon you know just sitting in the cave i'd be willing to buy him a key just for that i trust him with it yeah i think this all looks good well let me text you know as well I've got something to show you.
April heart attack hiding that. I feel like I always surprise people just by being in the house. I feel like every time someone comes to the house, they don't seem to expect anyone else to be here. I always seem to give people jump scares whenever they see me. I'm sorry that I like coming to the house that I've spent $200,000 decorating. Yeah, I think it all looks good. Hold on, idea. I'm moving this. I'm going to move this into the Catboy Cave. But, like, not very visible in the Catboy Cave. Like, just over here. Like, you can see if you get it at the right angle. Case full of money. I'm definitely happy that we went for more, like, making this place look more like a house than, like, using it to farm crypto or something. I think we made the right choice, making this house more livable than... I mean, I guess the only downside is that it's not really useful for too many things, which I guess could be the reason why not many people stop by. But I think it's nice that we went down the route of style over usability. Well, that would need to be a discussion with everyone in the house where if they'd get keys or not. That wouldn't be our decision to make. I wouldn't be opposed to it. But also, I know January has a goal of getting her own house at some point. And she may lose that goal if we give her a key here. And at the end of the day, RP is nothing without goals. Y you kind of need those goals to drive RP. It's why I don't... It's also the reason why I gave up the idea of... You know, what was it called? Of buying a really nice car with Max's money. Is because if I was to buy an end game car like a couple months into 4.0, I feel like I'd lose a big driving factor to do things. Like money at the end of the day is a driving factor of RP. Like, you know, getting those big fancy cars, getting those big fancy houses. If you get that within like the first couple months of the server being active, you're just going to burn yourself out. Because once you, you get to a point where you just think, okay, what's next? It's nice having those things to achieve, those things to strive for. So that's why I'm happy just having the Glendale for now. Then later down the line, that'll just be a great goal of us to upgrade. Same with this house, you know. We're not going to be in this house forever. Also, I, am, I actually do love the vibe in here. I kind of want a room like this in my house. I like the LED lights. I think they're classy. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we don't plan to stay in this house forever. I know we are going to move at some point. Hopefully. Well, we'll see if the girls are still a thing at that point. Yeah, honestly, I'm debating whether or not we will sell the house fully furnished now I think about it. Because to even just make our money back, it needs to be over 200k the original price. Because that's how much money I've spent on it. So maybe it would be better to take all the furniture with us, but keep the walls. Then maybe we keep the walls like the... We give them the shell of the house, and it's up to them to fill in. I, I could still see us being able to sell for like 100 plus K more than the original price, if we do that. I think it's going to be easier to sell that way too. So people don't just start from scratch and then have to wonder what they're going to do. He's a very cozy corner to hide in. I actually kind of low-key like this. I actually love the vibe of this right now. It's so cozy. I love this. New favorite hiding talking spot. You could. I think you could fit two people in here too. Have a nice little cozy meeting. I, 
think that'd be fine. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it'd be a bit tired of a squeeze. When there's a will, there's a... Actually, hold on. Could I... Let's see, how far to the right can I get that? Sorry that I'm getting very distracted with this. If you would... Yeah, you could definitely get two people in here, I think. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. Am I lying down? Oh. Oh, God. What the hell's happening to my body? Okay, but you know, you could fit two people in here. Have like, you know, little secret meetings. So, uh, share secrets. The secret corner. Catboy Cave. Great for sharing secrets. <laughs> okay, we've got to show April this. I think April is going to love this. And Playboy Manor or Old Kingboy Man would be cool, but I don't see us getting that much money. I don't see Max being a millionaire in 4.0, to be honest. If we're not getting in the business world, I don't see us becoming, like, super-duper rich. But who knows? Maybe. I think if I was to live in a place like that, I would hope other people would pitch towards it, too. Y'all have fur jackets? I mean, it's, it's it's cozy, you know? Those won't be floating soon, by the way. One of the things I've purchased is the wrigglings, which are actually very expensive, but, you know, it makes it look nice. We could have got an alternative, but eh. I think it's fine. Now, the question is, are people going to be using this brand new fancy bed more? Or are they going to... I see more people trying to use this bed than the fancy bed, to be honest. I think this little bed here in the corner has more appeal. I don't see... I don't blame them. I actually kind of like the vibe of this little bed here. How many people... I wonder how many people we could fit in there all trying to sit down. How many people could we mash together in there? It is a lot more funny. And we got the secret money stash in there too. Max used to be rich. Yeah, he used to be an oil pumper. So he used to provide gasoline to the city, which was a decent, like, way to make money back then. Though, he didn't, he did spend a lot of his money on his friends. It's again another case of, like, I never cared about hoarding money. I'd spend money pretty frivolously. I really can't wait till we have a house meeting around here. I kind of want to use this little seating area more so than this one. I like that you can see the rest of, like, the street here. I kind of like that. Definitely got to use this more. And it's got Max's cigarettes, too. Only for recreational use. He doesn't actually smoke them. The only issue with the window right now is the fact that the top is, you know, showing. But you, you don't really see that for the most part, so it's fine. Ah, so we're just waiting on the last little pieces now. It's going to be the the decor and also... God damn it, why does this keep happening? The... AV unit. The TV unit. I actually think that TV unit really is going to look nice. It weirdly fits in, too. That the bars reach... Yeah, they just about reach to the top, too. It's perfect. This place is going to feel very complete. I hope one day we're able to put stuff actually on the TV. That'd be great. Though I know that's definitely a big ask. But th I'm thankful for the fact that the TV and the liquid library still works. It makes it usable for stuff like Ma what Marty's doing with the, the class. Because I'm assuming he's using that room for that reason. You know, once we get those last pieces, we're like... What's left? Yeah, th the last few things left on here are like... Stuff that we can't even get. Oh yeah, it's just there in the liquid library. So we've got those two being ordered. The railing and small decor. 
We've got the high quality sideboard being ordered. We gotta wait for the turbo washing machine. Purchase the crate later. Bag? I don't know about that. You know, everything's pretty much complete. Damn. Feels good. Kitchen wares we can't get either for some reason. Same with valuables. And the basic quality table is this table here, which I'm not really too fussed about getting, to be honest. I'm not all too fussed about getting that table. Especially since we have, like, this little thing over here. I, I think this was designed before we had this little thing over here. So I'm not even sure if we need that table. It kind of irks me the fact that it's not, like, perfectly symmetrical, too. That does irk me. You know, I'm probably just going to get rid of that table. I don't see any need for it. And it clips through, too. You know, be gone. There we go. That simplifies the list a little bit. Then it is just, damn, all those little items left. Ah, almost fully complete. Almost, almost, almost. I think that bag is this bag here. Yeah, that's that bag. Then the small decor. Oh, no, those are the decorative boxes. Yeah, we don't know anything about those, unfortunately. Decorative box, decorative box. Assuming that's small decor. Yeah, there was small decor. Where are the other decorative boxes? I'm assuming those downstairs, right? Yeah, I think these are like decorative boxes over here. Like that one. Nope, cleaning supplies. It's probably somewhere around here. <sighs> very nice. Very, very, very nice. Alrighty, well, it's probably going to take a little bit for Kettleman to get back to me, so I think I might just call it there for tonight. It was a pretty productive stream. I'm actually kind of happy with that. I, I feel like we got a lot done today. Feels good. One of Max's first days of not having any civilian responsibilities. It feels kind of weird. I don't think I've had this with Max for like a really, really, really long while. I'm looking forward to see where we're going to take things. I hope we're able to take our gorals along with us too. Because I love our gorals. I very much do. But yeah. That is going to be it for me tonight. Thank you all for joining me for Subathon Day 4. All in first person. We're going to obviously not going to be in first person, you know, from here, from next stream. So don't worry about that. But yeah, that is going to be it for me tonight. I'm going to let you guys go where you guys want to go. And I will see you guys tomorrow for some more good old Max time as always. Till then, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your night. And remember, sleep.